Pokemon has captured the imagination of children around the world and billions and billions of dollars from their parents' wallets. Look in almost any Australian backyard and you'll see our kids have been captured by monsters. Just hurry up to, you know, get everything as quickly as possible. This could be this year's Christmas boom. And the Pokemon is creating a monster of a commotion for American kids. That's all they're wanting now is pure Pokemon. We haven't sold any yo-yos or Star Wars merchandise in a long time. I have both Game Boy games, Game Link cable. Yeah. Pokemon intro video while we're doing the AFL towel. Like, don't get me wrong, KJ. Don't get me wrong. I love the Pokemon intro video. Yeah. But we must be confusing well, the absolute hell out of these viewers. We've still got 30 seconds left on the video. Easy, brother. We'll be Easy, brother. Let me know. Um, tell you what, Collingwood have been... Um, 
They've been disappointed to start the season, KJ. 0-3. Haven't they, yeah. Premiership defence in tatters. Mm. Um, but yeah. All right, who we got joining us? Jesse Barras. Any relation to Ron Barassi? Mark Howden. Tell you what, Mark Howden, I reckon he's dropped his game lately, KJ. He's, he's giving you less supervision. So you're either doing better or he's, um, he's slapping off. Um, let us uh, know when we're... We're about 10 seconds on. Right. Here you go. Alright. 10, 9, 8, 7. KJ. Oh, sorry, uh, Countdown will we're live support. in 3, 2, 1. Welcome, Stranger Collectibles. Welcome to Wednesday afternoon AFL segment. I'm All Day Manny J, and I'm representing Collingwood this week because Collingwood Gross. need to show that they are the reigning premiers and that 2023 wasn't a mistake. Ladies and gents, how are we travelling? But having said that, why don't you grab that, reach behind you, there's a little Sharon up there, Matty. Why don't you hold that for a little bit? Hold that. Hold that. It's a bit flat, but... It's a little bit flat. There we go. Now, now here's the thing about Collingwood, though. Oh, is that, yeah. that... That would be Clay Smith's signature, yeah. I'd imagine. Number yeah. 14, Western yeah. Bulldogs. Yeah. Premiership star. Saw some highlights of Clay um, during the week. Poke on it. You know, kick four goals in the preliminary final to get them into the grand yeah. final. A game that they won by, I believe, six points. Yeah. So he was probably the difference. Anyway. There you go. The thing about Collingwood is all that, you know, a lot of people are saying, yeah, they've, they've, they've had a pretty average start to the season, can't be denied, you know, but ultimately, you know, a lot of those games last year, including the, the grand final itself, they were only ever winning by the skin of their teeth. That's right. A lot of those yes. wins last year could have been losses pretty easy. Let's not forget that. So what are you saying? It's an accidental premiership? No, no, I, think, I, I don't think it's an accidental uh, premiership. I just think... Um, you know, a, a, a lot of games that could have gone either way went their way last year. Yeah. And maybe this year, a lot of games that could have gone either way, but they certainly could have won. Yeah. You know, not many teams can win three premierships in a row, poker on it ain't bloody easy. Yeah, that's true. If you win one, you can drop all the way back down to the bottom, mm. and then you won't win the next year. So bad, bad luck, and 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 good, good, good luck being being as good as good as Haw, Hawthorne. I was going to say, yeah, I, I knew you'd sneak Hawthorne into yeah. that conversation being uh, reigning premiers in, what, 2013, 14 and 15? Yeah, and then what was the premiership in 2012? We just unfortunately lost those bloody bull crap. It was the bloody umpires. It was the bloody umpires! Uh, what's happening, ladies and gents? Who we got joining us? Brenton Heron, Rogan Schmeiler, uh, Matty Sin, as always. How you doing, brother? Greg Hubble. I don't like any of those people. You don't like them? Um, Mark Howden, oh, sorry, mate. I was talking about you while I thought we weren't live, but I was basically saying, Mark, I feel like you've dropped the supervision on Kai. Has he gotten better, or are you slacking? I'll let you, do, I'll let, you let me know. And I haven't been introduced, yeah, so... Kerry Woodward, who hasn't been introduced? Can, you, can I have, like, a full-blown introduction? Introduction? Yeah. Like, let's pretend... All right. No, 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 yeah. I'm going to be Eddie Maguire. Okay. And, oh, and I'm going to give you... Know you I mean? uh, and I'm going to give you... The uh, Sam Newman okay. treatment introduction, I'll all right? A cup of tea. Who can I be? This is Who can you be? This is gonna yeah. take a while. You can be. You can be McGuig. All right, yeah. All what right. Do I do? Anyway, what a big week in football it has been. Now I've got joining us none other than the 23-game Laverton Magpies veteran with a grand tally of one goal, two from the forward pocket across his two seasons. We've got none other than. Ron! Ronnie! Pokey Ron! <laughs> welcome, Pokey Ron. Welcome Thank to you. the studio. Thank you. And welcome to Welcome Stranger Collectibles. Darcy Giuliani joining us. What is And happening? like I always say, like I don't mean to be that guy, but yep. one of my points were actually a goal. It was miss. It was it was misscored by the re the referee. You were born in the wrong generation, Poker, yeah. and they've got goal line technology now. Yeah. Your stats would now be two, two goals, goals one, one yeah. which makes a very oh, big buddy. difference. That's 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 a false alarm. That's a that's false right. alarm. That is right. Now, Actually, you're all right, Rogan. I changed my mind. Big things happening uh, in the AFL this week, and now I've uh, appropriately thrown in the AFL tower. A Tommy Hawkins hit. Now, Pokeron, Tom Hawkins is playing his 350th game for the Cats this wow. weekend. Now, he is closing in on the 355-game record that his teammate, Joel Selwood, set. Tom Hawkins, Pokeron, arguably the best full forward of the last 15 years. He is a throwback to the old style. Um, 
110 kilos plus. You know, in the AFL now, they don't disclose the weights of the players. <laughs> you can't disclose the weights. Is there a reason why? There's a re uh, because it's you might be sort of now it makes them self conscious. Yeah. Well, no, I think the players are fine with it. I think it's just more society said that ain't right. Talking about has it got weight on here? It does. 101 kilos. I'm sorry, Tom Tomahawk. 101 kilos. But anyway, um, he's don't he's don't talk about the weights. You don't. That you can't disclose hilarious. player weights. You can't say we've got a 105 kilo full forward in the goal square with a 15 kilo weight advantage against a more mobile defender. They might want to get the ball long and deep in a one on one contest and try and expose that weight differential. But the commentators, they've been handcuffed Pokemon. They don't have but how, that information. But how at their disposal. ridiculous is that? Look at boxing, for example, yeah. where they will argue down to the gram. Yeah. Imagine if yeah. boxers weren't allowed to disclose their weight. Yeah. Wow. How you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have a sport. How ridiculous. You wouldn't have a sport. Is that? Yeah. They can't disclose their weight. So when you get one of these 120 kilo Chris Currens. Yeah. Jumping on the head of one of these 65 kilo. 70. Ro Rovers. Rovers. 70. Yeah. Like for example. Tony Libertore. You know, it, it, it doesn't have that obvious. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. That guy's 60 kilos. This guy's 120. Yeah. This guy's actually the size of two of that human. That's right. And now he's jumping on his head. Yeah. Uh, that's a problem. That's right. And and it's it kind of it kind of filters and 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 stops that very all important conversation. Exactly. Exactly, Poker. And you bang on. The conversation is extremely important. And it must be had all this. I've got a Tony Lockett PSA nine select gold series card on eBay. Oh bullshit. Well, how much do you want for it, Darcy? How what? much is it up for? Uh, you wouldn't have put it up for no reserve auction. You'll be one of you're one of those blokes who put it up for a starting bid. Of X amount, I hate those auctions, Pokemon. Yeah. All, all, a lot of a lot of people selling AFL raw cards do that. It's like okay. chuck it up no reserve, let the best man win it. But no, oh, Darcy's calm down. just calm down. Darcy's right. a good Let's sport. Let's get started on this tale. Right. Who's first? Who's first, KJ? Let's go. I was just gonna ask a question. Hurry up! Sorry. Dingle. Ten. Dingle, Dingle ten. with ten. Where's the lamp? Yeah, where's the lamp? I love lamp. Let's go. Let's I actually go. bought a lamp during on during hey, the during what? the week. Pokemon. Oh, well, that's amazing. It's in a set of five Bad. with Wayne Carey. Oh, who's that? Paul Medhurst. Now, Paul Medhurst. Dangerous goal sneak from the Fremantle Dockers and later on went to the uh, to the Magpies. I think he was All-Australian in 20, 2009. Are he still in the Pies? No. Okay. No longer at the Pies. What happened? He uh, no, he's just he's just, uh, he he's just a bit older now. Josh Gibson, Pokeon. Undersized defender. Does it have his weight there? Does it have his weight? Kicks no, it doesn't have his weight. Undersized defender, but... Held his own. Absolute star for the Hawks and, all, and also the Kangaroos. Ooh, before. odd bods throwback. Yes, Harry Jones. And that was from Team Coach 2022. They are beautiful. Odd Absolutely bod. stunning. Yeah, I've got an odd bods card coming out soon. Number we four, go. we've got Toby Green. Now, Poke on every single team. Any relation, to, any relation to Mo? Would love to have uh, uh, this man in their team. He's there a star. Captain of the Giants. Next up, Sammy Walsh. Walsh! Now, I believe, KJ, I believe Sammy Walsh is back this week for the Blues. A big in, former number one pick, and uh, one of the uh, absolute stars of the Carlton Football Club. Next up, Jake Lever, knee injury on the weekend. He's going to be past fit to play Port this week, and the Ds are going to get up. Next up, we've got Liam Pickering. Uh, poker on. Handy footballer, but probably made his name more as a uh, AFL uh, player manager. Uh, really? Yeah, managed uh, many big stars over a glittering management career. Still going strong. Next up, we've, is that Brad Johnson? Yep. That is Brad Johnson, former Dogs captain, goal sneak, and just overall Doggies legend. Played over 300 games and a key key component of Fox Footies um, commentary team as well. Tom Papley. The Papo. He's, he's, a, he's, an, he's a pest Pokemon. You know those little nuggety players who are like quite small. They're very fast. They're tackling. They're pinching you. Yeah. They're annoying you. He's that type of guy. But if you're a Swans fan, you love him. Yeah. So he's sort of like a Ryan. He's sort, he's sort of like a Wags of the stream. Wags? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I get you. Annoying. Always there. But Wags don't really tickle that sort of annoying thing with me. Uh, Wag, yeah, I get on with Wags. Me neither. I love Wags. Next up, Anthony Stevens. Uh, North he's Melbourne. Stor no. But his wife was, un was unfaithful with him and decided she wanted to sleep with the skipper, the duck, oh, Wayne Carey. Can you blame her? Is that, was, hot, man. was that 20 or whatever it was? That was 10. 10. All right. Next up is Jesse Barras, 20. Jesse, Jesse Barras. Any relation to the Ron Barras? 
We've got Ginevan. Ginevan. Ginevan, Pies Premiership player from last year. Made the switch over to the Hawks this year, who he followed as a child. And uh, definitely one of the more dangerous goal sneaks in the competition. How many, KJ? 20. 20. Uh, All right. Jesse Brass. Jesse Brass next. Oh, what have we got here? We've got a dual sticker, Shane Crawford and Todd Viney. Two star on ballers from the 1990s. Next up, we've got Daisy Thomas. Dale, Dale. And moving on, we've got Sammy Mitchell, coach of the Hawks. Trent Cotchen, triple premiership captain, Pokey Ron, and a Tigers legend. One Team coach them. insert from 2011. He's a Tigzilla, isn't he? He is. Next up, we've got Scotty Thompson, uh, very distinguished on baller from the Crows. Joe Danaher, now playing at the Lions. Essen. Now, I'll tell you something about Joe Danaher, Pokemon. He had three uncles and a father who played for the Bombers. Wow. He then went on to play for him, and then he left. Can you imagine what that done to Bomber Hearts? Oh, who gives a shit? A family dynasty, and he left. Oh, mate, you got to get paid. Yeah, he was getting paid. Anyway, Matt Prittis. Uh, Actually, not enough. Eagles. Uh, Brownlow medalist. Wow. Charlie, that's Charlie Dixon, Pokemon. Uh, he's, uh, yeah, that was a pubescent uh, Charlie okay. Dixon. Now he's the spearhead of the Port Adelaide uh, forward line. Wow. Next up, the rat, Johnny Platten. Um, tied for the Brownlow Pokemon in 1987 with yeah. Plugger. That's right. Trent Crawford. Trent Crowed. And KJ, that. you remember Trent Crowed? Won the 2008 Premiership. Broke his foot. Never played again. Oh, I was very young for the 2008 Premiership. Oh, next up, 200 game milestone for Marty Matner. 2012. Oh, Jack Zebel, draft rookie. Any North Melbourne uh, fans in the house? The feeble Zebel. Uh, recently retired, but a North Melbourne legend. Jesse Brass, come on, Freo cards. Crips. Crips. I might have some Freo cards a bit later if you came, brother. Oh, but hold on, Pokey, you're on. John Crips, the Carlton captain, Brownlow medalist. That's going to you. Who's this, KJ, on the claim? Brassy. Is this Brass? Yeah. Scott Burns. Okay, Scotty Burns, um, Collingwood sticker. Next up. We've got Dane Beams, uh, Collingwood star, later played for the Lions. And we've got the Berg, Burgoyne. Sean Burgoyne. Once I got arrested by a cop named um, Sergeant Burgoyne. Pokemon, we yeah. both did. We oh, both we both, we both got sent in for questioning. That's it. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I remember. He was actually nice. The female copper, she wasn't nice, Pokemon. Oh, well, that's a bit sexist. No, no, but she wasn't nice. She was sort of like... No, no, that's a bit sexist. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm. She was she that. was she was um she was she went Eric Cartman on me. Right. Respect my authority. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Jesse Brass, come on, Freo One cards. More. One more. And who was the Pokemon? Oh, the Rue, Mark Rashuto, 2003 Brownlow medalist, tied with Buckley and Adam Goods. Yeah. Probably the greatest uh, Adelaide Crow ever. I want to know, footy who's fans, the who's the best player? Adelaide Crow ever? My opinion. Mark Rusciuto. I'm going to throw Darren Jarman in the mix for his two stellar performances in the 97 and 98 Grand Finals. Next. Go, KJ. Matt Stantley, 10. Matt Stantley with 10. We've got Ozzie Jones. Who remembers that famous running goal in the 1997 Grand Final? Unfortunately, the Saints fell short. Probably the unluckiest team in the comp. Going. Michael Barlow. Um... Gun from, what, about 10, 15 years ago? Looks like a little subset as well. XL. Yeah, XL. Yeah. Beautiful uh, insert there. Frio Sh traded him away. They did. Shui. Tony Modra. Shui. Luke Shui. Die cut oh, as well. Great. Luke Shui die cut. Yeah, the modern die cut. Yeah. That's sick. Beautiful card. How that many one. was it, KJ? I think it was 10. Did you say? Uh, 10 with Matt. Connor Rosie. He had a big game on the weekend. Tom Boyd, the premiership star from the Dogs. Michael Jamison, fullback from the... Blues, Brad Pierce, underrated forward from the 90s and a premiership player in 95. Was that Scotty Thompson? Sorry, no, Nathan Thompson. Nathan Thompson. And then that would be Sam Jacobs, yeah. Ruckman from the Crows. No longer at the Crows. Um, Brenton's... Brenton Sanderson, yeah. Handy player for the Cats. Went on to later uh, coach the Adelaide Crows. Andy McLeod, yeah, good point, Jesse. Rowan Smith, Doggies legend. And one of the last ever EJ Witten medalists from Next State of Origin. Is Nathan Newsom. I think we might have a few spots. CG! CG. Oh, Pogon. Was it, KJ? Uh, Pogon. This is a Hall of Fame card. Chris Grant. Wow. And he, that golden box. Yeah, and he would have been a Brownlow medalist, Pokemon, in 1997 if he didn't get suspended. All right, would have been a Brownlow medalist. Would have been a Brownlow medalist. 
All right. How many spots was this one for KJ? Jesse Barash showing some serious football knowledge. Some serious football knowledge, Jesse Barash. Any deals today for the AFL Tower? I will have some. I'll do a deal. Do a deal, Jesse. I'll do a deal. Jesse. 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 Uh, no, I'll cut a deal. So um, let me just do a quick count, guys. Unfortunately, I believe this tower is sold out. One, is it? Two, oh, three, my goodness. Four, five, six, seven, Are you after some um, Freo Dockers slabs, Jesse? I might have a couple on hand. No, I don't have many, but I might, I might have a couple. Let me know, brother. We might be able to sort something out for a claim if you can. I do I, I do reckon the Dockers have the best song, Jesse. Free, yo, way to go. Hit them real hard, send them down below. Guys, oh, I can free, do three yo. more 10 claimers, guys. Hey, three more 10 claimers. Can we get the $7 AFL Tower thing on here, please, get KJ? Get it up, KJ. Get it up, KJ. So Seven dollar AFL tower. Now, guys, I've got three more ten claimers. What I'm gonna do for the next minute? I'm gonna do a very, very special offer. Okay. Special offer. And if you don't believe me, you don't trust. Believe me. me. If you don't believe me, trust me. Trust me. If you don't trust me, believe me. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. Hold on. Hold on all day. I'm. I'm. I'm holding on. Hold on, Slizzle. Slizzle, no worries. Right. Still got some big hits left in this tower, guys. We've got a Paul Kelly card, Josh Kelly as well, Tom Hawkins, and a Gary Ablett Brownlow medal card. Gary Ablett. Gary <laughs> Ablett! All right. Sorry, KJ. That's all right. Yeah. Scared so, you, bro. Here's what I'm going to do. Three claimers of 10 left, right? Right. All right, here's what I'm going to do, guys. What are you going to do? All right, I'm going to leave that. The next three claimers of 10 are going to get a free Cardboard Guardian. That's right. Uh, to put your PSA cards in Ooh. exactly the same way that we do it. Chuck me one of our cardboard guarded uh, hit, uh, jackpot hits, please. Yep, that'll do. Exactly like this, guys. Bang. Looking there, protecting your card. Get around it. Next three claimers then are going to get a free cardboard guardian. There we go. They're going to get a free Nunya pack valued at $29. This is only a $70 claim. Hold on a second, Pokemon. You should have saved these deals for the Pokemon Tower. I know, I know, I know. But uh, we are... My red job is due this week all day. Alrighty, and we are running behind. So... You're going to get a 20... So for a $70 claim, yep. you're going to get a $29 mystery pack, yep. a $10 cardboard yep. guardian. How much is that? 30 bucks now for the tower spot. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. No, you can wipe that all. off. That's not all. What? Slow down. I'm then going to put all three Slow of those down. 10 claimers in a duck race. Yeah. Ooh. Three duck races, guys. Oh, no way. What? You're going to get a mint number one Bulbasaur PSA oh, wow. 9, wow, wow, Meowth wow. 9, and one of you are going to get no. a Sabrina's Ghastly from Gym Challenge. Oh. Have a look at that artwork in a mint condition. These are $70 claims. So we were at $29 for the Nunya pack, yep. $10. That's 30, 40, 40. 40 say. What are these worth? 30 bucks each. Sure. 50, Brother, I'd be going four. 50 yeah. minimum. So I'm paying them $10 for this. Yeah. I'm paying them $10. For this. KJ, can you hook up Jesse Barras with some information? Can you use please um, type of deal? Th th this is the deal, Jesse. You're going to get... He can't hear us. He's at the doctor's. Uh, for a 10 claim, then put in bracket $70. And then you're going to get... I I'll hold up for it. I'll hold up for it. On average, you're going to get this. Just yeah. say you're going to get what the Pokeron's holding up right now for a 10 claim in the, in the, in the, in the AFL tower. And there's only three available. Bang. First 10 claim is going to get that. Claim 10. Good, good. Sorry, brother, you're not getting that one. You're going to get this one. One, Who two. Who do you support, Brandles? Three. Next 10 claimer. Bang. You're going to get these three. Guys, I'm paying you. Grandles, how are you, brother? Thank you for that 10 claim. You're a star. You're a stud. You're a god. You're a god of gods. You're a... You're a... You're a... You're a... You're a... You're a... Legend... Legendary... Let's go. I only got two more. I only got two more, all fizz. Two more. Adam McCarthy, how many claims will get me the v mask VHS? LOL. Uh, 700. There you go. All right, we've only got two more, ladies and gents. And then the tower's gone. And we've still got some big hits you want, left. You want the mask VHS, brother? I'll do it for you for 350. 
All right, Jesse grabbed 10 Pokemon, there so I believe there's Jesse. one left. Last Only claimer. One. Last claimer. Is, Only one. He's going to get this lot here. Probably the best lot, in my opinion. you got the Ghastly, you got the Black Cardboard Guardian. Okay, can one I ask... 10 claimer left. Can I ask, KJ, do all 10 claimers get a spin of the wheel? Yes, they do. Of oh, course. wow. Oh, wow. So we owe spins of on those course. 10 claimers. Of course. All right, can you write that, KJ, as well? Yeah, I've got that all there. All right, done, brother. And I want to also mention as well, guys, free shipping... The if Karth, the Karth, the Karth has done it again. Guys, free shipping if you pay for your orders tonight on the website. So you those three ten, those three different ten claimers. Yep. Do. Now we're gonna get to the thirty claimer. Here okay. We go. So Chris CG. Grant. There we go. One, two, two. We've got Dane Rampy, star, star uh, defender from the Swans. Three. Nita, Nita, my favorite demon of all time. Me too. Four. Adam Schneider, Premiership uh, Swan. Five. Oh, Cozzy Pickett, Star Powers. Made a big impact last week, Pokemon, when he came back for the Ds. He's a vital cog in their chances here. Wilkie. Alan Wilkie. Yep, uh, Legacy release. Dunstan. Luke Dunstan, Dyker. We've got Cam Zerha, one of the stars from the uh, from the Ruse. Uh, Jamie Shanahan, one of the very few to tame Plugger Pokemon. Stalwart. Matched up very well with Plugger. Plugger couldn't really get a hold of him. Uh, Craig Kelly, who's also made a um, massive career outside of football, player management. Susie! Charlie Cameron, now at the uh, Brisbane Lions. Who's that? Uh, that is Andrew Walker. Andrew Walker, former number one pick. Mark of the year about 15 years ago. Justin Blumfield, 2000 premiership player for the Dons. Handy player he was too. Kieran Jack. Swans legend and premiership star. PK47. Oh, man. Uh, you know Paul Kelly, Pokemon? Yeah. That is the man, right? Yeah. That Paul Wright is a big fan of. And he has the best Paul Kelly collection on earth. I've seen it. Really? It would have cost him an arm and two legs. Holy shit. So, shout out to Paul Wright. Shout out to Paul, Ke Paul Kelly. Oh, well, well, let's keep him coming. Oh, oh there we go. What are the odds? Paul Kelly legend. CG. C Chris Grant. Oh, Jack Gunston, uh, Hawks Premiership player, what, three-time Premiership? And back at the Hawks now too, KJ, finishing his career after going to the Lions for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we've got Cam Rayner, former number one pick. Star from the Cat, Zach Tui, Irish superstar. And um, he's done great things at the Blues and also I don't the Cats. Like, I don't like it when the Irish come over and play. Don't you, Pokemon? It's what? like, go play your Gaelic football. Nah, they're, they're good. They, they transfer across quite well. Roger Merritt, stalwart legend of the Brisbane Bears in the dark years. Unfortunately, wasn't still around when they uh, won their triple premiership, but was a killer. Schwoss! Wayne Schwoss, yes. Best and fairest. Yep, 1995 card, that one. We've got Stephen Coniglio, uh, captain of the Giants. Uh, sorry, former captain. He looks like a really nice bloke. Yeah, he's a good, solid, honest performer. Yeah. Actually, he's better than that, Pokemon. He's a star. Kirk! Sticks Kernahan. Kern on the cob. Two-time premiership captain of the Blues and a legend Pokemon. Oh, he... we've got a Brownlow predictor. Oh, yes. Taylor Adams now, Pokemon. Brownlow predictors are awesome because when you pull them out from recent releases... If you that person wins the Brownlow, that is now a redemption card. I know. And you How normally get that? and you get like a signature on that card, and you also get um, and it's normally numbered as well. So they are and they still go for good money, even for players who don't win the Brownlow. Yeah. So that they are nice hits as well. Seven. Uh, yes, he did win Mark Lear, Brent and Aaron. Thank Ablet! you very much. Yeah, but hey, Pokemon, have a look at that. Oh, look at that Brownlow medal card, and that would have been what 2010. Yep, that look is at that. Glorious. Gary Ablett Jr. Nine. Dusty. Trusty Dusty, man. Trusty Dusty. Who neck? And ten. What have we got? Tucky. Tucky. Yeah, Shane Tuck. Um, that was from like 2010. Now, unfortunately, he's no longer with us. He, he, he but he he was an absolute star for the for the Tigers and. Had a few boxing fights too, Pogan. He transferred across quite well. Had a winning record. Um, but yeah, And his dad was also a Hawthorne legend. There we go. All right. Rest in peace, Tucky. Thoughts and prayers out to the Tuck family. All okay. right. Who next, KJ? Next up is Mark Howard with one. Mark Howard with one. Does he do it? Let's see what he can get. He's got a... Nat Fife. Okay. Pre uh, well, just, no, Premiership start. Brownlow star from the Dockers. Towards the end of his career, but can he get his hands on the elusive premiership before his career ends? Who's next? Next up is Grandles. Ten. Ten for Grandles. Caliglia. Caniglia. Caniglia. Swallow. Dave Swallow. Uh, former number one pick, David... Try and pronounce his name, Pokemon. David Wojinski. 
Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Thing I don't know my and he was a speedster from the, the Cats. Anthony Stevens, centenary insert. Uh, Daniel Kerr. Now, of course, Pokemon. Related to the Matildas legend, Sam, Sam Kerr. Sam Kerr. Oh, yeah. There you go. Her older brother. Sporting family there. Yeah. The Dark! Oh, the Dark. And this was the Dark in his prime, Pokemon. 1996, when the Kangas won their third premiership. He was the premiership captain. And uh, that, that was the prime time duck. It would have been Mid great 90s. to be the duck at, the, at this point. Oh. He wouldn't have been able to walk down the street anywhere in the country. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. He still can't now. Exactly. Right? And what about, you heard the whole medicine saga. <laughs> yeah. Poor bloke. Mate, can Keith. a guy catch a break? Yeah. Um, oh, what is that? So that's a Hall of Fame card program, I believe, from 1996. Just let me see the name because I, that is Jack Regan. Jack Regan, Collingwood legend. And obviously it has a bit of info on the back. So these were a high-end release from 1996, paying homage to some of the uh, legends of the VFL back in oh, the uh, 20s and 30s. Yeah. What a beautiful card. Yeah. Next up, we've got Daniel, Daniel Kerr. Kerr again. Wow. Sam Kerr's older yeah. brother and star from the Eagles program. One of my favourite players of the 2000s. Could yeah. do it all. He copied my haircut all day. He did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still got one more. One Here we more. Go. And we've got Josh Kelly. Josh Kelly. JK47. Smooth mover from the Giants. Pokemon. Silky smooth skills. He just, he looks like he's just got a lot of time on his hands when he's got the ball in yeah, hand. Yeah, he's got that extra moment to think. He does. Modra. Modra, aka Tony Godra, is what they used to call him in Adelaide. He's like the Warwick Kappa of Adelaide Pokemon. Could jump higher. Could kick this more goals, and he could and he could sleep with more women. Jesse Brass, Jake, Jake Lever. Lever, Jake Lever, yes. Josh Carr yep. and the Godra. The Godra. For uh, oh, 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 is that an auto? We've got a Ben Lennon draft pick auto for you, Jesse Brass. Hey, now, as you know, brother, they ain't easy to get, my friend. Yeah. And that is over ten years old. That one, Benny That's Lennon. A, hey, nice work. Jordan, Jordan Dawson. Dawson. Had a stellar year for the uh, Crows last year. Dominic Dom Cassisi, Cassie, yeah. former captain of the Port Adelaide Power. and Jaden Short, any relation to Corey? <laughs> Let us know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Gary Lyon. The man who took Eddie Maguire's job. Yeah, you know, do doesn't do anywhere near as good of a job. Let's no. face it. No, but he's he's, he's also a bit of a slime burst elocution. He is he is the number one media guy in the AFL poker, and he has yeah. been for quite a while. Okay, um, and he's a mainstay of the couch on Fox Footy, and he's a part of the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday afternoon uh, telecast. Like, bring the bring the collars back on the on the shirt. Like, how dope does that look? Yeah, That's unique, they, man. Yeah, but they, they were they were a bit more woolly the jumpers back then, whereas now they've got that sort of polyester thin. Sort of feel. Yeah, a bit um, more. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm surprised. I think they're a bit more woolly these days, to be honest. But I don't really know exactly. Yeah. You know, but um, looking at it, it does look quite woolly. Yeah. That's um, what I said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many? Two more. <laughs> oh, Glenn Jakovic, Pokeron, him, and the dark. Had many epic battles throughout the 90s. That was the talking point when West Coast played the Kangaroos. Jakovic and Carey. Yeah, exactly. One of the very few could, who, could match, who could match it with the Duck. And Darren Jarman, probably. And this bloke, this bloke could play. You've got to watch Loving his, this holographic package. You've got to watch his highlights package program from the 1997 and 1998 Grand Finals. I watched which, it last night. Which, but you just watch him turn it on in the third and Who's fourth next? quarters. Next up, Adam McCarthy, 10. McCarthy. Richard Champion. Yeah, bring back the collars, man. Thank that you very much, Matty Sin. You're a legend. Calm down, Matty Sin. What do we got here? We have... Oh, that's Barry Robert. He is a South Australian football legend. I believe he's the father of uh, Matthew Robert, who was a star for the Crows in the 90s. Tomahawk. Oh, the Tomahawk. And the Tomahawk is playing his 350th game this weekend, guys. In my opinion, the best full forward of the modern era. What do you think? Oh. Selwood, Adam Uze, current coach of the Tigers. Cam Zerha. I'd sell wood if I had anything to sell all day. Nick Martin. How many is that Pokemon? Sam DeConing. Of course, the uh, brother of Tom DeConing, both doing big things at the Cats and the Blues. And 10. Brett, Brett Deledio, former number one draft pick Pokemon. Left the Tigers Pokey. just before their premiership success Pokemon. Poor go. bloke. Have we got um, any more claims? Six left. Six spots left. Six spots left Pokemon. 
Six spots left. Who wants the last sixer? I'll give you a spin at the wheel for a six claim. Nice. I'll give you a spin at the wheel for the last six claim. Last you you got 30 yeah. seconds and we're moving on, guys. Great deal. 30 seconds. I'm the same with you, Matty Sin. What's that? Uh, I enjoy what hearing uh, all day Matty J talk about. Thank you very much, Matty Sin. I'm going to say, Matty Sin, always showing love and support. Never forget the love and support from you guys. And I'm going to try to find a couple of trios. I'll just slap for uh, my old mate. Did Jesse Barris get the 10 claim in time? Jesse Barras. Ah, oh, look, hey, Walshy just took the rest. Walshy. Mate, Graham Wright. If you're going to do it, do it right. Right, Graham, do it. Two, James yeah. Clement. Yeah, you James got your Clement. 10 plate, Jesse. Oh. Three. Pokemon. O Laughlin. O Laughlin. O Laughlin. It's O Laughlin. Sean Wellman. Sean Wellman. Star from the Dons. Oh, this one looks. Oh, look at this. Kink. Renee Kink. You know when. Um, this one's Jack, kinky, you know, dude. You know when Jacko. This looks vintage. Yeah, that's Scanlon's. Do you remember when Wacko Jacko. VFL. Was saying, when Wacko Jacko Pokemon was saying to Mike Sheen, he goes, when you. Banish me for 20 years, the kinks, the karma. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is the oldest card in the tower. It is Pokemon. And, nice. uh, back, back when the game was the game. Back when the game was the game. There you go, that's for Walshy. Make sure he gets a spin as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, give Walshy two spins because he's a god. Mm -hmm. Alright. So maybe we should do the spins now, okay? Let's yeah. get the spins out of the way. Who do we owe? Uh, Alright, we owe a couple of people. Walshzilla, what's happening, brother? How are you? When are we catching up? Okie dokie, here we go. Um, here we a, um, thank you, beautiful, well done. Let's let's go, who's first? Isaac Dingle with one. The Dingzilla, see, let's see what he's made of. Dingzilla? Oh, he's not made of nothing. Next up is Jesse Barras with one. With Come on Barras, don't be scared to hit that jackpot, mate. Oh, he's petrified. Who's next? Next up is, ah, uh, sorry, Jesse's got two. Jesse's got two. Come on, Jesse. Better late than never. Oh, I guess we'll go never. Matt Stantley. Who's won. next? Matt Stantley, let's go. The Stantley knife. Yep, zero. Newson, yeah. five. Newson! Good, good spinning today, KJ. Let's go. Colin, well, Collingwood legend, Nathan Newson. Shout out from the Pokemon. Give him two more spins. Let's go. Oh, that's it. One. Let's go. Come on. Two. Three. Spin it, KJ. Go. Stay on this roll of zeros. Four. You know how many times the jackpot went off last night? Oh, we need to take those spin agains off the wheel. Five. Five. Ugh. And seven. Who's next? Grandel's one. Grandzilla. Hit a jackpot, you dirty dog. Or a zero, whatever. Who's next? Next up is Jesse Barras, one. Come on, Barras. Oh no. Oh, Jesse. One I'm... off the jackpot. I'm sorry, Jesse. Jesse. I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm Shout sorry. Out from KJ. Go. Hey, hey, Jesse. Good on you. Hope you're enjoying the AFL tower. I know. Come on, finish it up, KJ. Finish it up, brother. Thanks, KJ. Okay, let's go. Oh, he's spewing. Yeah, fair enough, mate. Yeah. Fair enough. You only got a shout out from KJ. This is yours too, brother. Let's go. You know a guy who hit a jackpot two spins in a row last night? Did he? Jackpot, jackpot. McCarthy won. McCarthy won. McCarthy. Who was it? Who was it, KJ? Who got the jackpot? Double jackpot. Um. Ooh. Was it? Nah, I'm not sure. Daniel Walsh too. Well, come on, Walsh. You get something good. Oh! Shout out. Oh! Keep it quick, KJ. Here we go. go. Hello, my name is Matt Tesro. And welcome to the Welcome Stranger live stream. When can we yeah. when can we see you, Matt Tesra? Oh well, um, please don't talk over the top of me. I'm talking right now, so no one talks over the top of me. No one that's lower than me. I am an actor, and I know what I'm doing. So please let me talk. Thank you very much, and please be quiet. Anyways, my name is Matt Tesra, and we are live every uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So if you want to join in, please join in. I am the most famous actor in all of Australia. I'm better than all the ones you can possibly think of. So please tune in and watch my show right now on High Country. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, KJ. Oh, sorry. Matt Tesro. Very oh, nice. Of Matt done? Yep. Very nice of Matt Tesro right, to join us in the studio. We're going to come back with... Oh, we've only got a couple of AFL claims this week, guys. So if you're interested, do not go away. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Go.
the lane, likewise. Dacos nearly runs out of room. He's Ladies and gentlemen, now, KJ, what a, can you open, uh, maybe log into the footy tipping, because we are going to, like, refer to that some stage and see who's winning. Ooh, but we're nice. going to do... That's a good idea. Let's we... do a few quick claims, and then we're going to head straight over. All right, no All right, worries, Pokey, right now. A couple of promotional cards Ooh. here, guys. Some of my favourite cards you've ever come up with all day. How you achieve these cards in this grade, I'll never know. I'll never tell you. But I've got... Two beautiful promotional cards, Ooh. promos, guys, in Flawless 10, Lance Franklin and Nathan Buckley. That's right. Two of the absolute legends of the sport. Um, Buckley, Collingwood, royalty. Yeah, he really Buddy, is. Buddy, Hawks and Swans royalty. Yep. Um, I mean, Buckley, he, he, he carried the torch poker off for Collingwood during dark times. Mm. Won a Norm Smith medal as well in a losing grand final. Yeah. So I reckon we go 200 each on these. Yep, no problem at all. If someone wants oh. both, but I'll do you a deal on both. If someone wants both, I'll do you a deal. But let's go, let's go 200 a pop on these tens. No problem, Pokemon. Buckley. But only go lower. Frankly, only go lower if someone's taken both. All right, no worries. Or if they make a very competitive offer, like 190 or something like that, sure. but then they're... Next gonna... up, any Cats fans Ooh. in the house, I've got a Gary Ablett facsimile auto here, Ooh. gold foiled signatures. That's right. PSA 9. I'll, do, a... I'll do this one. Uh, sorry, TCG 9, 2007. And that was a premiership year for the Cats Pokemon. Premiership year. Their first premiership in about 35 years. Uh, hold on. Their first premiership in about 40 years, I think it was. Beautiful. So it I'll was go a, 65 bucks on this, Gary Ablett. Oh, that is the... I'm telling you right now, that'll be the buy of today as far as the AFL segment goes right there. Gold foil signature, Gary Ablett, son of a legend, legend himself, mint condition. I actually was going to give a price much higher than that Pokemon, but because you said 65, that's what it is. We've got to roll with it. We've got to roll with it. That's what it is. Next up, I've got a beautiful, flawless 10 rocker here, man. Anthony Rocker, gold embossed. And Have that is... a look at this, guys. Year 2000. What a year. Yep. What a time to be Mille 11 years old. Millennium release it was, Pokemon. What a time to be 11 years old yep. all day. Yeah, exactly right. Um, and, and this one here, again, I'll go 65 on this guy. And card. take note of the old school AFL logo on... Uh, Anthony Rocker's uh, jumper. That was the last time you saw it in 1999 at the turn of the millennium. The more modern AFL logo, which you can see in this Nathan Buckley card, uh, is what sort of took over from the year 2000 onwards and still remains to this day. Okay, beautiful. Next up, I've got the David Mundy. Any David Mundy. Any now, relation to Salvador? Now, Pokeron, games record holder at the Dockers. Um, oh, how long? He would have started off when... All right, yeah, it's about 2005, and Mundy retired, like, only a couple of years ago. Um, longevity Pokeron, played at all ends of the ground, midfield, defence, versatile, consistent, and um, a Dockers legend. Definitely a 50, top... 50 bucks on the Mundy. Definitely a top five Dockers player of all time. There we go. Um, and and uh, a great buy, considering that's a uh, pristine copy too. And I want to make mention of the fact that tens aren't easy with TCG. Ooh, they know it. They are not easy. Uh, next up, I've got a beautiful Judd. Oh, Chris Judd, 2010. 2010. And the beautiful thing about this Pokemon, 10 is the theme. 10, pristine. 
2010, it was also the Brownlow Jesse year. Smythe, what's cracking? The Brownlow year for Chris Judd. The yep. Brownlow year for the Judster. Okie dokie. That is all, guys. There is no more claims coming out today. If you want to run back through them, all fizzle. I reckon we just give them a time, okay, Joe? Yep. Go like two minutes if we don't get a claim. We'll move on. Give I'll keep timer. the slabs. Now, if, if anyone here right now wants to... Here's what I'm going to do, KJ. There's all... Actually, no. Well, I'll do it after this. Kerp! All day Kerp. footy knowledge astounds What's me. What's happening? correct with 2005 and Mundi. Yes. Mundi, Pokemon. Mundi. How do you know Mundi. it's Mundi? Think of it like... You know what, what the word you like? Hundi? Yeah. Like, you know, when you get a Hundi? Yeah. Just change the H to an M and, and you're on the there right you path. There Dan you Kerfield, thank you for the love, brother. Mate, I'm a walking en en encyclopedia when it comes to AFL, brother. Anything you want to know, I'll tell you, brother. I'll tell you. Okay. Um, so, yeah, guys. And what about... what Run about back through these claims one at a time. All right, right, one at a time. All right, $200 each, guys, you can take down. I'm going to talk about the grade at first. Pristine condition copy. Now, I did not get many 10s with TCG. And these are a couple of examples. Does anyone ever get many tens with TCG? And they are prom Upgraders, man. and they are promotional cards, guys. So these came out in very They're limited, promos, promos. very limited release. So you've got a card that's quite rare. You've got a the best grade possible, and you've got the highest echelon of stars. One being Lance Buddy Franklin, the last man to kick a thousand goals, in my opinion. And you've got. Nathan Buckley, probably... The last man ever to, to, to achieve that. In thing. my opinion. Yep, the last man to this point and maybe ever. And uh, you got Nathan Buckley. Brownlow medalist, Collingwood legend. And, um, I mean, he could just do it all. He could do it all. Buckley, uh, he'd just kick him from 60, no problem. Uh, had the finishing skills of uh, the best out there and the ball-winning skills of the best out there as well. Next up, Gary Ablett. Pokemon said 60 five dollars for this i'm almost thinking about doing something crazy Pogo. normally we drop the price i feel like upping the price but i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it at 65 mint condition gold foil signature of the legend himself gary ablett jr this is a uh, what 17 year old card you've got his uh stats up until that point on the back and this was in a premiership year for the cats you want to go old school i'll tell you what if you grab if you grab the Buckley, I'll give you the rocker with it for free. I'll give you the rocker with it for free. Sounds How's that? Deal or that? Grab the Buckley for two hundred. I'll give you the rocker for free. The rocker's a ten. The rocker's a ten. So you can get a couple of Colin so hundred each on those two. Effectively, wow. effectively. Grab the Buckley, you get the rocker for free. Um, of course, Mundy Dockers legend. Um, love the old school AFL logo. It yeah. takes you back, Kurt, doesn't it? Um, Mundy games record holder for the Dockers. Definitely a top five uh, Freo Dockers player ever. I've got one more Freo Dockers card. I might pull out very quickly, Pokemon, if anyone's interested. Where did it go? A nice one of Pav. You know who you like to call Mr. Pavlo? Where's the... I had two others with your Pokemon. Oh, mate. Did you put them in the... Oh, hey, Corsa, check the Pokemon's pockets if you can. Fun fact, Buckley played with the Lions. Yeah, he did. Left them to win a flag. and Oh, yeah. So you, Buckley originally got drafted to the Brisbane Bears Pokemon in 1993. Mm -hmm. He played with them for one year and said, I'm leaving. Because the Bears were very average at that point. He said, I'm going to go to Collingwood where I want to win a premiership. He got the opportunity to play in a premiership in 2002 where he faced Brisbane, ironically. Lost to Brisbane. Had another shot the year later against Brisbane. Lost to Brisbane. So you can imagine how he felt. Felt like a bit of a spud. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Mate, just go through these piles. It'll it's, be all there. Good. it's all good. It's all good. Oh. So what do you reckon? Hey, you right, got does anyone want to start us off on an auction on either of these two? Last chance. I'll start them off at 100 bucks. Buckley or Buddy. I'll start them off at 100. I'll start them off at 100. Either one, say Buckley 100 or... Um, or oh, Buddy. Or Buddy 100. Oh, did you go 100 each? No, no, starting price I'll for an auction. Okay, what well, I was going to say, wow. Well, wait. Um, yeah, and like I said, guys, if you... I'll tell you what, if we get a starting bit of 100 poke you're on... I will honour what I said. It's like some, someone goes 100 right, on Buckley. All right, hand it over. Rocker will Start go Start us it. off with 100 bucks on these two. 
Yeah, send us, send me some photos, Jesse, and I'll, I'll let you know, brother. I'll let you know. A lot of it will be deter. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll chat, brother. We'll chat. See if we can work something out. No one's starting off at a hundred on these two. Hundred on them too. The Twenty twelve promo card with Buckley and the two thousand millennial yeah. millennium card with Rocker. Exactly. Maybe the maybe the Collingwood fans poke you on are a little bit sheepish after wow. their zero three start. Wow. If you're keen, Jesse, I've got this beautiful Maddie Pavlich Herald Sun release from two thousand and ten. It is a pristine ten. Uh, All star caricatures. If you want this one, brother, you can have it for seventy five, mate. And that's yours. But yeah, get the uh, get the foot. Oh, and add Jesse to our footy tipping KJ. Jesse Barras. Yeah, well, mate, which Jesse am I talking about? Sorry. Which what Jesse am I talking about? Nah. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Jackson I, I Ma Ma Jackson Magditch says I'll go a hundred for the. Now $10. that's a supporter. That is a supporter, and is that an auction? That's of course it's an auction. That is an auction. On those two cards, it has to be an auction, but he's probably going to win it. So ninety second timer, let's go. Go KJ. And after this, um, Maddie, I'm going to do something absolutely mind blowing. Your little head is going to blow off your really off your little shoulder. Really? All right. Oh yeah. Auction has just started, guys. Two Collingwood superstars. I mean, Buckley's in a in a class of his own, but then. I wish I knew about your footy thing. Comp would be a bit late to Get join him. In. Get in, Jesse. Hey, it's free to enter, brother. It's free to enter. We're going to have a cash prize at the end of the year. Give us your email address. Do your best to make up some ground. And I've seen KJ's tips. You're definitely not coming last. Exactly. And what's going on with my tipping, guys? Talk. Uh, KJ what's said to me going on with my tipping, KJ? <laughs> How Ooh. much forget the cares? Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. At a hundred dollars now, looking We're at for hundred and ten. Anti snipe territory, guys. Looking get... for hundred and ten on these two. Who's keen? And would anyone like to start the buddy off at a hundy? Exactly. Aaron has my email address in our chats. Uh, can you just put it through again for us, Barris? That's all right, KJ. We'll open the footy tipping in a sec, and I'm going to get you to add Jesse and anyone else. Kane Barnes, brother, you might you might be sitting on a gold mine, my friend. That's it. Because you got to remember, the condition is a big, big factor as well. A lot of AFL cards are banged up. How many, how many cards would you have gone through to achieve these two in a PSA? So if you're on, I, I buy cards and then I throw them out because not these aren't good enough to grade. Yeah. You know, that's what happens. Sold. Sold Both to gone. Jackson. And give Jackson a spin at the wheel. Let's go. Jackson gets a spin at the wheel. Give him two spins at the wheel, KJ. Good luck, my brother. You want to hit the jackpot? There we go. Let's go. One. Quackity quack quack. Usually it's very expensive to spin this wheel, my brother. Spin him again. Alright, here we go. Spin oh. him again. Give him a duck. Alright. There we go. Who wants to start us off? Where's the other one? The, the better the, one. The Budster. The Bud the Budzil the dude. Start us off at 100 with the Budzil, surely. Well, we, we, he's part of a very select group Pokemon of the thousand club. Let me think how many of that. Lock it. Coventry, Dunstall, Ablett, Wade, and Buddy. So only six men, Pokeron, have cracked the thousand mark. And the thousand gold mark is a feat that is so difficult in the modern era that I do believe, Pokeron, he very likely will be the last thousand. Uh, Promo card from 2009 in flawless oh, condition. And that's just after the Hawks' first premiership success of that era, 2008, when they upset the Cats. Let's go. Let's uh, go. All, right. all now, Australian now, promotional now, card. Now, all right, so I'm going to put 30 seconds on Buddy or they're going away. Easy. 30 seconds on Buddy or Easy they're going program. away. Put them away, brother. If, 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 you, if you want to start an auction with a club you go for, let me know what club you like. I'll try and start you off an auction. With a card from that club. I've got Doggies, I've got Carlton, I've got Collingwood, I've got Geelong, I've got Frio. Who else have I got? Let me know. Can't believe there's Hawk supporters here and no one started us off at 100 with this. That's Mate, true. This is a beautiful piece. Oh, Kane Barnes says, oof, let's go Hawks. Yeah. Hey, this is this is the uh, this is the Hawker that uh, he, he changed the fortunes of the Hawthorne Football Club. Right. The man himself. All right, now I'm going to do something absolutely insane. Now, let me get back to Walshie Program all day. What's your thoughts on right suspension? I think a little bit harsh. Four weeks, 
maybe give him one or two weeks. It's getting it's getting in dangerous territory. Players now don't know whether they need to go hard at the contest or they need to pull back because they might hurt someone. That, I never played the game ever having that thought. It was always impact, maximum impact for your team, for your club and for your supporters. And that must be a difficult thing to not play with that intensity nowadays, especially at the highest level. Do you agree, Walshie? Let us know. Now, here's what I'm going to do, guys. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to do the unprecedented. What's that? Have you ever seen one of these all day? No. I am putting this pack up. Walshie knows what this is. A few of the boys. Cinny knows what this is. I'm going to give you boys a chance. All right? Claim a spot in next week's AFL Tower, and you get a duck in this race to win a pack right now. Claim one, I'll give you one. Three, I'll give you five. Five, I'll give you ten. Ten, I'll give you twenty-five. That's what we're doing, guys. Right now, get around this, guys. AFL time. That's right. Give me a two-minute timer. I've got some doggies cards here, Barnwell. I've got a few. They're all ten. Seven dollar claims. So what are you what are you doing, Pokemon? I'm giving pre this pack away. Is this pre claims for next week? Pre claims for next week. You're oh, not gonna get a bill for this till next Thursday. Hey uh poker. Now talk to me, Poker. What type of result could actually Both of these, the Dory and the Croc. Oh no. Both happen. Oh no. Claim ten for next week. Randall's, Randall's knows what's going on. That's ten percent of the tower already gone, Poker on. Ten percent of the tower is already Sorry, gone. Sorry, twenty percent. Twenty gone. Hey uh i tell you what, if any of those boys who just claimed 10 want to upgrade to a 20, I'll give you an ancient Mew graded. Oh, uh, you're off your trolley. Whether it's off. Grandles, whether it's McCarthy, or anyone else want to drop a 20, have a look at this. Have a look at this card. Oh, yeah. No way, Pokemon. You don't have to do this. Who's claiming? You don't have to do it. Who's making their 10 or 20? Yeah. Who's making their 10 or 20? And taking a Mew. And taking a mute. And hold on, does that mean they get two ducks? That means they get 20 worth. They, no, they're going to get way more. They're going to get 50 ducks if they do that. 50 ducks. Whoa. Whoa. Next 10 claimer, I'll give a Blaine's Volpix. Bang, Walshie, gone. Walshie. Gone. Aya. Next 10 claimer. Next. Uh, Pokeron, always producing the goods. Adam That's McCarthy right. said, go for it. Is that a thumbs up, McCarthy? I think it is. He wants the mute. Upgrade him to a 20. So that's 10, 30, 40 gone. Here we go. 40 gone. gone. 35 seconds left here, guys. Give me one more 20 claimer. First Ed 9. I'll give you two First Ed 9s. Oh, uh, yeah. Why, Pokemon? Why are you giving away this quality stock? Well, the tower's going to sell out. Of course, but I like to give back to the people. I know, but that. what I'm saying is, if I was them... And you're getting ducks, guys. Oh, no. You're getting ducks. 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 What did I say? Next 20 claimer gets both of these. Is that what I said? Guys, I'm paying you guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Next 20 claimer gets both of these first ed nines. Does that include someone who's got that's 10 the last more, deal. who might want to upgrade? No. No, that's, that's got to be. A, they've, got to, they've got to do 20 more. Right, okay. They just confirmed Josh Grandel's getting 25 ducks. Adam McCarthy's getting 50 ducks. You're going to have to go, when, through, go through that with all day. When are we doing this duck race? Today? Right now. Oh, my God. Right now. Well, I thought you were doing this duck race once the AFL Tower was no. sold out. It could no. be like tomorrow or... No. Guys, we're doing this right now. One piece... Passage to the Grand Line pack about to be duck raced off. Guys, a fresh 20 claim is going to cost you 140 bucks. Yeah. You're getting these two cards here worth at least 140 bucks. So I'm paying you guys. Two mint first eds plus 20. I actually spots. stuffed up. I didn't mean to say that. Yeah. So, where are we at the moment? Walshie's got 10. Yep. Yep. Granos has got 10 and Adam McCarthy's got uh, 20. Walshie's got 10, 40. so he's going to get um, 25 ducks in the one piece race. Yep. Who, who else has claimed? Grandles has claimed 10. Gla so he's going to get 25 ducks in the one piece race. Who's next? Adam McCarthy's claimed 20. 20? He's going to get 50 ducks in the one piece oh, race. No. And this duck race is coming up, guys. It is coming guys, up. Guys, I've only got two deals left. You can claim a fresh 20. All right. Next, 10 next two 10 claimers. Next 10 claimer is going to get one of these cards. Next 10 claimers. Next 10 claimers going to get one. This Next is... five claimers going to get this holographic vile plume. This is insanity, Bug. You're on. 10. First 10 claimers going to get recall. First Ed. Next 10 claimers going to get Erica. Or if you want, if you'd rather the other way around, claim 10 and take it. Claim 10 and take it. Hey, uh... Evening all. Nathan Newson, AFL fan. I know that. Now, brother, 
You want to claim 20 spots in the AFL Tower for next week, by the way? Claim 20 spots in next week's AFL Tower. I'll give you 50 ducks in the race to win this pack, and I'll give you these two first eds valued at more than your whole claim. Claim 20. Let's get it done. And I'm, and I'll, yeah. I probably should. yeah okay. Don't worry, Grandles. Did he claim? Did Grandles claim ten? He was the first claimer of ten. I'm gonna look after you, Grandles. Don't you worry about that, brother. I haven't forgotten. I am forgotten. Who's this, keen? One Grandles piece for grabs. We got sl first head slabs. Ready. Is that a yes from from Nathan Newson? I think he said he'll grab twenty. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Don't let me forget. Those people that claimed 10 early didn't get anything. You tell me who they are. Who claimed 10 and didn't get anything? Grandles. All right. Grandles. Hey, was he the first claimer? Yes. Grandles was the first claimer. And he, and he yeah, just... How just got then? That was 20. 20? So yeah. 50. And uh, Grandles just said if you can wipe the $1,000 debt. Huh? Does he owe you a who grand? Was it? Who, who was it? Who, who claimed the 10? Grandles, I think it was. Was it KJ? Who's uh, the one I said I should have waited? Grand Grand yeah. Grandles? Oh, Guess no. what, brother? Oh, no. Guess what? Avengers comic 9.6, first claimer. No, Round of applause for Grandles. Round of applause for Grandles. Joshy Grandles, the man. First claimer. Walshy, was he the second claimer? He, he got the Vulpix. He got the Vulpix. Okay, there you go. Well done, everyone. Thank you well, for your support. Well I've done. I've got one more deal for this vol plume. Yep. Plume. Give, me, give me a 10 claimer. I'll give you this vol plume and three spins at the wheel. Uh, That's my last deal. Last deal, guys. Now, for Mr. Barnwell, if you're after some doggies cards, my friend, I've got a couple of different ones. I'll show you the different price points. Okay. First up, I at four... $45, you can either get yourself a Legacy Rory Lob. That's a 10. 10. That is a 10 Pokemon, and that is a high-end set Legacy. Okay. I'm going to also extend $45 offer for a vintage 2009 Brad Johnson. Ah! Oh. Pristine 10, Herald Sun release. You gave either one of those for 45 bucks. Okay. That offer goes to any other dog fans as well. For $65, you can get yourself an Adam Trelaw Optimum... Pristine 10, numbered card. I'm not sure whether you can see that, but that is a very, very attractive looking piece. And as you can see, numbered as well. You can have that for 65. Guys, I'm giving away this pack right now. Pre-claim in all day Matty J's next week's AFL Tower. I've only got 30 spots left. If someone claims all 30, they're going to get 75 ducks in this oh, race to win this no. pack. And as soon as that's done, we're going to do it straight away. Rebecca Catton's Katten been sorted. She's grabbed 10. We've got 30 spots left. Who's keen? Who's keen? Uh, yeah. Do you guys have any other One Piece stuff? Yes, we do, Dominic. What are you after? Let us know, my brother. Bonton Pally, Mascots. I'll do a special price. I'll go 50 bucks on this one. Pristine 10. Mascots. Marcus Bontempelli, and I've also got, look at this, a die cut Jason Johannesson, pristine 10, Norm, Norm Smith medalist from 2016. This one's 100 bucks. Okay. All right, so any doggies fan? Die cut 10. Pokeron, only for me doggies boys. All right. Barnwell or Walsh if they can. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Um, Gold Rebecca, Rares. Rebecca Catton grabbed 10. Like this one. Gold rares like this Good one. Oh. Now, Dominic, if you don't know too much about uh, the vintage one piece, oh, you must know about it because he's asking for gold rares. But send through the YouTube vids. Good idea, KJ. That's right. I've got 30 spots left. 30 left, guys. 30 spots left. I'm and giving away that pack. Tell, guys. Tell whoever that bloke is, if he doesn't spend seven bucks to get a duck in that race... You're crazy. He's actually lost, you lost are, the plot. You've lost the plot because this is uh, extremely rare and hard to find sealed product of the fastest growing uh, fictional franchise out there. I think that's fair to say. Um, and you have the opportunity to win it. And basically, Pokemon, I think we've had all 10 claimers in the AFL tower, the pre-claim. So, like... 30 spots left. There's only, like, hold 10... Up, there's up. only 10 hold availabilities. Up. Hold that up. Look at that. Ooh. 
Tell us about that, KJ. Oh, t oh my well, goodness. Right there. 30 claimer. Take that. And I'll give you a Nunya pack. Oh, no Insanity. way. Insanity. And you're getting 75 ducks in the one piece race. No way. Hey, well, as you've seen, guys, a lot of the promotional cards um, floating around the modern one piece have been shooting through the roof in terms of prices. Now, you don't necessarily have uh, the exact premise I'm about to discuss, but the uh, winner Kaido just recently sold Raw for 150,000 USD. Um, that's a championship tournament card. Uh, however, there are promos and like all that sort of stuff, sort of similar like embossments on the cards you can pull out of these packs. They're very rare. People um, love these. So I think this will be a great pickup and they're a fantastic Item this is for the ne this is for the next thirty claimer da Dan Carter. So that's not a prize. That's next thirty claimer. And you're going the duck race for this. And it looks like Newson has taken it. KJ. Yeah. Looks like Newson has taken it. Ah yeah. All right. Well, you know what to do, KJ. You know what to do, brother. It is time. It is time to let. The ducks splash around in the pond. What's that? Oh yes, Nathan Newson. What do you reckon, Nathan? Who's winning? The, who's winning tomorrow night, mate? Well, I actually don't know who to pick for tomorrow night's game. I might just resort to, the, resort to the old flipping of a coin. But yeah, get the footy tipping happening, KJ. We'll get the duck race ready, and we'll go from there. Have we sold that thirty? Yes. yes. Okay, so. AFL Tower has concluded. Awesome yep. stuff. Well done. Let's cut to the duck race. Let's cut uh, to the duck second. race. And then we're going to do it. Before we cut to the duck race, please, what'd you say? I was just going to say, we, we're going to have a quick look at the tipping at some point. Absolutely. Oh. First 100 claimer in the Pokemon Tower is going to get this. Nintendo Power oh, wow. magazine what? from 1991 Metroid, guys. A holy grail of the gaming world. Less than 30 of these comics have been surfaced wow. and graded since 1991. They are a, this is a massive piece. Check out the back as well. Whoa. Absolutely huge vintra, uh, vintage retro. Claim 100 spots in the Pokemon Tower and this will be yours. Less Whoa. than 30 of these comics have surfaced in any condition. Really? This is the real deal. If anyone's keen on that. Whoa. Anyone's keen on the on the first hundred claimer? And oh, and a sh I'm I'm giving you a shout out if you claim that because that right there, no one else, no no one on this stream can say they've got this. I can guarantee you that. Nobody has this in their possession. If you ask me, KJ. Pies have to prove the medium people wrong, so should come out fighting. Yeah. I agree, Nath. I think it's going to be um, a close one. Dominique, I could do $10,000 on the croc. Or I've got a couple of silver rares here. Don Krieg, Mihawk. They're going to be about 900 bucks each. Um, alternatively, I've got this. Now, anyone can claim this, guys. These are not exclusively for him, but I've got a couple of 250 buck claims here, guys. Uh, a, a Zoro foil in a nine and a Luffy foil in a nine. 250 a pop, take both for 450. Massive one piece deal there. I've got a Sanji that I'll do for 200. Any, anyone keen on that? I've got a promo Silver Rare Luffy tournament card that I'll do for $750. $750. That is not available in packs. Darcy Giuliani, have you still got a sealed box of One Piece Pokemon? Uh, yes, I do. Jump on that, guys. You will not regret it. Nate Houston, knows. One, knows. one of our more informed viewers. Yep. Experienced viewer. Been around for a long time. He has. St. Nate's uh, first rodeo. Or if you want a couple of rare hollows, check this out. A couple of hollows you might not have seen. Captain Coro and Laboon in a 10. Uh, not for sale, Darcy, unfortunately, brother. But if it was, I don't know, three grand for a Series 2 box. Something like that. 
We're not looking to sell them, bro. I think they're going for about two grand. I wouldn't sell them for less than three, to be honest. And, I, and even if even if you offered me three grand, bro, I'd probably sell reluctantly. So, um, but the graded cards, I have got a few of them. I'll run you through them again. Your rare Gem Mint 10 Hollows. These are like Pop 2, Pop 3. I'll do them for about 400 bucks each. Take both for 600. I'll do this for 750. It's a trophy card, not available in packs. And uh, the silver rares. You do the silver rares, bro. I'll do them. Take them both for 1600. And uh, and then I've just got a couple of hollows that I'll do for around 200, 250 a pop. There you go. If anyone's interested in any of those, let me know. Speak now, forever hold your peace. Anyone keen on a big Pokemon claim? So you haven't seen one of these before, Pokemon? No. I haven't. No. Right. There's only three of them in the world. Wow. Only 30 in the world. I guess you all must... I guess you all you... I guess all 30 viewers we've got must uh, must have one, one each, KJ. Mm. Or maybe one of them's got all of them. I don't know. Yeah, 3K a box, Walshy. Um, it probably is a bit expensive, to be honest with you, bro. But ultimately, I know they're selling for two. And I wouldn't take less than three. Have I got reason to believe that they're worth three? Not really. I'll be honest. But I, there is a case on eBay for 18 grand, which prices them at bang on three. But hasn't been a sale yet. I wouldn't sell a box for less than three G's, my brother. Can you sweeten the deal for the Mihawk and Don? Ooh, sweeten it. Well, I, I did say that you can take both for sixteen hundred. That's a two hundred dollar discount. And these are both the silver riding ones as well, boys. Which is the rarer, better one? So don't know if I can sweeten it too much more than that on these two, brother. Um, but if you want, it'll be sixteen hundred. And then if you want, bro, I wanted on the trophy card, not available in packs, I wanted 750. If you take these two for for 1600, I'll give you this one for 500 bucks. So it'll be 2100 for the three. How's that, bro? That's another Oof. that's another 250 bucks off. You're getting 450 bucks off in total. You cool with that? I'll do something like that. If you don't want the trophy card, I'll give you a card like that for 300 bucks. So you can go like those three. Something like that. Um, or, or if you've got any other ideas. And I've got a... Uh, and I've got a... Um, and if you take that deal of... Uh, 2100 I'll chuck in two extra hollows for you bro a Kobe and a Sanji oh. both rookie cards Jeez, a seven and an eight so 2100 will get you that those three where did I put the 2100 will get you that what's on the wheel um, we're about to start the Pokemon Tower, brother, so the wheel is about to get a deep boost. Do you need to chuck, a, you need to chuck them on, KJ? Uh, I will need to. Uh... Alright, guys, that is the end of this segment. If it anyone is. is thinking about that, anything like that, Braden, if you take it, I'll do it for two grand. So I'll drop it from 21 oh. to two Gs to get the deal over the line. Um, Can we give him a couple spins? If you're interested. Uh, and yeah, I'll give you... I'll give you... How many spins? I'll give you 10 spins. Yeah. I'll give yeah. you 10 spins. Actually, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, I'll give you 10 spins. Now, do you want to run this race now? The... Uh, yes, please. Yeah. We're going to run... Uh, we are going to... And, and, and uh, should I give him a couple of ducks in this race? Oh, because he like I get yeah. it, but... I'll chuck in 10 ducks in this race That's as well. That's fair. That's fair. I'll chuck in 10 ducks for this race we're about to do. Yeah. And um, and I'll give you 10 spins on the wheel. I like that, Pokemon. I like that. That way he's got... Well, he, get, he, he gets some great stuff and he's got a chance for more great stuff. And we went two from two gold rares open in these packs the other day. Hey, uh, Timmy Real, what's happening, brother? What is happening? Timmy Real, what's cracking, bro?
All right, one minute timer and we'll start this race. One minute timer, KJ, quick, quick, quick. Get that timer going. And uh, remember too, Braden, that these, uh, these silver rares, there's only four of these in the set. So you'd only need two more to complete the silver rare set from uh, series one, which is the second best sort of set apart from the gold rares. And the only two you're missing is Arlong and Shanks. Which, I mean, I might, be able to, I might be able to help out with later on down the line. Can I see the deal again? Okie dokie. So, initially, these were 900 bucks each. I said if you take both, it's uh, 60, that was meant to be 1800. I said if you take both, it's 1600. So there's a $200 saving on the two silver rares with silver riding, both mint condition. This trophy card I wanted 750 for. I said for you it would be 500. So that's a $450 saving and the and the and the price is can you give me a handle, Dan? Sorry, Just with these numbers. Yes. So that was eighteen hundred. Yep. Dropped to sixteen hundred. That's two hundred dollars saving. Yep. This was seven fifty. Dropped to five hundred. That's four fifty saving. Yep. And then I'm chucking in these two hollows for free. So cool. probably another two hundred bucks worth of cards there. Hundred and fifty. So you're 200. talking what six fifty? Six fifty plus. I'm going to give you ten ducks in this race. Oh, oh, oh. And ten spins at the wheel to obviously hit the gold rares, the Zard. Poke on. Poke on. My goodness, we are talking about One Piece, uh, which is nearly 20 years old here. Sometimes I think people forget about that. What would you price the Silver Air Shanks? Uh, I'd say that's the best Silver Air. Um, but having said that, they're all they're all pretty rare, man. Probably 900 as well, I'd say, maybe a grand. And what do we say? We said how many ducks in this duck race? 10. 10? And 10 spins at the wheel. And 10 spins at the wheel. Just let us know what you're thinking, Braden, because we are in a t little bit of a hurry. Yeah. Even if you, 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 you're not interested, that's perfectly fine, brother. Don't forget, guys, on all orders tonight, guys, if you pay directly on the website, free postage. Free postage. And I guess that would mean accelerated um, delivery times, Corsa, if they pay direct on the... On the website yeah, tonight? Absolutely. So obviously with a public holiday yeah. coming up this Friday. All right. We have, we have to have Wheel of Fortune orders. is in. Sorry. Let, let's uh, sorry, yeah, go for it. Yeah, so we have to have your your orders paid for, you know, by Thursday. That's why we're gonna do our post on this Thursday. If it's not paid by then, you're gonna have to wait until next Friday. So looking at a two Beautiful. Three Get your Thursday. orders paid for by Thursday, guys, otherwise you're gonna set the shipping back uh, at, at what a week? Two weeks. A week to two weeks, guys. Get your orders paid for. What about this, Braden? That was um, that was that was twenty one hundred. Okay, what about this? Let's call it twenty five hundred. So 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 sorry. So I think I said two G's. Let's call it twenty five hundred. I'll chuck in these. I wanted four hundred each for these, so it's a further three hundred discount. And I will give you the wheel of fortune that you've asked for, plus the original ten spins I was going to give you. Hey uh... Happy with that? 2,500, you're gonna get all this. A Wheel of Fortune plus 10, and 10 ducks in the race. Can you do a pop check on those for me? JJ, thanks brother. I like what you're cooking up there, Pokeron. Happy with that, Braden? Give me the thumbs up and we'll do that. Tasty dish. If you do it that way, I can give you the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Plus 10. Yeah. And the first Wheel of Fortune for tonight, Pokeron. Did, was there um, two? By the way, this holo here is a pop one. You'll have the only one in the world. And was there two jackpots last night, you said, KJ? Two jackpots? I think it was... Two out two, of two. Two out of two. Yeah. Like, two, that's what I mean. Two consecutively. And this one is a pop three. Ooh. So you're getting a pop one and a pop three, ultimately, for 500 bucks. Pop three, not oh, pop, pop three. And nine. the grade, Pokemon. The grade. Gem Mint copies. Newson said, dude, if you don't take that, I might. Newson might be interested. Yeah. He's, he's put the right, he's, he's, he's cooked that dish at the right temperature, KJ, and then he's just added the right ingredients just to he's top it off. Seasoning. Huh? He's added some seasoning. He, oh, the seasoning was already there. Mm. This was the secret seasoning. Uh, DM final price with postage and GST. DM final price. Okay, uh, so the final price will yeah, be 2.5 two plus GST. What's that, 
Yep. Uh, and Three the seven. postage will be for like for free or ten bucks or something. And if he just um, yeah, well, it, well if he, if send it, him send him twenty seven sixty. That'll be the, that'll be the total. And price. if he wants KJ, if he wants to save postage, he can just buy that on the website. I don't so, know if we can do that with the claim. Why don't you do, why don't you just do like a DBZ tower? Yeah, yeah, we can do go, something like go that. Like how, oh, that's all right. I'll cover the postage yeah. on this one anyway if he's keen. Yeah. So don't stress about that. So just twenty seven. And my brother, if you do that, I'll throw in another Gem Mint ten Zoro. Oh. Rookie card from the quest begins. This guy, KJ. Can you tell my Rojo's due? Yeah. Oh, by the way, Vic Rose, they charge you for Rego now. Oh, oh. I've done a vehicle transfer the other day, but it nearly cost a grand. To transfer ownership. Really? Yeah. Brandon Jacobs, that total has been DM to you, brother. 27 no worries. 50 is He's going to and, and also chuck in a DM that I just chucked in another uh, Gem Mint uh, Zoro as well. Okay. <laughs> So, let's give him 30 seconds to have a think about that. He's all sorted, and we can talk about what is next. That's done. Beautiful, beautiful. They are all, they're all his. And give him 10 ducks in this race here, and let's do this race right now. Let's go. And he's also getting a Wheel of Fortune, is that correct? That's correct, right, plus 10. 27.50, he said he's happy with that. All right. Beautiful. And yeah. he's getting 10 ducks in this race. Yep. Awesome. Yes, 10 ducks in this race. Wow, I imagine you took this one down. Let's go, KJ. Sam Sin, how, how are the chickens? Oh. Oh. Yeah. I had a chook last night for dinner, KJ. Good thanks, Sam. Who's getting the pack? Oh. Let's see, we've got Grandles, McCarthy, Newson. Um, hey, Rebecca Catton. On the first show with me, All Day and You. Who's that? That, that Twitch view. Remember that Twitch view where I took, I took my shirt off and got really aggressive? And oh, the American guy. Is that him? Yeah, no, that's I don't think it. it's him. No, no, it's, no it's, it's, it's him. It is. It is. Sam, it's the American. Really? He's that American. guy from Twitch. He switched over to YouTube. And oh. He's, like, talking to us. he's from Texas. Is he? Yeah. So is he, is he nice to us now? Well, yeah, kind of. But like, yeah. Yeah, kind of. But like, yeah. He called me the other day. Called you on the phone? Yeah, I spoke to him on the phone. Yeah? Is he all right? He's a cool guy. Beautiful. Did we just get off on the wrong foot? Mm, nah. Is this the one when it was back and forth? Yeah. A few weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it, yeah. Okay. Now he's coming. I back. thought Sam might have been on some, drinking now some he... of that Tanqueray or I don't know. what Moonshine. Do you want? Moonshine. Dr yeah. So, hey, I know Pokeon. Yeah. I was drunk. Yeah, I know. Let's. We should get Sammy on the blower. Getting on the blower, Sammy means... <laughs> George Grandles comes home like a runaway train. There we go. Chuck it there in. There we Daniel's go. Audio. Said, yeah, moonshine. Where's Beautiful. He? Cut to a quick break. We're going to update the wheel with the Pokemon hits. KJ, catch. Let's get straight Ooh. to it. No, not that silly. Ten forty. Yeah. What happened, mate? Huh? No power in the house. Is that why? No. He just didn't charge it. Okay, we forgot the most important part of the week. Now, the be tipping. before we get to the footy tipping, I've got Jesse Barris here. 
Uh, and he's a Frio supporter, is that right? He's a Frio Dockers man. There we go. And they've had a couple of impressive wins to start the year, Pokemon. Check this out. I've got a flawless 10 watt. Michael Walters? Well, Michael Walters. Uh, goal sneak of the Dockers uh, Pokemon. Uh, last 10 or so years, he's been the premier goal sneak. And, uh, this is $40. $40 and pristine 10. I've then got a David Mundy at $60, also flawless 10. That's right. And that's from Prestige, what, 20... 10. 2010. Wow. 14 years ago. And then I've got for $80, the Pav. Pav. The Pav. The greatest docker of all time. AFL segment is technically over, Jesse, but I've got a couple now, of... If someone... If, if the Pav... Uh, sorry, if Jesse wanted all three of these, I'll do all three for 140. Do a good, do a, do a good deal. 40. Do a good deal. 140. A smidgen over 40 bucks each. I'll give him two spins at the wheel. And I'll give you two spins at the wheel. 140. Take them down. You if want... you're interested, Jesse, that's for your brother. Now, let's get to the footy tipping quick update. KJ, bang, you got to log in, you got to get it moving. we got to move, we've got to move, we've got to move. All right, so let's have a quick look. Wasteful Tip leading the way at 17, followed by P. John W. James Emerson coming in at third. ESPN Footy Tips, that sounds like a hack. Tell you what, coming at 16, Tyson Jones. Where am I? Todd Thurkettle. Is that you, Pokemon? Ron Where? Schill? Um, Why am I called Ron Shield? I don't know. Timmy Real, I reckon that is. Tim Wire? Tim Wire? Uh, no, one's give, no one's given me like a... this Any insight? No, no one said like, okay, all right, Pokemon, who's going to win out of these two? We should do that every week. Yeah. Let's do we'll, our we'll do, we'll, do, we'll, do we'll do it, we'll do it. The Righty Show, Paul Wright, we coming at 16. JP92, that's not Johnny Fam. Princess Siskel, Ryan J. Jeffrey, Isaac Dingle coming in at 14. Then we've got Hubble Trouble. One guess who that is. Um, scrolling down, Rach Kelly at 15. Um, where am I? Where are you? Keep going down, KJ. Zoe Carp, Robbie Delante. Why do I feel like I'm not included? I had in an average week. I'm at 13. Okay, yeah, I only got four. KJ ahead of me. I took some. I took some risks this round, KJ. I tipped North Melbourne. And I can't remember who else I did, but I had a couple that didn't go my way. Huh. And and look look who said, oh, I'm going to be like all the way up there and doing really well on the footy tips and win this thing. Lugia Shield sitting at 63. You know what, you know what he is? Place. The constant letdown. Yeah, who? Lugia? Last place. I feel like he's Mr. He's the principal Skinner and I'm his mum. Seymour! Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the footy tipping. Should we go through the games quickly, KJ? Go to the rounds, action. Watch it. Or just go the AFL app. I don't care. Whatever. What's your tipping hunt code? I'll join. No, Jesse. Give me your email and I'll add you. So you don't join my comp. I add you to it. I add you to it. I add you to it. What's your tipping comp code? I'll join. All right, well, look. All right, let's have a look. Okay, Brisbane Collingwood uh, tomorrow night, guys. Look, for me, that's a real, that's a toss-up. I mean, both teams haven't won a game all year. The two grand finalists of last year. Who would have thought that these two would be battling for their first win? Me, personally, I'd normally go the Lions at home, but Collingwood need this one. I'm not sure if the week's break has done Brisbane any good. I'm going to give Collingwood one more chance to turn their, get their season back on track. I'm going to go Collingwood by a goal, KJ. I'm going to go Collingwood by a goal, followed by North Melbourne and Carlton on Good Friday. I mean, we can't go past the Blues, can we, KJ? Their form's been impeccable. They are a team on the rise. North Melbourne have been showing promising signs, but I think the Blues are going to be too strong. Moving on to the Dockers and the Crows. What is happening, EA Sports? How are you, brother? Um, the Dockers and the Crows. Uh, I think the Dockers are going to be too good at home, KJ. They had a very impressive win against the Lions first up. And then they overpowered the Kangaroos last week. So my tip will be Frio. Moving on to Essendon St. Kilda. Uh, this will be a good game. Essendon have shown good glimpses so far in the, at the start of the season. Uh, very physical contest with the Swans last week. They did fall short by five goals in a very high-scoring affair. And, of course, the Saints... Uh, Toppled the uh, rating premiers in Collingwood last week. So, based off that, KJ, I'm going to have to lean towards St. Kilda slightly. I'm going to go St. Kilda by two to three goal margin. Moving on, KJ, to the uh, Dogs and West Coast. Well, the West Coast, obviously undermanned, under strength, and a very, very young side. They're going to struggle against the Dogs here in Melbourne. So, you can't go past the Dogs. 
Um, Port Adelaide, Melbourne, potentially the match of the round uh, on Saturday night at the Adelaide Oval. I think Stephen May is going to be a key out for Melbourne. Big, big blow to their chances. Look, I'm a Demons man, but I probably am going to have to go with my um, head over my heart and probably go with the power, but I'll probably tip Melbourne uh, just out of pure dumb loyalty. Uh, but it'll be a good game, nevertheless. Uh, Richmond and the Swans. I mean, Swans, for me, they're the early premiership favourites, KJ. Their form has been impeccable. I've loved everything I've seen from them so far this year. Richmond, they've been good in patches in their first three games, but they haven't been able to put together a four-quarter performance, so I'm going to have to go with the Swans. And then, of course, uh, Easter Monday, uh, the Hawks and the Cats. Hey, you got to watch it here or there. You Tomahawks. Play. You give me a good tip, mate. Tomahawks, 350th game. Tommy Hawkins. I uh, I think the Cats are going to be too strong. I did I did watch Hawthorne firsthand last week at the G. They looked they looked a bit basic against uh, the Demons. Uh, in saying that, I think Melbourne are stronger than the Cats, but I think Geelong are going to get that one. So my tips, KJ, I'm going to go Collingwood, Carlton. Fremantle, St Kilda. I'm going to go Melbourne. Like I said, out of dumb loyalty. I'm going to go the Dogs. I'm going to go the Swans. And I'm going to go the Cats. So that's it, KJ. That's AFL. Done, brother. Now, add Jesse Barras right now. Get his email. Add him to the footy tipping competition. Yeah, Jesse Barras. Um, that should have been uh, sent now to your email. You've done it? Um, Check your email. And guys, get your tips in. This Thursday is the uh, opening game of the round. Tomorrow night. Let's cut to a break, KJ, and we're going to be back. And guys, claim 100 spots, and you're going to take this piece down. Okay? We'll cut to a break. video supermarket in Toowoomba. No one can beat the range. There's over 75,000 videos and new releases are just $3.95 or under. And for the best bargain yet, get along to your nearest Video Easy store on a Tuesday and grab a new release at half price. You heard right, half the already discounted price. You'd be crazy to pass up such a great offer. And what's more, they have a huge range of Sega and Nintendo computer games to choose from. Video Easy, there's a store near you.
answer the phone. Don't open the door. You're not scared, are you? Scream. Back, ladies and gents. Welcome, Stranger Collectibles. Welcome to the Pokemon Tower. Mm -hmm. I've had the pleasure of KJ yeah. just passing and then having passed back to me the hits that are on the wheel. And uh, I'd be very impressed, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look what we've got. Look at this. Have a look at this. Raichu Series 1 stickers, Prism, mint condition. So these are all on the wheel, guys, and they will be... Taken down by one of our lucky viewers tonight who participate in the Pokemon Tower. Have a look at that. Wigglytuff, green back. Wigglytuff, green back. What's the best thing you can pull from an onion pack? Base set Zard, Rogan. That's probably what you're looking for, I'd say. Look at that. Illustration Charizard, mint condition. We've got old maids too. We've got old maids, slow pokes. We've got gem mint, Japanese Dodrios, rookie cards. Look at this. Magnemite, first ed team rocket. These are all on the wheel, guys. These will be taken down. These will disappear. Magneton Hollow. Look at that. Very nice uh, what you've cooked up here, KJ. Drowsy card ass. Wow. Check out the back of that. Check out the back of that. We've got a beautiful magic art. Generations. Gem mint. Top. Oh, look at this one here. Pikachu. Scarlet Violet pre-order. What a stunning full art that is. Like, that is a very, very aesthetically pleasing piece just have a look at that take a second to just take that in rogan's loving the magneton i, I, I love the great background personally like it, it's a kind of a safe color but i just think it goes so nicely with it no removal gym gem mint erica's oddish first ed first ed digger and first Ed Coughing. So there, oh, what about this one too? Look at this. Look at this beautiful sealed squirtle. Metallic. That's on the wheel as well. That is on the wheel as well. So that is what's going down tonight, boys and girls. That's just the Pokemon Tower. That's just the Pokemon Tower, boys and girls. They keep getting better and better. Now, Mark, KJ is to either blame or to congratulate for that. So. You let me know, brother. Is he doing a good job or is he going too hard? Which one is it? All right. Now, I'll KJ, um, um, I've got, uh, have you cooked anything up for any of our clamors who want to grab like a bulk amount and get... I come around now? Brother, get your ass over here. Yeah, all right. Is there an X towel or DBZ towel tonight? Rogan, I will be doing a DBZ tower. If you're interested in pre-claiming for a DBZ tower, Rogan, let me know. Um, and I'll cook up something real nice for you, brother. You let me know. Are you in the money for a 50 claim or a 100 claim? If you want to go either one of them, give me a nice pre-claim. I'll cook up something great for you, KJ. Do you reckon we can cook something up for Rogan? Oh, yeah. If Rogan's keen on a DBZ tower? Yeah. All right. Sure. Keep um, an eye out for some uh, gr some of our best graded collectibles, and we'll cook that up with uh, with Rogan's order. Um. Well, all day. Um. So basically, guys, you know, lately how I've been um, doing like KJ special deals, um, yep. they've been really loving it all day. 
and they've been really liking and saying like, oh, this is so good. And then Pokemon like looks at me across the room and goes, oh, What's KJ, it? that's way too much. You're you're so silly. Uh, you shouldn't be giving away so much stock. Blah 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 blah. Well, sh show the viewers what they can get. So now, where are we start? We starting off with a uh, fifty claim. Well, yeah, so I've got multiple 50 claims here. Basically, this is going to be, like, really way too good, but I'm going to do it anyway, because why not? Because the Pokemon's, Pokemon's not in. Pokemon's not, not in the room, so why not? But, basically, first up, this is going to be for a 50 claim, guys. This is a pre-claim of 50 in the Pokemon Tower. Um, V-Star. The good thing is, is if you're the first 50 claimer in the Pokemon Tower, that only means one thing, guys. You're going to have the most likely chance to take down the most prizes to start with. 100%. So not only is that going to be the case for you as a special first 50 claimer, but you get to take down this Charizard V-Star in Gem Mint 10. Now, personally, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a bit of, bit of a fan of the Charizards. So I've just grabbed another Gem Mint 10 Charizard oh. V from the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. ETB, look at those two Zards sitting right next to each other. So what do you, what, what do you need to do to get that? You need to pre-claim 50. And but you get hey, both. I saw both those cards and I was thinking, hmm, what can I do to make this the oh, definition brother. of a KJ special deal? Why not chuck what, a KJ in shout out? a third Zard and make it a pristine 10? Oh, brother. So we'll, I've put got, that, we'll put that in the middle then. I've got two Gem Mint 10 Zards. And a pristine 10, all different, all modern, absolutely oh, brother. stunning brother. Zards. This brother. should probably be for a way more like a 70 or a 100 claim, but I've made it a 50 claim. Special for you guys, KJ special deal. First up, the person who wants to get involved. If you guys want to get involved and take this one down, I can do it for you. Well, what I'll do, KJ, I'm also going to throw in 10 spins, but, that, but we're not throwing in any more. Okay. But that's on top of their Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So you hear that first, guys. That's from All Day Matty J. You've got a KJ X All Day Matty J special deal right here. This is a Wheel of Fortune for a 50 claim plus 10 spins and all three Charizards you can take down. If you want to do it, that's an option for a Pokemon fan. Now, I've got multiple other options Show us, for Disney fans, Disney. Marvel fans, Rogan Smiler, One Piece fans. You got One Piece? Let's check this out, guys. Show him One Piece. This is... A great deal, Rogan. I think this is fantastic. This right here is a super rare Gem Mint 10 Sanji. Sanji. Now, this right here, Rogan, funnily enough, is one of the first ever super rare Sanji. I think it's either one or two. I might be mistaken. But this is one of the most uh, world-renowned uh, super rares for Sanji. Most popular one, I believe. Um, so, if you want to take that down, that's for a 50 claim. And, brother, I've taken some very good modern... And I've also chucked in the best of the best. Oh, Luffy. Vintage, One Piece, Rookie, oh, Gem brother. Mint, 10 Luffy. Rogan, do you know how much these go for nowadays? These are very expensive and it's only a 50 claim. This should be probably more like a 100 claim. But brother, since it's you and mate, you're an absolute legend. You get around the stream. You're a fantastic bloke. I want to give this to you for a 50 claim in the Pokemon Tower, and if you're the first one, whoever is the first 50 claimer will get that extra 10 spin and deal from all day, oh, KJ. KJ, so you do it. So either one, we go either the three Zards, either the three Gem Mint 10 and Pristine 10 Zards, or the vintage rookie Gem Mint 10 Luffy, or Super Rare Sanji Gem Mint 10. Wow, so. Think about it, guys. I think it's a very good deal. And KJ, if they if you want to claim a hundred, yeah, you'll get all this, Ooh, and yeah. I'll, we'll give twenty five spins on the wheel on top. Twenty five. Oh, wow. Yeah, and 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 two wheel of fortunes. Oh my lord. So that's for a hundred. Two wheel of fortunes and twenty five spins. Which is effectively three wheel of fortunes. Yeah, for a hundred. But again, well, that's the best or if you want to go fifty, you can obviously go down the One Piece route, or you can go down the uh, Pokemon route. And we're talking three. We're talking two Gem Mint tens and a Pristine ten. Wow. If you don't mind. Some pretty good deals out here at the moment, all day. That oh yeah. Is for certain. Rebecca Katner's um, back with us. How are you, Beck? Ta-da! Now Rogan said that he's already got that one. So brother. Which I'm, one? Which I'm, one? The Luffy. He's got this one. 
Okay. So what I'm going to do for you, brother, I'm going to give you the, the modern Super Rare Sanji and this Gum Gum Double Barrel. This is one of the only cards in the set outside of the Gum Gum Pinwheel Gold Rare that features the words Gum Gum. So obviously he says that at the start of every time he's using an attack move. Um, so obviously quite significant um, to have those words on the card itself. Plus it's Gem Mint 10, plus it's a rookie Luffy from 2006 Passage to the Grand Line. So if you want to take this one, but brother, it's going to be a fantastic deal. Yeah, um, just to cut you off, po uh, Pokey Ron, KJ. Yeah. So Brayden says, does that mean I have three Wheel of Fortune? So we owe Brayden a Wheel of Fortune because he got the One Piece yep, claim before. Yep. So you would have three Wheel of Fortunes in total. If he gets it, 100. If, if he gets 100. And 25 spins. And 25 spins on top. That's huge, That's bro. huge, brother. That's uh, So he could get 115 spins. Up to that. Well, 25 is effectively... You're right near the top of what you can get for a yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, that's the best of the best. That's so you'll get that plus what? He's, he's owed one. Yeah. And he'll get two more. Yeah. So they have three Wheel of Fortunes and 25 spins on top. Exactly. And tell you what, if anyone also wants to take this one down, I'll do a ridiculous, stupid deal all day. If you claim 30, I'll give this to you if you don't have it. Gem Mint 10 Rookie Luffy. For I hope 30. That, I hope that actually doesn't go all day. For that's 30. too good. That's too good. Braden, can I swap the top left Zard? Can you swap one? the top left Zard? For Brother, what? For what? Tell you what, I know Braden loves uh, Vintage One Post, so if you want to swap that, I'll give you the Rookie Luffy Gem Mint 10 instead of that. If you'd like to do that, brother. Um, if you're not happy with that and you want to do Pokemon instead, I can see if I can sort something out for you, but this is still a fantastic deal nonetheless. Brother, it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal in way of slabs. Yep. It's a huge deal in way of uh, vintage Pokemon Raw cards and yeah. spins on the wheel. Three three, wheel, uh, three wheelies, Wheel of Fortunes, yeah. and 25 on top. Oh, yeah. So that is there for you, Brayden. We've cooked up something very nice, very attractive, very tempting, mm -hmm. but that's also out there for anyone else. But Brayden has signaled his potential intentions. And Brayden says, I will take that. Okay. No dramas. So, KJ, I do believe we have a claimer in front of Brayden. Yep, we have 10 spots here. 10 so spots? Who was that for? Uh, Hunter Dawson. Hunter Dawson. So we'll do Hunter's 10 first. Yep. And then we will do. Brayden's 100. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Now, leave, nah, leave him there. Leave, leave him. him. You like leave him. him. You like I like him. him. I like showing like him. I like displaying him, Kaja. Yeah. All right. So, that's that. So, uh, for Hunter, he's first 10. Yep. First off the bat, we've got a beautiful Laundred uh, reverse foil all the way back from 2008. Mm -hmm. 2008. There we go. One. Two. We've got a Bill's teleporter. Three. Energy Search. Four. Sabrina's Venonat. What a stunning artwork. We've got Swallow. That's five. Six. Beautiful trainer. Japanese. Seven. Tops Macho. Eight. We've got a Team Rocket Ekans. Nine. Golbat. From Fossil Set. And ten. Oh, look at that. Those hollows are beautiful. They are stunning. Dare me, brother. No worries. Now, I'm going to grab 100 spots for Brayden. Just give me a sec, KJ. And don't forget, guys, if you pay on the website tonight, it is free shipping. If you'd like me to drop the link, I can now, guys. I'm happy to do that. Your order will be sent out tomorrow, the second last business day before the Easter long weekend. Don't forget, guys. I'll just drop the link now, guys. Um, that's going to be pinned to the Facebook comment section. Um, you'll see that that has just been dropped now from the messenger, Aaron Lester Ellis. So... If you'd like to use the website, it is free postage, so you're saving basically eight dollars fifty every time. Um, so it's it's a pretty good um thing going there, guys. Now, while all day is counting up those hundred spots, I may as well run you guys through the other deals I'm going to be doing right now. If you guys would like to see a couple of other deals, I can either do a couple smaller ones, bigger ones. Um, but basically I'm looking in the comment section to see if there's any Marvel fans or Disney fans. If you're a Marvel fan or Disney fan, just send through flames in the comment section and I'll bring something out that is really, well, too good. But yeah, I'll, br I'll bring something out for you guys. 
show you guys what I've got here. Uh, I think you guys are going to love it. So just send through flames if you are interested. How good is free shipping? Oh, free shipping is the best. That's it, Mark Howden. It is the best. I'll um I'll send you all the details soon as well, Brayden. Send you those as soon as possible. All right, Brayden. Now, if but if Brayden wants, can't Brayden just sort it on the website? Would that um. Oh, okay. Um, because we've got 100 spots, KJ. Yeah. If he gets his 100 yeah, yeah, spots, yeah, he'll yeah. have his order sent out tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. So, tomorrow, Brayden, you can, you can just go through the website, brother. Claim that uh, fifth. Just go to the 50 quantity, times that by two, and then that's all done for you, bro. And then there's no dramas on our end. Um, now, just quickly, Adam McCarthy. Sorry, KJ. Just quickly, before I forget, Jesse Barras is asking about AFL cards. Now, if you want Jesse, give me a follow on Instagram, all day Matty J. Hit me up, brother, and uh, we can talk AFL cards. If you want to move some on, if you want to do a trade or something, I'll have a chat to you, mate. All day, Matty J on Instagram. Send me a DM. Give me a follow if you like. I'll follow you back. And um, I'll see if there's anything there we can uh, we can sort out, mate. Now. No dramas, Braden. Now, I might just do Braden's 100 right now, KJ. Uh, yeah, I, I just want to run through a couple of the deals I've got here. Adam McCarthy is waiting on a deal. I've got a okay. Marvel deal. He's interested. Yep. So, Adam McCarthy... Right here, I've got a Havoc in Gem Mint Pen. This is what you call a rookie Marvel card from 1990 Marvel Series 1. Havoc in a Gem Mint 10. Notoriously known as being very difficult graders with the square edges. Um, and also being, what, 30, 35 years, years old? old. Yep. Yeah, best part. X Factor versus Apocalypse. Fantastic looking artwork. You've got Silver Surfer um, and Cyclops here. Very famous Marvel characters, and this is in Gem Mint 10 as well, brother. So this right here is going to be for a 50 claim. Usually it should only be two Gem Mint 10s just because of how hard it is to send these off, get such high grades, and then display these out just for a 50 claim. I'll also chuck in, since if you want to do this, and it's going to be your first 50 claim, this is also a Crossbones Gem Mint 10 from Marvel. Series 3, still 1992, so Whoa. it's still 33 years old. If you want to do it, bro, this is going to be a 50 claim. If you aren't looking for something this large, um, then I can do uh, a smaller claim now, for the Now, of course, cars. they'll get a Wheel of Fortune, KJ. And for a 50 claim, we're going to throw 10 spins on top. Oh, there you go. Adam McCarthy, if you want to take that down, brother, it's going to be a Wheel of Fortune. These three Gem Mint 10 Marvel cards, plus 10 spins on top. Can I do transfer easier? As in bank transfer? Uh, we could probably organise that. If that is that how Braden would normally um, pay? Usually uh, with the bank transfer, Braden, that, uh, I don't know if that does uh, that through the website. I think it's just PayPal. But if you were to do it through bank transfer, I think it's... I'm not too sure. I'll have to sort something out for you later um, when uh, well, you've got gets back you, You've got the dates. Like, I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because is it through PayPal on the website? Mm. Okay. Yeah. No problem. But yeah. So that is for a 50 claim. So three Gem Mint 10s right there. 10 spins on the wheel. And um, that is available. On top of the wheel. So of that's for Adam, Adam McCarthy, McCarthy, is it? Yeah. Adam McCarthy, that is for you, my friend. Now, if I, I, what I'm going to do is, Adam McCarthy, I'll give you about a minute. Um, and then what I'll do all day is I'm going to do smaller duck races for each individual card yep. for people to get involved in and it's going sure. to be a five claim duck race. All right, no five worries. claim duck race for each individual card here. Um, I think you guys might like these. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that if Adam McCarthy doesn't take this deal down. Um, I'll give him a minute timer in just a second. So Adam McCarthy, if you're interested or not, brother, just let me know. Um, now, if no one is interested in the Marvel, KJ, get some vintage One Piece hollows out. Rogue... All right, I'll see what I can do for you, brother. I'm just going to quickly do one thing, Rogan, and then I'll show you some vintage One Piece holders, if there is any, of course, in the studio. Um, hey, gents, how are we going today? Bishoy, how you going? KJ here behind the camera. All day's left the room. Pokemon's left the room. Causa's left the room, and it's just me here. It's just me. So I'm just, um, I'm just doing some claims, seeing if everyone likes um, some of the stuff I'm bringing out. Um... Tell you what, guys, I'll do some really nice ones here. Do some really nice claims. I don't know if I should be doing it because it's obviously a gem in 10, but stuff it. 
10 claim in the Pokemon Tower. You can take that down. 20 claim in the Pokemon Tower. You can take down a Lum Lumere from Disney 100 Joyful Gem Mint 10. Very nice Disney card. That's a 20 claim. Or you can also take down for a 20 claim a Gem Mint 10. Oh, wait. I can't believe I just said 20 claim. Oh, I feel like this should be like a 30 or 40, but I've said it, I guess. Disney 100 embossed Gem Mint 10. This is gorgeous. It's a Disney 100 rare. Gold embossed. They're the rarest box hits you can get from the Disney 100 sets. So you can take that down for a 20 claim. Um, or you can take down all three cards for a 50 claim plus 10 spins on top of your Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to leave that out there. Um, plus, as a reminder to you guys, the three Marvel card Gem Mint 10 uh, Impulse Series 1 and Series 3 cards for a 50 claim. Or I can do individual claims if you would like. Um, but Rogan, I'm going to grab you out a couple of vintage One Piece Hollows. I'm going to see what I can find for you, brother. Um, looks like... Ooh, I think I've got something you might like here, Rogan. I think I've got a couple things you might like here, brother. Alright, Rogan, 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 Rogan. Got something nice for you, man. Can't wait for three spins on the wheel for plus ten. Oh. Oof. It'll be off its head, Brayden, man. Off its head. Okay, Rogan. Rogan. Got some cards here for you, brother. This right here. This is a foil. 2006. The original e Evil Sheriff. Um, he's one of the first ever villains you ever meet in the One Piece series. Next up. We have... I can't remember if she's the first or second... But she's one of the first two ever villains to ever be introduced into One Piece. Now, this right here, Rogan, I don't know if you have it, much of these. Highly doubt it, because we haven't had these on the show very long. But this is an L Vita foil mint condition from 2000. Now, I can almost guarantee that that right there is a pop one. This so far is only for a 50 claim, bro. This is a 50 claim for a card from 2000. Oh, yeah. Prior to the 2006 and 2005 sets, these are the OG worldwide Japanese vintage One Piece cards. And Rogan, bro, if you want to take down this 50 claim, bro, I'll chuck in a Mint Plus condition. Usopp. Oh, brother. Passage to the Grand Line foil. Dude. One of the oh. most popular, most iconic characters from the One Piece series. One, I think that is the rarest. That's the rarest variant of now, Usopp from the Rookie series. Now, playing I was going to say, do that quickly because the Pokeron is coming back. Is that for oh 50 God. KJ? Yeah. Oh All right. Let me just get Rogan's 50 sorted. All right. No worries, Rogan. We will sort that out for you in a sec, brother. So Rogan's getting a Wheel of Fortune. And what do we say? 10 spins on top? Ah, uh, yeah. Wow. Very well done by you, Rogan. Hold on, brother. Um, Rogan, yeah, or anyone else, if you want me to bring out anything else, uh, like foil, uh, vintage One Piece, or any other types of vintage One Piece, guys, or any other types of KJ special deals I can bring out for you guys, let me know in the comments section down below, and I'll see what I can do for you. Alrighty, now what I think we'll do is, KJ, we'll give... Bishoy, what's that? Oh, sorry. Bishibs, what's happening, my brother? <coughs> what is going on? So I'm going to package that up for Rogan. Mm -hmm. Now, I think what we'll start off with is KJ. We will do uh, Brayden's claims. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go Rogan's. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go to the wheel. Awesome. No worries all day, Matty J. All right, no worries. All right, we're going to start off with Brayden's. Uh, Brayden 100. Brayden's 100. All right, let's go. So we got one. Misty Seal. 
Two. Sableye. Three. Crabby. Four. Rookie Slopo. Simple, but love it. Oh, one of those beautiful... I love those hollows, KJ. Sabrina's Haunter. Hello. What a stunning artwork that is. Tommy McKinley's in the house. What's going on, brother? I love the viewers when they tune in, KJ, and they say hi. Yeah. Etiquette. I like it. Weedle. Base set rookie. Uh, Sol Galeo. Reverse foil. Erica's Tangler. Goldine. We've got a Jatini. Sticker card. Wiz Cash. Reverse foil. Venonat. Rookie card. Oh, look at that. We've got a Haunter. Beautiful Haunter sticker in the tower. Ekans. Team Rocket. Bite. And a Poison. Oh! Look at that. Charmeleon. Have a look at that. These towers are stacked with surprises. Vintage surprises, KJ. That's what I love. That's it. Oddish. Metapod reverse foil. Kadabra, discontinued species, but of course wasn't discontinued up to this point. Base set two. Squirtle base two. The rookie artwork. Oh, we've got a Lugia. We've got a Lugia. Nidoran. Oh, they just keep coming, KJ. They just keep coming, brother. The Sprout of Bells. The Ab of Raz. The Growl of Luths. Very nice. Very nice. Bill's Teleporter. Challenge. Oh, Sabrina's Mr. Mime. What a artwork. Isn't that stunning? Sligu. Pokemon Center. Ooh, Don Fan. Tops. Oh, blue logo. So series one. So therefore, Rogan. Right. Yep. And yep, and just keep them handy. Mm -hmm. They're Rogan's raw cards. Ekans. We've got Golbat. Oh. To Aerodactyl. You know, I've got an Aerodactyl pre release uh, 10. Really? KJ, yeah. Erica's Bell Sprout. One of my favorite cards in my collection. Clefable. Krabby. Slowpoke. Yeah, brother. I'm just going to show Rogan something. In case show Rogan whatever you need to show Rogan. In case he wants to upgrade to 100. Upgrade to 100. Okay. But if he's going to, if you want him to upgrade to 100, make sure it's going to be something he likes. Brock Santru. What an artwork. So who's this for? This is for Rogan. Captain Usopp. If he wants to upgrade to 100 and we downgrade our stock. Right here. Next up, Marchop. Mudbray. Brother. Get out the way. Get out the way. This is Braden's time to shine. Dark Raticate. Rhyhorn. The Wrath. Oh, brother. <laughs> Relax. Well, make your move soon. Make your move soon. Because um, the poker run will be back soon. Thank you, Jesse. I'll get back to you a bit later, mate. Just because we've got a bit to get through tonight. But I'll definitely get back to you, legend. Venusaur. Sticker. Oh, Grimer. Oh, man. The Luff. What is going on with these cards, KJ? Execute. Nice Caterpie. Jinx. Base two. Don't of course, base set artwork. Squirtle. Squirtle. He says he's tapped out, Rogan. No worries, Rogan. That's why if he's tapped out, KJ, you got to, like, show him something that he loves. You've got to make him an offer he can't refuse. Nidoran. Swoobat. We've got the Sprout of Bells. We've got the Ab of Ra's. Team Rocket. Ab Double Ab of Ra. Oh, man. Oh. The gator. The no. gator. The gator. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, my God. It's a holographic Pharrell gator. I was going to say the Pharrell of gator. Wow. The Pharrell of gator for Bredo. Nice, Braden. That's a great card, brother. Well, what are you after, Rogan? 
KJ will cook up what you need, brother. If it, if you if it's a dish you've already had, maybe he can add an ingredient that you haven't seen before that might make it taste that little bit better. Polywag. Challenge. Lieutenant Sergio Spiro. Hey, Rogan. Taylor. Instead of that Usopp, I'll, Here's your I'll, I'll give you the, the Arlong vintage. Show him the artwork, brother. That's, that's, that's the Japanese very first ever Arlong artwork ever to exist in one piece. Is that year 2000? Yes, and that is the rarest Arlong card to ever oh, exist. Man. And it's the rookie. Oh, so man. The plus condition foil. I'll do that instead of the foil Usopp. Racing cheek to cheek. If, if you need to, Rogan, we do have zip pay. We do have after pay. Yeah, four fortnightly uh, installments. Ekans, Zubat. I mean, this claim just never ends. This claim never ends. And you, sir, the chop. Would you like me to do a KJ special deal for you? The Pokemon's gone, but he's listening on the cameras. So I can't speak oh, Slow down. Oh, brother. Have you ever got so excited to see a seal? Baya, 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 baya. That's right, Brock Santro. No worries, Rogan. The chop of Ma. If anyone else would like to take that deal, I can. Do it. The aura of Pang. The dude of Geo. No, it's just Geo, dude. The horn of Rai. That's no, right. The. Saw of Ivy. No, it's a Ivy saw. The uh, Ala of Lun. No, it's Lun Ala. The uh, the Nat of Ven. The what? The Nat of Ven. I thought, I thought it was a Twat of Ven. Uh, Evie. Sick card. Oh, we got Neckens. Brother, I, can't, I can barely hold this together. Oh, brother. The Peak of Chew or the Chew of Peak. Chew of Peak. Hollow. Houston. Hollow. No, hey, Houston, how hey, are you, KJ? Uh, I'm good, thanks, Houston. Polipa. Do you want me to do it? Like, really good. The Saw of Ivy. Ridiculously, stupidly. Qu oh, Squirtle Rookie. Stu stupendous deal for you. No more. Pull the Pokemon's out of the room, otherwise he'll kill me. Need a ran. Oh, brother. This is on fire, Cage. This oh, tower's boy, on man. fire. Who is going to get around this? We've got the Abavra again. Brayden, we're nearly done. Uh, Brayden, this, you got three more left. Sorry, four more. One. Oh... Manaphy Hollow. What year is that? 08? 07. Wow. Last couple. Berry. And you've got a switch to finish, th finish things off. Brayden, we're going to get to your spins in a sec. We're going to do Rogan's 50 claim. Next, KJ. Yeah. All right. Let's do Rogan's, and then I reckon we go to the spins. What do you reckon, KJ? Done. All right, Rogan's let's, let's do Rogan. We've got Moo Moo Milk. We've got Moo Moo Milk. We've got Meowth. I've got a baby on the way, KJ, and I, I keep asking my um, significant other when is her Moo Moo Milk going to start forming? Yeah. Um, Septile EX. Wow. Oh, Septile EX! Jeez. Energy Search. Sabrina's Drowsy. Misty Side Dark. Absol. Oh, man. Moo Moo Milk, yeah. Hey, grats on the baby. Thanks, Sammy. So, Sammy, you're from America, huh? What part of the USA? And what do you what do you know about Australia? Can we maybe... Do you reckon we can get the Pokemon to sponsor Sammy to come out? All expenses paid? Mate, you can stay with us. We'll show you the sights. But you've got to be careful of the crocs and the kangas and the snakes. What's going on, Kerp? We're just getting through the tower. Another crazy KJ special coming up. Golbat. The Crab Star. Oh, man. This just gets better and oh, better wow. and better, this tower. Misty's Tentacle. What an artwork. The Horsey. Fossil Rookie. Star U. Base Set Rookie. Nido Queen. Oh, Newsom wants to hear what? Newsom wants to hear what? And the drop bears, you're right, Tommy McKinlay. Got to be careful of those drop bears, Sammy. Voltol. Paris. Chansey. Grimer. Oh, man. This tower just delivers KJ like none before. Execute. Ninkata. Brock's Zoo to the Bat. 
Squirtle rookie artwork. Base two. So I got just you just hold your horses, KJ. Wait. Need rain. I can't wait to get to these spins. Charmander. Meowth. Oh, what? What type of muck is that? It's beautiful muck stick. Oh, Pika! Rogan, you're on fire here. Misty Shelder. Rogan is on fire. Rogan and Braden lighten up tonight's stream so far. Slowpoke rookie. Oh my goodness. Magikarp. Brock's Rhyhorn. Goldeen. Beldum. Brock's Golbat. We've got the Rhyhorn. Jungle. Rookie card. Lieutenant Surge's Spiro. Gudra. Energy Retrieval. Battle Before Lunch. That's Top's Blue Logo, Series 1. Meowth. And last but not least, we've got Horsey. So that is for Rogan, KJ. Now, did, have you taken Rogan Slabs? Oh, yeah. All right, let's, yeah. I reckon KJ, let's 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 do the wheel now because we've got a few we've got a few spins to get through. Okay. So we'll give uh, we'll give Braden his first shot, which I think we said it was twenty five is plus three wheelies. Mm -hmm. All right, KJ. Oh, you've cooked up something nice there. We'll show them that yeah. in a sec. We'll that's, show them that, the... that's that one there is a KJ special delivered straight to Nathan. Houston. All right, no worries. We'll show Nate that in a second, guys. We'll show Nate that in a sec. Does... Tell me if that looks too good for a certain amount of claims. So is that what Nath sort of asked for? Uh, yeah, basically. If Nath here and wants to see, I'll show Nath, but I'm happy to get started with the spins, KJ. Done. All right, first up is going to be uh, Hunter Dawson with one spin. Hunter Dawson with one spin. Okay, nothing for Hunter so far. Next up is Braden Jacobs with three spins on the wheel of fortune. Plus 25. 25. All right, KJ, so let's add them up. So we're going 25 plus. Mm -hmm. Go, KJ. Oh, I feel nervous all day. This could like be... Pokemon's going to walk in and everything's going to be gone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. Plus five. Give him, oh, give him a couple extra. I'm going to give him seven. Okay. I felt sorry for the five there. That was a little bit... A little bit unfortunate. Oh, that's a bit better. Nice. So we'll go 16. And he's got one more. One more. Give him something good, KJ. Oh, Ooh. nice. In the 20s. Or close to 20. Let's just go 20. Let's just go 20. So he's at 68. So, so oh, you add it up. So it's 32, 52. Mm -hmm. Yep, 68. 68, KJ. Wow. 68. Feeling great. Feeling great. Let's go, K. Can I call you K Jizzle? Yeah. Nice. I've been waiting a long time to get permission for that. Here we go. All right. One. Spin again. No, no. Spin again, KJ. Bro. I think one. Oh, that's one. Dodrio. And it's a Dodrio. Hey, that's a nice one, dude. That's one and it's a Dodrio. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me. Oh yeah, there we go. It's just a. It's just a Japanese ten, brother. It's just a jungle rookie Dodrio. Gem Mint copy, the first ever Dodrio that you would have ever seen of that artwork. All right, no worries. So that was the first spin, technically. Let's go. Number two. Some free ducks in the next duck race. Shout out from Pokeron. I'll be Pokeron. In fact, I'll give him two extra spins. We'll round up to 70 KJ. How's that for a shout out? Nice. Slowpoke. Ooh. <laughs> Just an old mate gem mint 10. Just an old mate gem mint 10. Nice, Braden. All right, let's go spin number five. Okay. Oh, who's saying jackpot? Everyone, yeah, where's the jackpot, guys? Everyone like, sent through jackpot, man. Where's the love for your fellow viewers? I mean, do you not want a jackpot? Yeah. Do you want to sit there? <gasps> oh, oh, freaky. See, imagine someone said it, KJ. It might have just pushed that over the line. Then, for Brayden? But huh? Guess not. Yeah, they, they, no love for Brayden. I mean, what's the go, guys? He's a legend. Star of the stream. Tommy McKinley with the jackpot. Dwayne O'Davidson with the jackpot. Thank you. Duck. 
Free duck, that's right. So on, since Dwayne o Davidson was the first one to say Jack Bong, he's in the free spot to poke one tower. Free You're a legend, KJ, go. and so is Dueno. Magneton, oh no. No. Is that that no. stunning? No. no. Stunning? No. Where is it? No. Where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. Is it that one? Oh my god. Is it that one? Oh my god. Is it that one? Oh my god. I think it is. I think it's Raiden. a gem. I think it's a gem mint Japanese <gasps> Neo Magneton, brother. Going to you! You deserve it. You deserve it and congrats. Dude, how let's, good is that car? Let's go, KJ. Spin number 12 of 70. Gem mint 10. Come go, brother. Take it off the wheel. Okay. That's 12. Great start for Brayden so far. Mm -hmm. Hey, my pleasure, Brayden. All right, KJ. All right, so we've spun 16, guys. Number 17 right here. Get we'll, to that jackpot, Brayden. We'll do 17 again. Yeah, get the man to the jackpot. I want the Pokemon to come back and there's no first dead Zard. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey, Pokey Ron. You know that first dead Zard that you've had for many years? Well, you don't have it anymore, mate. She's gone. She's gone. And she's going to Braden Jacobs. Free duck. All right, we're at 21. This is 22. She's got a long way to go yet. Still heaps left. I mean, he's got 70 spins all up. Crazy. Braden says, let's do it. I want to see flames, guys. I want to see flames. I want to see everyone getting around him, man. Yeah. And I want to see emojis, flames, and encouragement in the comment section. That's the crazy thing all day. We got 19,000 viewers and only two people said jackpot. That's right. What type of viewers do we have today? Sometimes, KJ, mm. silence can be uh, much louder than any kind of noise. Gets a coughing first, Ed. Gets a coughing first, Ed. Team Rocket. There you go, my friend. There you go. Amongst quite a few other slabs. Magneton, Slowpoke. It's all happening here. Potjack says Buddha Haze. Hell yeah. There we go. Bit more love, man. That's right. Bit more love, man. All right, next spin, KJ. We've done 10, 20, 5, We've done 27. 27 so far. This is number 28. Oh, I haven't given away heaps, Pokemon. 29. I don't know what you're doing back here. I haven't given away a ridiculous amount of stock called KJ specials and Let's... that's where I give away ridiculous amounts of stock and it's just stupid and like ridiculous or nothing yeah no one said KJ no one said KJ was that the one was it on the thing on the line or on the floor it's on the floor it was just sitting on that thing like looks yeah. looks uh, lost and alone yeah. alright KJ we... pet bird yeah uh, yeah, probably go fun. Maybe, week. maybe. I might call it Wiggy Wiggy. Maybe, you can, maybe, yeah, give him a wig some companionship. Yeah. Go out there, and uh, next time you go out there, look out for it, Yeah. Oh, man, I hate exercise. Do ya? Yeah. 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 Alright, so that's done 35 spins. We are halfway. Mm -hmm. All right. Free quackity quack quack. How many thoughts have you had all day? Um, I was about to give myself permission to have one. Why? Are you saying... Pull up. Pull up. Drowsy. 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 Where's Ooh. there a drowsy? The, the drowzilla. That is a beautiful car. Oh, yeah. Pocket monsters. Pocket Look monsters at that artwork. What, 97? Uh, yeah, Pokemon. Yeah. Well done to Brayden so far. What's happening, Tommy? Joe? Kadabra, Kadabra, mint condition. Species. Yeah, beautiful sticker from 1998. This came out, KJ, prior to any English trading cards of Kadabra. Can you believe it? Wow. That's when you say, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That's right. Shout, Shout out from the Pokeron. Give him two extra. Who is it? Two extra. Brayden, still going on. So we're going to 72. Go on, All right, KJ. This is the 40th spin. Who wants to rip us up? Yes, please. No, not you, KJ. Oh. Fair enough. Actually, no, I'm good. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Fair 
Calm down, KJ. Sorry. All right, KJ. Keep spinning. Tommy Joe, been having a blinder of a week, fam. Can I get two claims and how much to get a duck? We well, can't buy ducks, but we can get you two claims, brother, and there will be ducks on the wheel. Let's go into the all claimers race by the end of the of night. Of course, yeah, all claimers race, that's right. What's been happening? What's wrong with his week? No, no, he sees that a blinder. That mean, I think that means a good week. No, it means shit week. Huh? Don't you know anything? Someone says they've had a blinder. That means they've had a great one. Do you actually know anything or what? Am I wrong, Tommy? Does that mean you've had a bad week? Do you actually know one thing? Do you actually right, know one thing? Alright, KJ, we're at the 50 second spin. Come on. Get there, Brayden. Get to that jackpot, brother. Oh, how many ducks per claim? Oh, wiggly tough. Wiggly tough. Oh, is that a greenback? It is. You'll get, it uh, is. Two ducks, uh, Tommy Joe in the all claims race. And don't forget too, Tommy, you'll be in a um a satellite too, for a spin at the wheel. All right, KJ. We this is the fifty third spin coming up. I want to see some more. Yeah, Vasilla says jackpot. What a legend. She don't like Rogan with the pot jack. That kind of behavior. behavior. Come on now. Throw down your coughing first, Ed. Nice. Uh, I think we already done that, KJ. Already yeah. Can you wake up, KJ? Thanks. Yes, that was already that was already on the veal. I'll give him two extra spins. Then. Two extra spins. All right, we're going to seventy-four. Actually, we'll just go seventy-five. Probably go on. Round it up. Round it up because it's more for the viewers. All right. Don't think too many thoughties. You thought you'd think. Come on, KJ. All right, we, this is number sixty-one, KJ. We'll do it again because spin again means. Let's go again. We'll do that one again. Come on, Brayden. Alrighty. How's it going, Jack David Buddha? What's going on in your world? Oh. Shout out from the Roid. Flying first class with the Roid. Hello, Brayden. Uh, you should be very thankful that I'm currently giving you a shout out, even just hearing my words right now is obviously a very uh, accomplished uh, feat to get to. Um, basically, my name is Matthew Tentro, and I am very well known from the Nowhere Boys, and I've got a couple of series that have come out recently, like um, Finding Whether Men Were Find, uh, High Country on uh, uh, Foxtel, which you can watch uh, across the globe, so it's a massive series I'm currently doing. But basically, I probably shouldn't even be talking to you right now because I'm too good uh, for this, uh, this type of stuff, so I'm just gonna uh, keep spinning the wheel, and yeah. Give him one more spin. All right, KJ. Go one more spin and let me just give him a quick count because we're very close. We're very close. Boys, I just ordered a lot of food. Are you hungry? Or you have a nibble? All right, five more spins left, KJ. We're at 70. Five more. Come on, Brayden. Get there. Come on. It, it might not be heaps. I don't know until it gets here. Oh. All right, but spin that one again. It's certainly expensive. I got a chicken fajita, a crispy chicken plate, a crispy chicken wrap. And some um, beef and black bean with steamed rice. Are you on tray? Yeah. All right, two more, KJ. Come on, last couple. Nice, Squirtle. Fi oh, you got the Squirtle figurine. Nice. The metallic Squirtle for our man, KJ. Very nice. Yes. Brayden does it. He's got one more. He's got one more. That was in the second last spin. What a luck box. What a luck oh. box. Oh, and he gets another spin. No way, KJ. No bloody way. Okay. All right, KJ. I'm going to pass over the bundle of goodies. 
that was uh, for Brayden. Wow, we KJ. Wow, we. Well done, Brayden. Um, now all day. Yes. Um, we've also got spins to do for um, Rogan. Rogan. Yep, sure, brother. No worries. We've got. A, I think we've got ten freebies and a and a um, wheel of fortune for Rogue Star. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's go, KJ. Rogan says keen for some ducks. Sure. Sure. Uh, here we go. Let's go. All right, KJ. Wheel of Fortune plus 10. Taking place it. right now. The, oh. ro the Rogue no. gets the 29 plus no. 10 means 39. Whoa. Rogan. Rogan. Just call him Rogue. Wow. You just call him Rogue. I want to see four emojis that best describe how you feel, Rogan. That doesn't include any eggplants. Please. No, oh. no, nah, nah, spin it again. There we go. That's one. Maddie Sin's pretty shocked. Magic up. Who are these morons that keep following me? Magic up. Magic up. <laughs> um, I think that's from the thing, though. You're not going through my messages, are you? Nah. Better not be. Nah. Better not be. Nah. Yeah, a lot of these morons, I don't know why they're following me. Who's this idiot? Shadow Steve. You know what I mean? Like, piss off, dude. Why are you following me? Shout out, shout out from the Pokey Ron. For Rogan, Pokey Ron. No, I'm not giving him a shout out. You know, Rogan got 29 on the Wheel of Fortune? Did he? Yeah. Give him two more then. How are you, Rogan? Oh, What's Rogues! Rogan? Rogues has got 41 spins now. Let's go for number four, KJ. Okay. Let's go, Rogan. Hit that jackpot, brother. Everyone get around him. Oh, come on, Rogan. Yeah, get behind him, guys. Like, it's like, as if you don't want to see it go. Rogan says, thanks, Pokey, you're on. Rebecca Catton screaming jackpot because she's a legend. This is Chaos Society. Like, stop following me, you idiot. K's Co. Collector. What's a K's Co.? I reckon, it, I reckon it'd be cool oh, if Instagram had a function program where you can invite people to follow you. Yeah. And anyone that you didn't want to follow, you can uninvite that. Or maybe you could invite them to leave this, the platform. Yeah. Alright, this is 10. Yeah, I've seen that. Vasilis calls you the Pokey Ron oh, Ronster. Really? The Pokey Ronster. Nice. Who, who called me that? Vasilis. Yeah, that's cool. Well, we've got um, Malkzilla Sean Daddy in the house. All right, number 12. 13, okay. Remember when you could poke people on Facebook? I do remember, Matty. I, uh... I poked a few people from Facebook. Did you? Yeah. It's pretty oh. easy back in the day. Yeah. Spin again. Oh, did that say Zard? Yeah. KD, you are seriously teasing Rogan. Yeah. Sorry, Rogue. All right, three ducks. Whoa, getting closer. Yeah. He's getting closer, Rogan. Spin again. Getting closer, KJ, but you're, you're the man with the uh, with Rogan's fate in your fingertips. Rogan's fate in your fingertips? Fate. Oh. Fate, Pokemon. Yeah, say photos where it didn't happen. Free duck, alright. That's gross. Alright, we've done 25 so far, KJ. Hit that jackpot, as Melk Daddy says. 15 more for Rogan. Flick the wind switch on. See? Melk Daddy knows. Or, oh, sorry, Melkzilla. Sorry, I apologise. Two free ducks. Free duck. More free ducks. All right, 11 more. We're at 30. Come on, Rogan. Oh, you're getting closer to that jackpot, KJ. You're getting closer. Someone hit two jackpots in a row last night. Pikachu pre-order. This one here? Oh, God. Whoa. The Scarlet Violet pre-order. Look at that. What a full art. Hey, Rogan, you got to be happy with that. 
That kind of KJ, get the jackpot and I'll give you a kiss. Oh, Rebecca, watch this. Watch it. Watch the jackpot come now. Watch it. You watch. It'll come before Rogan's finished, and then we're going to know that KJ can be blamed. Those thoughties. You thought you think. Right, you. Where? Oh, the prism uh, sticker. Right. Series one sticker. Okay, Rogan said, I'll take that away from you guys because it's better in my collection than yours. Thanks. Thanks and see you later. No worries, Rogan, but congrats. I'm happy for you. All right, we're going for spin number 35 here, KJ. Oh, see? See, if they had got up, we would have known you were cheating. So close. So close. Like this is 39 kg. We've got two left, my friend. This is 40. And watch, you'll get it on the 41st. Oh, got close. All right, they are for the rogue stick, KJ. The rogue, the rogue zill. The rogue rogue zill, man. The rogue zilla. Well done, brother. Well done, Rogan. Congrats. Okay, okay. Wow, KJ. Newson, are you still here, brother? Yeah, yeah, you did say you cooked something up for Newson. Yeah. You did say that you cooked something up for... Do we call him New Staddy? Yeah, we do. Well, KJ, why don't you swing on over? Yeah. And uh, let's see what you've uh, cooked up for the for the New s yeah, Daddy or New Zilla? Uh, why is it Zilla or Daddy? Like, Why are they the two things that we add on to their name oh, to show them that we love them? Oh, excuse me, Pokemon. Oh, i got to do something. What are you doing? You gotta do oh, something. I gotta do a deal for someone. Weren't you wearing that shirt last night? Yeah, and then I wore it to bed, and then I wore it today, and then I wore it the day before, and I wore it for the day before that. And, and you're gonna wear it the, the day, day after. That, and then I wore it that night, and I wore it that night before that, and then I wore it that night before that, and I just love pickles. Right here. Newson! Right. Hello! 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 I don't think he's here. Hello? I don't think he's here. Hello? They can? Okay. Oh, they can That's hear. really annoying. Yeah, sorry. My For my bad. ears sorry. and my anyone bad. else sorry. anyone else sorry. who has good hearing. Sorry, my bad. Sorry, my bad. Sorry. My so bad. talk, Kate. Just talk about what you've put in front of us. Um, this comic I took from Pokeron's really high-end shelf. Um, because I thought, oh, he's not uh, he's not gonna really care that much. Blah 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 yeah. blah blah. Uh, it's a Web of Spider-Man 9.6 holographic comic. Um, I've also got um, one of the rarest box tickets you can get from the Disney 100 set, which is a, in a Gem Mint 10. That's a Disney 100 rare. And I've also got a promotional One Piece pack, which are really highly sought after. Just raw and quite expensive. Um, and you, we've been seeing these tournament uh, cards going for very high prices, and this is graded in the highest possible grade and this all should probably be for like 150 claimer but I'll do it for 100 claimer because why not 100 claimer this I originally put up together for um, Newsom but if anyone likes it zoom in KJ it I don't think you're giving it that it's Sorry, just Jews I don't I I have a look so this is for 100 claimer yeah so you get two Wheel of Fortunes I'm going to give him 15 spins oh uh, yeah 15 spins on top KJ I think I think the uh Rogan says what yeah. this I thought you tapped out Rogan. Tapped out in as well. Oh brother. No, well that's not for a hundred claim. Not hundred. What? What? You know how much this, how much these are? Just do it! Okay. You've already taken the comic off me bloody shell. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. That. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no. Uh oh. this is all for a hundred claim. Uh the Spider-Man comic, the what? promo Nami one piece what? pack, and also a sword and shield Charizard ETB. Show, show them the ETB, Kate. They can't see it. So they know it's real. This is real. This is not a dream. This is your reality. For a hundred claim in the Pokemon Tower. This is your reality, KJ. Check it all out, guys. Look at all that. You're, you're off your trolley, KJ. Vasilis says, send me the UPC. You can have it, Vasilis. First person, brother, you get all this. First person to say, claim 100. And it's theirs. Crazy deal. How much is the Pokemon tower? It's twelve dollars a spot, my friend. 
100 by $12 spots, Zard UPC, Disney 100 box, box hit rare, and Nami one piece promotional pack in the grade of 10. Now something interesting about this guys, the card from which I believe you can get out of this is very expensive, so you could pull that card, grade it in a 10, couple hundred dollars I think, um, that Nami, this is the exact Nami artwork on the front cover. Um, you guys can search this up on eBay, you'll find it. Um, you've also got the Disney 100 Rare, the Holographic Spider-Man 9.6 comic, and the Zard UPC. This is massive. This was already massive, ridiculous deal before Pokemon just said, Oh, you know what, add this in, add this in as well. So I was like, yeah, alright. Yeah, all What right. are you doing, brother? What are you doing? Check it out, guys. This is massive. 100 claim in the Pokemon Tower. Plus, there's still multiple graded hits you guys can win. Um, as you all know, look at the stuff you can get. Wow. Yeah, let's just, let's just hold up. Wait a minute. We gotta chuck those in. Nah, slow. Wait. Chuck those in. No. Yeah. You're crazy, dude. More. Yeah. More. More. I'm only doing this once, guys. This is yeah. a special deal. This is a special deal, guys. The UPCs, these have been... We've been told, KJ, that they are strictly off-limits. Mint plus Pika. Old Maid. Chucked in there. Bang. What? Yep. Charmander. Gem Mint 10. What? Old Maid. Just chuck it in there. What? I don't even know what's going on at this point. I think we're just giving stuff away. Uh, Ash Ketchum. Mint Condition Series 1. Character Card Tops. Whoa. Chuck in a dark Jolteon near mint oh, to mint condition from T Brother. Brother, what an artwork. Chuck in a gem mint 10. Whoa. Pokemon, let's have fun sticker. Dude, gem seriously. Look at seriously. All Look at all this. Zoom guy. out, zoom out. I can't, zoom out, KJ. Just zoom out for one second. So this is. No, no, brother. Put, put. Put the pieces out. So the Zard piece alone should just be for the 100 claim, but we've got a promotional one piece pack, graded, Disney 100 box rare, Dark Jolteon, Pokemon sticker, Charmander Gem Mint 10, Web of Spider Man. Get, get a wide shot, Kevin. Get, get a wide shot, brother. Get a wide shot. I can't even fit in, in screen. Someone goes, Where's the one piece? What? This is a bundle giveaway. Scro yeah. Zoom in, KJ. Show them everything. Gem Mint 10. What is going on? Gem Mint 10. I'll be honest, guys. I've never seen... I've never seen a bundle like this put together for 100. I've seen it before, but I've seen it for much more than 100. Much more. It's easily 200. And I can't remember the last time I saw someone from this particular organisation pull out a UPC and say, Please, here you go, guys. Those in. Throw it in. Oh my god, poke your eyes. What are you doing? Chuck those in, mate. What are you thinking? Brayden Jacob says done. Now, I think that means I'll take it. But we'll just wait for confirmation, Brayden. Oh, yeah. I was going to chuck that in, so chuck it in for Brayden. Just oh. follow up on that, Brayden. Are you saying yes, I'll take it? You can take that as well, brother. Oh, Gem in 10 Blastoise sticker, yeah, 1999. Yeah. Oh, what? Well. No. No. <gasps> Brayden, dude, what? Yes. Gem Mint 10 McDonald's Collection 2021 Pikachu. Yeah. Are you kidding me, guys? Yeah. This is this is done. stupid. He said done. I'm pretty sure it's gone, but we... What are you waiting on? Are, uh, you, are you... What are you so shocked about? But he goes, but I want to spin at Fortune. Then yeah, 100%. It's you get 100 two He gets two. He gets two. two, brother. All right, so... It's done. It's done. It's you get done. two, brother. Ooh. All right. Two. Two. Chuck them on, KJ. Two. Do you feel sick? Like vomit uh, sick or like vomit shit your pants sort of sick? I usually give away a lot all day, but this you take, made me feel You take these, KJ. More sick. All right, now just hold off for one Keep second, KJ. Secret? I couldn't tell you after you were going to lie. Keeping them secret? Keeping them secret? What are you doing? Wow.
to me. Ooh, where'd you get one of them? Nice. I think I, I think there's any more than my line now. I think they're done. Now KJ, we've got sixty spot we've got sixty spots left in the tower. Why don't we cook up something for a sixty claim? Something for a sixty claim. Something for a sixty claim. The last sixty spots in the tower. Oh god. Now If I don't get it, I'll be mad. What did Brayden say? Jackpot for sure. Yeah, you're a, you're a big chance here, brother. You're a big chance here. So, KJ, why don't we think about a little cook-up mm -hmm. for a 60 claimer, the last 60 spots in the tower? No worries. Was this, was this on the wheel, or was this part of that before? If that was on the wheel? Uh, no. Was that, that, wasn't, was that part of your thing? There should be a peeker in there. No, it's part of it. It was part of it. It was? Mm -hmm. Don't know if you've seen this message, but claim another three to make it five. Yeah, no we worries. That. We got that, Tommy. Do, is Tommy... Are we waiting on Tommy? Uh, yes, yes we are. Okay, cool. So I'll give Tommy his five now. Uh, just give me one second. No worries, KJ. Um, okay, okay. All right, first up, Dwayne Davidson, one. One for Dwayne. -o. Zangoose. Next up is... Uh, Tommy Joe, five. Tommy Joe with five. He gets a Team Rocket Cider. Ooh, we've got a base too far fetched. Spinarak, Pokemon Go, reverse foil. Kabuto from Fossil Set. And Tommy. Oh, takes down the U of Star. Well done, brother. All right, so. Now we just have Brayden's uh, 100 plan. Yep. No worries, KJ. What do we just do then? We just done a five claim and a two claim, was it? One claim. And a one claim. So we've got 54 spots left, KJ. So we'll go... 50. We'll just go a 50 claim. Yeah. So why don't we cook something up for a 50 claim and that will be the Pokemon Tower. I'll see what I can do. See what you can do, brother. I can do. And I reckon what we'll do is we'll do, the, we'll do the raw cards at the end of this next 50 claim that gets done. How does that sound, KJ? Oh yeah, the, the, oh, 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 all day. Um, oh, that, that, that sounds that sounds good all day, all day. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. Can you just relax, thanks, all day. No, you need to relax. Uh, you, you, never mind. Um, basically, Brayden, uh, I don't know if you want to do it or not, but if anyone wants to claim the last fifty spots, um, I'm gonna give away a couple of more really nice things. So if he um, if he claims this, he'll get he ha he has two Wheel of Fortunes. This will be a this will be his third. Third Wheel of Fortune. If, if he, he does this. Get three Wheel of Fortune. Oh, yeah. Sorry, he got 100, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. So it'd be three. Oh, man. Yeah. And that elusive jackpot, surely with three Wheel of Fortunes, the man's going to hit a jackpot, KJ. Oh, yeah. So no this... guarantees, but I mean, surely. He's, he's given it his best shot at taking that down. And this right here, uh, guys, this is a Toad Pristine 10 Hana Fuda. Um, not the easiest, graders, Hana Fuda cards, obviously. Um, but it's Toad, one of the most popular characters from um, the Mario series. And, you know, people, you know, love this character. Fantastic and how's it looking that pristine 10 slab? Oh, just unbelievable all day. And we've also got here from 2005, the Quest Begins Gem Mint 10 Rookie Luffy card right here as well. This is absolutely gorgeous. This right here is a 50 claim, guys, for a Rookie Luffy and Toad Pristine 10 Hana Fruita card, guys. If you claim 50 spots, you're going to get 50 spot, 4 spots, a Wheel of Fortune, and those two cards, guys. So if you want to do it, the Pokemon Tower will be over and we'll move on. Give me a great OP deal and I'll take the 50 or even better if you have, if you have Naruto. Um... Alrighty, we'll, we'll see what we can do for you, Brayden. We'll see what we can do for you there, brother. Isn't there a, isn't that a rookie Luffy there in a Gem Mint 10? Yeah. So he wants to Where? He wants to swap out the Toad for a uh, for a One Piece. Is that what he wants to do? Yeah, I think so. Show him. If, that, if that's what you want to do, Brayden. Um... Brayden, on fire tonight. Tell you what, Brayden. If you don't want the Toad, brother, I'll chuck in a mint condition Usopp. Rookie card from 2005, bro. 
This is a 50 claim. You're going to get 54 spots. Two rookie cards from 2005. The quest begins. The first ever English One Piece vintage set. Two rookies, 50 claim, 54 spots, and an extra Wheel of Fortune. So you're going to have three Can't Wheel of Fortunes, brother. Of, uh, two, oh, here. go hard. Yeah, go hard, KJ. Done. No dramas. Naruto. He knows his, uh, he knows his anime, doesn't he? He's, he's, yeah. he's got a wide branch of uh, interests, KJ. I like that. I like that. That's good for his collection. It's good for uh, his investments with his collections too. Mm. I, don't it's not, it's, any, I don't think we have any Naruto, brother. Yeah, I don't think I we know, have any I know the there's minute. some coming. I know the JPs have some coming. Yeah, but I don't think I've got any on me, bro, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think we have any at the moment, but if you still want the deal, bro, chuck in a couple of Cardboard Guardians for you right there, bro. Three of those. Bang. Two rookie vintage One Piece cards. And because it's Brayden, if he claims in the next minute and gets it gets it done for us, chuck the uh, toad in for him as well. Oh, if you want to do it in the next minute, Brayden. We'll chuck I'll the pristine toad in there as well. Chuck that pristine toad in there as well, brother. It'll be all for you for a 50 claim and 54 spots, bro. One minute timer has started. If you want to take it down, this is the deal. And then we'll be moving on to your spots and obviously your spins, brother. Uh, done, said Brayden. All right, no worries, Brayden. Well, we will package that up for you, brother, and pass that over. So what I'll do is, KJ, mm -hmm. I shall start with Brayden's claim of 150. No worries. And we will get to the wheel, which I'm excited, KJ. Brayden's given himself a huge chance at taking down a big, big item. He's, uh, he, he's looking to take down a buffalo, but KJ, he's looking to take down some big game. So I'll start off with the uh, with the raw cards for you, brother. Ghastly, base set two. Sleep, Team Rocket. Oh, beautiful Kingdra. What an artwork that is. Gust of Wind. Blaine's Kangaskhan. What an artwork that one is too. For me... I'm going to say that's the most interesting Kangaskhan artwork, non-hollow, that I can remember. It's beautiful. Eric is Execute. You're a beautiful artwork, KJ. Blissey. Really? Yeah. No one's ever told me that. Who, who gets credit for that? Your your mother or your father? Chikorita. Uh, me. You? Yeah. Golbat. Krabby. No, 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 no. Me, brother. Oh, man. Look at that Dratini with the Tikas in the background. That's unreal, isn't it? Yeah, that is stunning. There's no, there's no Watsy cards that really do that. Yeah. That resemble that kind of collabora Take collaboration. Lieutenant Surge's Radata. Horsey. Kabuto. Oh, really nice, Pope John. Need Arena. Good work. Seal. Yeah. 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 Mar to the chop. Barboach, Reverse Foil, Parasect, Spiro, Lapras Sticker, <coughs> Maractus, Oddish, Mewtwo, we've got a Lickitung, oh wow, we've got a beautiful stunning holographic Ekans, now it's Mankey time, Jungle Set. Ooh, break card. Greninja. Psyduck. Far-fetched. I want that spot on the forehead. What's this? What's he talking about? Ponyta. Wow. Probably the best style artwork I've ever seen in my life. Ghastly uh, rookie artwork. Base 2. Energy removal. Dark Radicate. Spiro. Eevee, Sticker, Butterfree, Reverse Foil, Oddish, Charmander Sticker, Kakuna, nice, Mankey, all right, I'm going to start a new pile, Empoleum, V, Psyduck, second ever set Psyduck, though. yeah, Ghastly uh, rookie artwork, but this one is a base set too, really. Oh, oh shit, sorry. Slow down. Calm down, Pokemon. Hey, you alright? Beautiful Gartard there from base set too. Um, K Jizzle. 
Empoleon. So Empoleon was like a later evolution of Blastoise. Like obviously Blastoise really? didn't evolve into Empoleon, but you know how you get the water. Yeah. The third evolution of the water type. Empoleon so you're saying, was another like so Blastoise. Are you saying it's Blastoise on steroids or nah? Uh, I prefer Blastoise. Same here, Pokemon. Yeah. Paris. I was thinking about trading my first dead um, Beckett ten square cut Blastoise for the first Empoleon I saw on the market. Lucky you cut me off there, Pokemon. All right, uh, Charizard. <laughs> oh! 1999 artwork of Charizard. Absolutely stunning. What's a Charizard on steroids? A char... Mega Charizard. Mega Charizard, okay. I want a spot on the on the forehead. I want that spot oh, on the forehead. Oh, no. I think he, he, is, I he think he your, your... is he taking the face stat? No, no. Oh. I think he wants K, KJ's forehead. Oh, no, right. Ghastly. Oh, Let's but, but sh really, really, Braden, why don't you go Energy somewhere? Energy removal, classic base set trainer, yeah. Oh, Misty's Jewel. Oh, little horsey on there, on there yes. as well. Yes. Could you, is it fair to say that's Misty's horsey? Uh, yes. It's not Blaine's, is it? No. No. Double gust. Yeah. Meowth. Meowth, Team Rocket. Zubat, don't make soup out of it, guys. Definitely don't. Tentacle. Oh, wow, they're so beautiful. Lieutenant Surge's Spearow. Beautiful artwork. Look at that, just flying in the fields. Take me. It says, Nah, Legends for Vader forehead. Huh? Oh, he wants to be on the oh, Legends Oh, yes, board. sorry. Oh. Um. Was that underneath? Yeah, on that one. Leave it with me, Pokemon. Oh, shit, guys, what's happened? We've got a, we've got a power. Uh, 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 blackout. Oh, it's a blackout. Pokemon, why can't we see? It's all right, just stay still, KJ. Poker, I just, can't just see. Just sit on the floor. Where just sit on the, out. Just sit on the floor. Out. Don't mistake me for Monica already, KJ. Out. Just sit on the floor. Uh, I just bumped my shin. That's all right, just sit down wherever you are. Oh, how do I sit? I forgot how to sit. You know I where the floor see. is. You know where's where the floor, floor? is. On the roof? No, 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 no. The on, on the wall. The floor is where your feet are. On the seat. That's where my feet are, on the seat. Boy Legends, do oh, how much oh. for a Nunya pack to go for? $29, Mr. Carter. And they have uh, base set Zards in them. So where did you get these from? Oh, well, they weren't from my drawer, were they? No. Oh, they didn't come out of there. Are you sure they weren't from my drawer? Uh, mm, I swear. Okay, do it. I think. No, so I swear it's alright. It's an important thing, KJ, is just to be honest, alright? So if you went through my drawer, mm -hmm. you just got to be honest about it. 100% percent poke Alright. I'm being 100% honest. No, Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Boys, this this one. Boys, <laughs> boys, come on. Come on. I'll <laughs> fix it. Leave no, it to right, me. No, what we I'll fix it. No. Leave it to me. I'll fix it right now. Ready? When? Now. There we go. Go and sit down all day. I've sorted it. Oh, the Ron. Okay. Let there be let, let there be vision. The Lord said let there be light. Ron said let there be vision. Don't Play him a one, use. please, Nanya, says Dan Carter. Grab him a Nanya pack. Sure Grab the man a Nanya pack. Grab the man a Nanya pack. What a superstar, Dan what Carter. Thank you, Dan Carter. Getting around our Nanya packs. Here they are here, guys. Random collectibles, graded cards in here, random cards, all sorts of stuff. And there's an unlimited Zard in one in a hundred of these packs, $29. Who would have thought you'd get an unlimited Zard for $29? Yeah. All right, let's go. Take me to the moon. Ooh, Electabuzz. Oh, Electabuzz. Electabuzz is one of my favourite characters, Pokemon. Yeah, you always like Electabuzz. But you don't, see, you don't see Electabuzz representation yeah. too often, do yeah. you? Yeah, not really. No. Well, if you were to guess Pokemon, I might be putting you on the spot. Well, what would you say would be one of the last representations of Electabuzz from your memory? <laughs> That's a tough one, I can't one, even really remember past E-Series, to be honest. But yeah. I know he does get some love, but it's about the sequence. Did you say he? He? Uh, it. Sorry. They. Thank you. Jeez. Thank Spiro. you. Spiro. Disgusting. Yeah. Take me to... Sorry, guys. I'm the, a pig. The Mar of I'm Mad. Mm -hmm. The I'm Mar scared. of Mad. Good. Pinnaco. Oh, man. Where's his food? Oddish. Are you hungry, KJ? Yeah. Alex he's, ne man. he's never said I'm good, thanks. But KJ, you have to... When someone asks you... Yeah, well, what, what do we say about when I, when I said to you? When someone asks if you're hungry, what do you do? Greg Hubble says, Do we have a comic tower this evening? Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Eat maybe all of it? And you claiming 10 spots would probably make that a guarantee, brother. Yeah. Eat all the food? Uh, eat all the food. No, no. When someone, all the food that everyone has. No. When someone offers you 
a food or I said, are you hungry? Mm-hmm. It's okay to be honest and say, yes, I am hungry, but you have to wait a few seconds. So let's try it. Yeah, claim 10 spots, Hubble, okay. and we're definitely having one, and we'll look after you. KJ, mm-hmm. are you hungry? Beautiful Pikachu. Lovely Pikachu, bro, and a nice right. Mankey rookie card jungle set. Oh, oh, yes. Goldine seeking a gold queen. Yes. March up. There we go. Brock's Mankey. Mm -hmm. Switch. Yep. I've noticed uh, um, Erica's Bell Sprout. Nice. Nice. Have we got any Nido Queens on the stream tonight? I did see Rebecca Cat a bit earlier. Cat. Charizard yes, on steroids is it Charizoids? Sam Sinclair. No, that. What'd you say, KJ? Charizoids. Yes. yes. Yep. Uh, that was probably a bit too long. Oh. So let's try. Bell again. Sprout. Uh, Tops card. KJ, you hungry? Yep. Meowth. Team Rocket. Bat to that, the zoo. That one wasn't long enough. Oh. Sprout to the bell. So, but I might say something like, KJ, I'm thinking about getting some lunch. Oh what? no way! Can you please get all the food? <laughs> See, then you actually cut me off. I was oh! Lappy. Been a while since I gave you a lappy Pokeron. I wasn't even done asking. It's because you forgot oh. to pay last time. Yeah. March up. Yeah, go on. Rock rough. Go on what? You were in the middle of your sentence. Brock Scrabbler. Hey, buckle up, Braden. We're getting we're getting towards your spin soon, brother. But I'm saying buckle up with uh, what's coming in the Watsy Tower, the Pokemon Tower, Watsy Tower. It's you Absolutely. Sta- What's that? that is oh, exactly. Hilarious. Oh man. Taurus. Have a look. You really tore us a new one with that one, didn't we? Oh brother, brother, brother. Execute. It's just Watsy after Watsy. And if it's not Watsy, it's an Articuno reverse foil. Firo. Farfetch. Can we go the triple Farfetch? Leak slap and then pot smash, or pot smash then leak slap. <laughs> pot smash then leak slap. Leak slap, I think. Then the pot smash. Yeah. You're, you're a dumbass. Meow. You really aren't that... You, you, you know what? You, I'll tell you what you're not. What? You're not that spiritual. Normal. And you're not that... Oh! God fl- dang, gold border type flosion. The flosion. Shady move. And the burning ball. There we go. Fantastic. The beza. Pokemon March. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't, have, you would never have read a book about Kama Sutra. Brother, brother. What? Please. Please what? Old Rod. That's what you've got. Once, once I hit puberty, I read that. You've never read a book about Kama Sutra. Uh, what are the eight? Yeah. What are the eight laws of Kama Sutra? Why would I say that to those out there who don't know? You got to read the book to know that Pokemon. You should know that. I do know that. Exactly. Misty's horsey. And I, I deleted one of them because I want to keep it to seven. <laughs> Grimer, can I get another Nanya, please? Says Dan Carter. Sure, brother. Can you pass this over a Nanya? I'll get it. Dan Carter says. Dean Kirby said I wrote the book. He did. I think I've got a signed copy, Kurt. Of Kurt. Yeah. There we go. Two in total. That's for Dan Carter. Take me to the moon. Alright, here we go. Oh, nice Porygon. We've got a Brox Mankey. Oh, Goldine, jungle set. Goldine, Goldine. Me Tang reverse foil. Erica's Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell looking mighty confused right there. Spiro. I've performed the book in a musical, says Maddie Sim. Primate sticker. <laughs> Rapidash, reverse foil. <laughs> Rass to the par. Choose to the rise sticker. Poly whirl, base two. Oh wow. It just keeps it just keeps delivering and delivering this tower. We've got Mankey. Hurry up all day. We sorry, need to get Pokemon. to his spin. Sorry, sorry, so you mean oh you want you want Let's speed? Go, you want speed? Slap. Meowth, payday. How can you slap? Pikachu, Hollow Foil, Switch, Sleep, Snorlax, Ecans used to be Rage Kelly's. Nido Queen! 
Nito Queen Hollow. Nito. There you yeah, go. Yeah, nice, nice. There you go. All right, and last but not least, whimsical, whimsical thought. We've got All a right. second inquiry about the comic tower, says Rogan Smiler. Mate, someone claim ten and we'll do a comic tower. Exactly. Or you boys claim five each. Whoever was asking, yeah. take five and I'll book it in. All right. Take so me to KJ. Me. So that's for Bredo. And now it's spinning time. Now, and uh, the guy that... Three Wheel of Fortune. The guy that claimed one onion pack now has two, yeah? Yep, that was yep. Dan to the carts. <laughs> you say that? What? Did you say that? Yeah. Oh. I just seen them in my peripherals. Yeah. I saw the full. I saw the full view. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. I can't be stuffed. All right, oh, KJ's. Two shits. Three Sticker spins off? of the yeah. wheel of fortuitous fortune. Oh, I'll stick around for this. I'll three I'll spins. Stick around for this. Oh, you're on three spins at the fortuitous wheel of fortune. That's what you got to call it. Tesro calls it the Wheel of Fortuitous Times. Does he? Yeah. Such a Tesro thing to say. Yeah, I know. You're like, oh, look, I sound smart. Rogan you know I mean? says, yo, I'm back for some pot jacks for my boy. Okay. Let's do it. All right, first spin. Is it going to be a win? Oh it my looks God. like it's a healthy one. Oh, my God. Oh, it, my God. It looks healthy. Oh, my God. 28. Oh, my God. Mid-range. Yeah. Let's get a few low ones. I mean, let's keep them all high, KJ. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll keep them all high, quick draw. Oh. No, higher, KJ. We want more spins. So, KJ, that would be a grand total of... 50. 50. 50! 50 spins. It's still a healthy amount. It's still a healthy amount. All right. Let's go, KJ. People are screaming for the comic book tower. All they are. They are. Well, what I'll do is poke you on. Um, first four people to claim five spots in the comic book tower, I'll put like a random comic up for a duck race for those people. Right. Is that all right? All right yeah. see why not, mate. First four people to claim five spots in the comic book tower, we'll throw a random comic of KJ's choice. We'll make sure it's good. And you four or five claimers will go in the running for it. How much of the comics? 15, is it, Pokemon? 15 bucks. 15 bucks a spot. Claim four, you'll go in the Run running... Run off the jackpot. You'll go in the running for a free graded comic. Oh, KJ, deliver. Do you think he's thinking one off the jackpot or two off the KJ shout-out? $15 a spot there. The latter, I'd say. The latter. All right, we've done five spins, KJ. Number six of 50. Two. Seven. Two. Me and Corey just ran a 10. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. That's it. I'm with you, Rogan. Let's do it. For Braden. Alright, this is number 10, KJ. Magnemite. Nice, it's a first ed. I like it. Retro. And it's mint plus. House and techno. Good stuff. Good stuff. Four. Okay. Bredo. Yeah, no Alright, ten spins down, KJ. Who remembers the song Insomnia? <laughs> Who remembers? Dude. Okay. Number twelve. No Thanks, Braden. You what? Do you reckon Maddie Sin will comment right on cue? Braden said KJ shout out his life. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thirteen. Yeah. Vizilla says brings back memories. Fourteen. 15. What was the words? Oh, I can't remember Pokemon. What was it? He says... I was too busy puffing on a durry, sipping on a... Long neck? Nah. Sipping on a scotch. Yeah. Just letting the good times roll. That's it. <laughs> Alright, number 17. Shout out from the Pokemon. Give him two extra spins. Alright, two extra. That's 52. I can't get no sleep. I remember that part. But I think, I think he, had, he had full on... Like lines in it. Dan Kerbal says that was the tune for Bayside, wasn't it? <laughs> no, nah, that was more. Nah, put your hands up. Put your hands up. I was, mo up. I was more. 
was more thinking A, B, C. It's what? easy as one, two, three. Dude, you're living in the 80s, man. No, but that was... Well, that's how I felt like at Bayside. Okay. What's what? Bayside? Oh, nothing, brother. Nothing. Don't worry, KJ. Is that a side by the bay? A lovely city. All right, KJ, we've done 23 spins so far, brother. So don't be afraid to deliver. Yeah. Don't be afraid to deliver. Yeah. 25. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Come on, KJ. We haven't had one jackpot so far. Not one. And he misses. Yeah, I'm convinced we had the best. We were the, we were the best time to be alive, dude. Us? Yeah. You know. The, Ho hopefully, but there's still many. There's still many seconds left, Pogo. It might not. not. Really, we're gonna all be dead soon, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you. Where we where we cashed out in like enjoyment of life, we burnt the candle at both ends. Okay. We grew up on sugar. Yeah. Fast food. You yeah. know. We probably had the worst education in the history of mankind. No, nope, no removal gym. We probably had the worst education in the history of mankind as far as what's actually good for you and what is good for your body and yeah, you know what I'm saying, like KJ. KJ oh, actually, don't, don't. I've got no, I've got it. It's all good. You wake up. All right, we've done 35, KJ. We've got 52 total. Come on, brother. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, did you want something? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, bro. What do you something now? What do you feel like? All right, let's spin that one again. I thought you already got food. What do you feel like, man? Oh, yes! Yeah! Finally! Yeah! Finally! KJ, we are at the moment that we've been waiting for all night. And uh, Braden Jacobs is sitting there waiting patiently, KJ, to see what you can deliver for Go! the Go! Go. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, what? Oh my god. Brayden. Sorry. Brayden. Sorry. Sorry. That's KJ. For the next 17 years. Brayden. <laughs> He's, Braden said, oops, yeah, bros. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No wow, what are we talking here, boys? What are we talking here? Cash money. Oh, dude, it's priceless, dude. It's priceless, Aren't man. you going away with the Don this weekend, Don? Yeah. Yeah, you ain't coming back. Oh, no. You got a pat on the seat. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Wow, that... send through some flames for this guy. Just got a massive card. Oh, a big God. card. A big, oh, a big card. <sighs> I'm telling you, some people out there would take that card over either gold rare. Yeah. How do you feel about this, KJ? Um, 
How much cash would you give Braden right now for this if it, if it was for sale? Probably five grand. Nice. But you ain't got five grand, so give the man his card. All right. Move. That is, and you know, what the, you know what the great thing is? He's still got 13 spins left. Oh, that's amazing. Brayden. I thought the good times were over. Wow. Brayden does it. The Bray Dog. Yes. The Bray Dog. Well, he's been claiming like a madman, so... Well, you, you give yourself the chance. Exactly. How many more spins did he have? Matty Sin just said it was nice having you on the stream while it lasted, KJ. Thanks. All right, let's get back to the spins. This is for spin number 40. The naughty 40. I'm going to go for a walk, boys. I feel sick. Oh. All right, Pokemon. Uh, what, are you going to go try and find another ace? Yeah. All right. I'll see if there's any more up in my sleeves. All right. All right. Okay, just, just get, do us a favor. Cause it. Just keep an eye on him. Like, maybe just watch him for the next oh, hour or so. Oh. Alright, brother. Yeah, that's it. Give, make sure you eat something. Alright, KJ. Alright, this is for this is for spin number 45, KJ. Sorry. Hey ya. Alright, KJ. This is for number 48 of 52. Spinner again. All good, Marky Howden. Sometimes you could have a little Arvo and have a little siesta. Hey ya. Spin again. We've got two more spins left. Yeah. Go one more, KJ. Just go one more for shits and giggles. No jackpot, jackpot. Okay. Wow, KJ. What is going on, Brayden? That was, that was takes that was it massive. down, KJ. How do you feel about that? Like, what noise do you think Brayden made? I think he squealed. Yeah, I think he squealed. Yeah, very high pitch frequency. But like Rogan said, definitely deserved it. With the way Brayden has gone after that wheel tonight, it was bound to happen. It was bound for Brayden to take home. A big, big piece. Nice, nice salute you, Brayden. Okay, right. Joe, we're going to cut to a quick break. We're going to regather ourselves. And Brayden is going to celebrate. Enjoy, brother. Um, hey guys, uh, today we are currently um, uh, at the chicken coop. Uh, I know I know it's been a long awaited time um, until you guys have actually seen it, but um, I'm, I'm basically going to show you me feeding a couple of the chickens. Um, McGuig isn't here today, but I'll, um, I'll show you the couple of the others. So um, uh, that one that one right there uh, is, is Gary and, and that one over there is Harry and, and there's another one that's run away and I don't know where he is. But I think I think that's Stephen. But we'll, we'll we'll feed a couple of them now. This is really good chicken food. <laughs> a wish has been granted. Calling adventurers from across the globe. Around the world are converging on Saudi Arabia after the discovery of Dragon Balls with wish granting powers. To experience an unprecedented, immersive entertainment destination.
here, fantasy and thrills collide. Play a part in the epic sagas, coming to Saudi Arabia, in the first city built for play. G'day guys, it's KJ here, and today we are going to be talking about the DBZ Tower, a tower which is filled with all different types of DBZ cards ranging from vintage all the way up to modern sets. DBZ also being one of the top three animes of all time, we have an entire segment dedicated to it. Within the DBZ Tower, you can find hits that are high-end DBZ PSA 10s, foils guys. You've got judge cards which you could possibly win. There's foil DBZ scorecards from vintage sets, some which you can even find in DBZ towers being low as pop one, pop two, pop three, etc. You've got packs that you guys can get, art boards, and even comics guys. So the DBZ tower is completely filled with all different types of prizes, which any of you guys out there can win for no less than a $10 spot. One of our cheapest segments that the Welcome Stranger live stream does. So if you wanna get involved, get involved now. It's gonna cost you $10 a spot. I'll see you there. All right, we are back, ladies and gents. Okay, I'm thinking we go comic tower, KJ. Ooh. And you've pulled out a couple of rippers here. Now we can go, we can go down a, a few different ways here, KJ. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, each comic represents twenty-five claims. So, if someone wants to claim twenty-five spots. You can select either one of these two comics. You've got Batman and Robin. Nine point four. Beautiful piece. I'll, I'll peel her over the back. So I know we did have a few people inquiring about the comic tower. Or you can go the three jokers. Number three, nine point eight. Very, very strong grade. Oh, and look at the back. How it oh look at that. So that is what we've got going on in the comic tower, ladies and gents. So, I'm thinking we've got two uh, spots for 25 claimers. If you want to claim one lot of 25, grab a comic of your choice and I will give a Wheel of Fortune with a 25 claim. Wow. Wheel a of Wheel of Fortune with a 25 claim. You saw what just can happen, guys, on this stream. Here at Welcome Stranger, giving away $5,000 cards at the spin of a wheel, literally, literally. Um, so what we'll do is, guys, if you want to claim, like I said, 25, you can grab either comic. You want to claim 50, you can grab both. I'll, uh, I might put a timer on that, KJ. Mm -hmm. And um, if we don't get a 25 claimer, yep. we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what, where we go from there. We'll tell you what we'll do. So if, if no one wants to claim 25 for either comic... Well, don't, don't forget, 25 will get you a Wheel of Fortune spin as well. All right? Yeah. Plus, you're going to get yourself uh, beautiful vintage comics uh, from us here at Welcome Stranger. But let's, I reckon, chuck a timer up because... Any more vintage One Piece hollows, says Rogan. They want the vintage One Piece hollows. Mm. Um. All right, two minute timer, guys. Grab yourself some raw comic spots. Grab yourselves a beautiful graded comic to go with either the three Jokers or Batman and Robin. Wait, there are some beautiful raw comics in here, Cage. I'm just having a little look. Nice array of like Marvel, Pokemon. And these limited to only 50 spots too, guys. So 
Uh, it's not a big tower by any means. It is not a big tower by any means. Hey, well, I, want, I want to see if the viewers like this idea or that. What's this idea? Encompass, KJ. What's it? See these two? Yep. A duck race for both comics. Yep. Ten claimers race. What do you mean ten claimers race? So, if you claim ten spots, yep. you get one duck in a race to right. win both comics. Oh. And I'll tell you what all day. Both comics and two Wheel of Fortunes. You claim ten spots, you yes. take your chance at winning two graded comics and two Wheel of Fortunes, and it's only going to be limited to five, five people. Claimers. So what I'm going to do, ten claimers race, only limited to five yep. people for two massive Love comics that. and 9.4 Batman and Robin, very unique artwork, as well as a Batman 3 Jokers embossed. It's all Love embossed that. here. It's stunning. Massive comics, only limited to five people. If you want to get yeah. involved, get involved now. Tell you what, the first person to claim ten, Rogan, if you're the first person to claim ten, I'm going to give that to you, oh, brother. brother, you're first off person to claim ten. All right, so two, two by Wheel of Fortune, Sue. Yeah, this is huge, KJ. Massive. Two Wheel of Fortunes up for grabs as well. Tell you what, all day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a two minute time. Yeah, give them two minutes because this isn't something that you sit on, KJ, all because nah. the uh, the value is well and truly there. Uh-huh. Well and truly there. Du or ten claimer duck race. Do you wanna write in the comment section, KJ? Ten claimer duck race. Two Wheel of Fortune spins up for grabs plus two sensational comics. The three jokers and Batman and Robin. Thank you very much to Team Alice. This is what Melbourne wants, and one man who I know will be welcome here tonight, who has made this happen with these wonderful decisions, Rue. Uh, John, can you just lift this up? Come in here, mate. Come in. In you come. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Andrews! Have a look at him! You absolute beauty, mate. You've got no idea of theatre, mate. And I tell you what, you to entertainment is what Ivan Milat is the backpacking, mate. You're absolutely no good. What's your name? Matt. Matt Pestro. Pestro. <laughs> Never heard of you. It's all right. All right. <laughs> no, no, watch this. Who are you? <laughs> Hey guys, it's KJ here. This right here holding in my hands is a first edition Mint Zard that any of you guys out there can take down for either a $12 spot, $10 spot, or any other spot on either the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Sunday stream, all at 5 p.m. for any of you guys out there looking to take down a big card like this. Head over to the Welcome Stranger live stream now, and I'll see you guys there. Alrighty guys, so KJ, the two Wheel of Fortunes up for grabs, yep. the two sensational comics, and this is going to be for a 10 claimer duck race. Did we say that this was for the first 10 claimer? Uh, yes. This is for the first 10 claimer guys, Usopp 2006, one piece, been going absolutely bananas, and you guys are one of the first... Uh, groups in the collectible community to get access to these cards. So take them while you can. Ten claimer. First one will take that. All right. And I was about to show the first ten claims, but as I've said that, 
Adam McCarthy has just said, you know what, I'll claim 10. So he's going to be our first 10 claimer in this duck race, KJ. No worries. So I'm going to pass that Usopp over to that gentleman. Great claim. And he gets, uh, he gets the first 10 comics in this comic tower. I'll pass that to you, brother. No worries. Adam McCarthy, let's have a look. First up, we've got a beautiful Hulk comic from November 1996. Savage Redefined. A bold new chapter in the Green Goliath's life. Okay, moving on. Next one. Batman Battles the Mole. How old's this comic? How old's this? This was what? This one looks quite, quite old. But yes, yeah, stunning piece, that one. That is the second part of Adam McCarthy's claim. Number three. We've got a beautiful Pokemon number three comic. Big shout out to Toshihiro Ono for story and art. Three. Four. We've got the Incredible Hulk with a Disney 100 collaboration Goofy. Goofy going Hulk style. Nice. Bet you didn't think that was coming next. Next up, we've got another Hulk. What? October 1996. Post onslaught. Post banner. Radioactive and on the run. Next up. Itchy and scratchy comics. Well, have a look at that. Classic. Itchy and scratchy from The Simpsons. Next up. Batman. Poison Ivy is back. All right, beautiful stuff. Next up, we have Pokemon comic number four. KJ, get that down here, brother. Pikachu shocks back. How many have we done so we don't? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, two more. The Incredible Hulk. Onslaught Impact 2. Oh, vintage. Can you say the AF, like, non-abbreviated? Or no, you just say AF. 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 Uh, October 1996. You boys wouldn't have a PSA 9 or 10 of a top squirtle, which just says Nath Newson. I'll see what I can do for you, Newson. See what you can do, New. See what we can do for him. See, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do, KJ. Why don't you do this? Why don't you go grab four beautiful slabs that viewers will love mm. and, we'll, and we'll throw them in for the next four ten claimers. No Alright? Mm -hmm. Alright, so there we go. That is ten. The Amazing Spider-Man for you. Adam McCarth. And don't forget, guys, all five ten claimers are going in a duck race for these two sensational comics and two Wheel of Fortune spins. Do not forget... Do not forget. Sorry. That is a McFarlane artwork, Matty C. Certainly is. Matty? That most certainly is that last claim there. So the next four claimers are going to get a random slab KJ. Make sure it's decent. Yeah, no worries. I'll be as quick as I can, yeah? Yeah, no worries. Yeah, no worries. But just make sure they'll be happy with it. Yeah, no worries. One more minute. One more minute. Rightio. He wants one more minute, viewers. Should we grant him the minute? Or no? Or no? Yay or nay? Yay or nay for KJ? Oh God. Right. I love seeing these random comics. I do have a Marvel app that has all the Marvel comics, but these comics are really good, says Mark Howden. I, I, I couldn't find a Tops 
Squirtle, but I could find it. Uh, 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 oh, brother. Even just as good. All right. What I'll do is... What I'll do is, if you want to be our next 10 claimer Nath in the comic tower, that's going to you, brother. And you're going in the running for the two comics and two Wheel of Fortunes. It wasn't tops, but it is the old made pristine 10. And I'll, and I'll show you what else I got, guys. I've got these. Look at this. And what I'll do is, I'll, ra I'll randomly shuffle these up. And the next four 10 claimers will get them. And you get your shot at the two comics and two Wheel of Fortunes and 10 vintage comics. Okay? Nay says he has that. Thanks all day. No worries. No worries at all. Nath. But I'm interested in a 10 claim, Nath. If we can find you the desired card. I'm just looking. He's looking. Oh, the Gui! KJ. Sorry, sorry all day, just one second. The Gui sits out the front door. No worries, hey, KJ. Back off. No, back off. No, don't peck me. Hey. All right, I'm going to show the next few uh, comics in the next 10 claim, guys. Batman Dark Knight, Dark City. Hello. That is next up in the comic tower. Now, if anyone wants to claim a smaller amount, they can. I next found up. Something really nice you found something, did you? For Newson? Yeah. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see. Give them those, both of them. No. I don't care, both of them. Alright. I don't care, both of them. What about them? What about them, Nath? A couple of Squirtle stickers, PSA. Happy to move them on, brother. If you want to claim 10 Comic Tower spots, they'll be yours, my friend. Up to you, my friend. Let me know. All right. Rogan says, KJ, where did your One Piece deals right, go? Right, right, we right. had one, Rogan. Rogan, 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 Rogan. Right, 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 right. Um, Dude, how many spots for that? That's That looks pretty good to me. Oh, you're gonna, yeah, you're going to have to get a... Give me a One Piece deal right now and I'll give you a kiss. Thirty for this one all day. Thirty. Nice so this is for thirty uh, comic tower spots. And you'll have three. You'll have a very large percentage of the field, brother. Yeah, you'll have sixty percent of the uh, duck race field. Whoa. So you go from one spin. Two thousand kj. Fortunes. Look at that. So that is for a thirty claim, Rogan. You take that, brother. And don't forget. Don't forget, Rogan. Two Wheel of Fortune spins up for grabs. Two beautiful graded comics. And you will have three of the five ducks in that duck race. Mm -hmm. And you'll be taking down this 24-year-old four year one-piece Arlong. Have a look at it. Have a look. Oh, that's carried that... Um, that. Rogan says, can you do a 20 claim? So he's saying, can I have 30% off, please? See what, let's have a look, KJ. Let's have a squeeze, brother. Adam, I want that Batman and Robin comic. <laughs> Being our first 10 claimer, Adam. Is, is there anything you like, Adam? Anything in uh, particular? Uh, pop one. Pop one? Yep. Radio. Right uh, pop one, none higher. Pop one, none higher. It is Rogan, so I do want to look after him. So let's meet in the middle at 25. 25, brother. 25 and it's yours, my friend. So, will that mean we give him 2.5 ducks? Uh-huh. Give him three ducks. Three ducks? Three ducks. All right. Brother, you'll be getting three ducks at the price of two point, uh, of 25 instead of 30. There you go. Back. Yeah. Great deal. What? The rogue stuff. 25 and it's yours, my friend. 25, brother. And you got three ducks and you could go from what? 
Yeah. Two spins to two Wheel of Fortunes instead, bro. It's pretty massive. Well, that's what's up for grabs. That's what's up for grabs in the duck races. Yeah. Go on, then. All right. I'll pass that to you, KJ. Done. All right. 25 coming up. All right. One. Pikachu shocks back. Number four. Stunning. Two. Batman. Dark Knight. Dark City. Another beautiful... Oh, this one looks quite... Quite tasty. What do we have here? The Amazing Spider-Man. Exclusive Collector's Edition. Have a look at that. There's three. Four. What have we got here? Another beautiful Spider-Man. A man gone mad. Very nice. What's next? Two-Face. And Batman. Showcase 93. Wow, we're going back now, KJ. We are going back. We going there. Paul. Paul Wright, what's going on, brother? What is going on, mate? How are those Swannies, mate? You're you going to be tickled pink with uh, their first three rounds. Spider-Man. And Hobgoblin. Whoa. There we go. Next up. Krusty Comics. Krusty the Clown. Not looking very happy there. Krusty Land. The rise and fall of Krusty Land. You let me know what you like, McCarthy. Do you, is there anything in uh, particular, brother? Maddie Sin love that Gobby artwork. Rightio. That's Gobby. Yeah. Probably should have read yeah, I, I, I'm like Ron Burgundy. I'll read anything on the on the comment section. Yeah, it's uh, Kai's like the leading comment. Yeah, the electric. Uh, you're referring to the Green Goblin, though, Pikachu Boogaloo. Nah, yeah, probably, but that's what you call him. Wouldn't, you? wouldn't that be the abbreviated form of Goblin, Gobby? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would have thought. Okay. I think I heard Stan Lee refer to him that. Paul Wright went to the yeah. casino after work. No good. Invest in collectibles. Better return. What were you playing, Paul? What were you playing, mate? Dark Knight. Batman Gothic. Part 3 of 5. Alright. Another beautiful Spider-Man. Pokies and Roulette. Oh, stay away from the Pokies, um, poor eye. I reckon you hit Baccarat, mate. Baccarat. Electric Pikachu Boogaloo, number one. McFarlane, um... Let me see, Matty. Yes, McFarlane, brother. Certainly is. There you go. Certainly is, brother. There we go. Really what was it, Pokemon? It smelt. What what cuisine was it? I was gonna say uh, it's it had that sort of mid Middle Earth sort of smell. Crossy. Yeah, Crusty Land. Yeah, exactly. Crusty Land is that um is that KJ's undies? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Remember how I put K in your undies that time? They'd be crusty. Another beautiful Spider-Man. Another the, McFarlane um, artwork too. Yeah, see the um, Subsidy part just one. On, just on that artwork all day. Yes. See the uh, white, gooey, sticky substance coming out of Spider-Man. Right. See the gooey, stringy, sticky. Yeah. White. Yeah. Substance. Yeah. That he's covered in. Yeah. Do you know what that is? Tell me. You don't know what that white, gooey, stringy substance well, you're is. You're telling the story, Pokemon. What is it? You don't know. Spiderweb? Yeah, it's yeah. spiderweb, yeah. Yeah. But do you know what that means? What does it mean? It means it's a McFarlane artwork. Right. Only he does the sticky, gooey, white substance. Yeah. Uh, only he does the stringy, white right. substance. Okay. Stringy. If it's stringy, gooey, it's McFarlane. Sticky, Rightio. white substance. And if it's non-sticky, it's McGuig. 
If it's non-sticky, it's probably pre-McFarlane. Right here. How is McFarlane going? I actually watched a, ver a very interesting documentary about McFarlane. Yeah. He, he The man had balls. Did he? Oh, yeah. And so basically he worked for Marvel. Yeah. And then left Marvel and started his own company against Marvel. Really? And his, his main uh, one was... Remember Spawn? S-P-A-W-N? Yeah. There was a movie, there was comics, there was toys. Yeah. So him and a bunch of artists that worked at Marvel yeah. left and started their own company. Yeah. And Spawn was their sort of... Their baby. Right, yeah. It didn't really go super well. Okay. But um, one of McFarlane's key attributes to his uh, Spider-Man was the stringy web as uh, opposed to the just normal... Web. And would you say that's common knowledge or more the um, astute collectors uh, would... I'd say it's reasonably astute, but I wouldn't be surprised if people picked it up. More people knew the... Yeah. yeah. Next up, we have Iron Man meets Tricky Mickey. What was that? So what was that? Oh, nothing. I was... So this guy's legitimately taking the mickey out of us. Yeah, exactly. He really is. Yeah. 100 Years of Wonder. Disney 100. Next up. The Avengers. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Meets Disney 100. The uh, variant edition. Rightio. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to count these up. Good. Finish yet? No, we'll be soon. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah. You take these, Kato. Sorry. Me and Kato were driving on the beach the other night and there was a few Nido Queens playing volleyball. And then we went around. Oh, no, you can go. Ten more. And I said, they, like, they were looking over at Kato. They could obviously see his beautiful blonde mullet. Yeah. And they were sort of looking over at him smiling. Okay. I said, KJ, okay. say, say hello to him. Like, ask her what her name is. You know, yep. ask her what, what sign she is. What do you say? He just shit himself. Oh. Well, and then we, yeah, and then um, basically once I didn't say anything, then I was like, oh, Pokemon, we should go back around. And he was oh. like, yeah, right. And I was like, yeah, right. And then we went back around, and then basically I saw them again, and I just smiled again and then waved. And then she looked at me and she didn't wave back, and I was like, oh, all right, maybe I'll try again. I went back around a third time, and then... And then basically, um, when I went back around the third time, I waved again, and then she waved back. I was like, awesome, mate, I'll and try again, and then, and then I'll ask her next time, how's she going? So we went back around again, and I was like, oh, hey, how you going? And she said, oh, oh. what do you want? And I said, oh, nothing. No, no, she said, come play sh come play with us. Oh, yeah, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, all good. Yeah, and he said, no, nah, no, nah, all good. And, and, I was like, and then I felt bad, and then we went back around again, and I was like, oh, I may as well try again. And then... Cody Martin, how are you, brother? How'd you go? Not good. What happened? That was it. She said, do you want to come play volleyball with us? And he goes, no, 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 all good. And he went back again, and then you want to play with us? And then we went back around and again, and they're like, what do you want? We're just like, we just offered you to play. And you said, no, you drove off. Now you back again, like, what do you, do you want something? Like, yeah. And then it was awkward, so we had to leave. Wow. Sorry, Rogan, I didn't see what you said, brother. Ah, uh, close, close. Yeah. Do you want to, sorry. You'll get sorry. next time. Yeah. You'll sorry, brother, I was just listening to KJ there. I think he's done well. Would any of the dudes play volleyball with you? Oh, uh, maybe. Alrighty, three Kato. more for Rogan. Kato, you yeah. play volleyball with Kato. Yeah. Pikachu shocks back, number four. You can ask her, yeah. Hey, Kato. The Amazing Spider-Man meets... Hey, Kato. Tricky Mickey. Can you all just take out the Marvel and DC comics and duck rate the rest for the viewers? They are going to my dad. He only reads superhero stuff. Oh, what a legend, Rogan. Can we do that, KJ? Uh, and look yeah, at this one. This claim, yeah, for sure. Electric Pikachu Boogaloo. Wow, what a stunning artwork that one is. Number four. Shout out to Toshihiro Ono. Yeah, what a legend. All right, so he said, take out the Marvel and DC. Right. Okay, Joe. You want to take it Marvel and DC? Marvel and DC. And yeah. we'll, I guess, should we just throw that into the duck race then? I don't see why not. What do you reckon? All right, so in this current duck race, KJ, we should have what? We've got one for Adam McCarthy, one duck? Uh, 
Yes, one duck for Adam McCarthy, three ducks for Rogan. Three ducks for Rogan. Okay, guys, there is 15 spots left in the Comic Tower. A 10 claim will get you a... It will get you a duck in this duck race for two Wheel of Fortunes and the two greater comics that you can see. That's all my all right. one Yep. No worries. I've got room for two more 10 claims. I'm full. So we've got room for two more 10 claims, guys. Two more 10 claims for the opportunity at two Wheel of Fortunes and a shot at these two beautiful comics, Batman and Robin, 9.4, number 20. All right, so that as well as the three Jokers. Batman, which is an embossed title. Evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we this evening? We are going great, LJB. Hope you're doing well, my brother. 9.8 as well. So two more 10 claim spots, and we will get to this duck race. And what I'll do is, guys, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a gentleman, KJ. Mm -hmm. Next 10 claimer is gonna get one of these slabs. Or, in fact, I'll just let the next two 10 claimers choose which slab they want. All right. Next two 10 claimers choose a slab for free, and they are gonna be the last two going in the running for this. Big, big duck race, KJ. Two graded comics. Two Wheel of Fortunes. It's a very small tower. It's only 50 spots. There are only 50 spots. Choose your slab. With your 10 claim. Choose your slab. With your 10 claim. That old man. Oh, cool. I'll just claim 20 and grab those two. Claim 20, grab those two. Did you say to send three claims to go on a race for, to win all the. Sorry, KJ? What's the go with this Marvel stuff? So the Marvel and DC. Is that well, I'm thinking what I'll do with the Marvel and DC. I might do a Dragon Ball Tower next. I might just put that in there, I reckon. Because there's only two 10 claimers left, KJ. But I'm definitely going to duck race them off, the, the comics. Mm. But right now, with two 10 claims left, I'll give the viewers an option at any slab that they want to choose out of these to go with their 10 claim. And like I said, there's two Wheel of Fortunes up for grabs here, guys. And don't forget, guys, if you buy tonight, buy through the website. It is it is a Comic Tower LJB, and there's only 20 spots left. So there's we've got a duck race happening right here, which is for two 10 claimers. Oh, sorry, for 10 claim, 10 claimers. Yeah. And basically, the winner of the duck race is going to receive both comics and two Wheel of Fortunes, two spins at the Wheel of Fortune. So. Basically, the next two 10 claimers will be the final two runners in the duck race. And that winner is getting two Wheel of Fortunes and both comics, like I said. And the next two 10 claimers get to choose any one of these slabs for free. It's pretty good deals, guys. Great deals. That's why I'm sort of... We don't that's have why I'm just chilling with it, KJ, because it's... We don't have many spots left either. But we've only got 20 spots left. Let's get it done. We've only got 20 spots left. So... So yeah, that's it. If you want to grab 10 spots, but there's a different slab, to kind of, like different anime that you might like, let me know. KJ, mm -hmm. you grab me. All right, LJB says claim 10. And let me know which slab you like, LJB. Let me know what slab you like, brother. Let me know. Thank you, brother. All right. Can I go the Pika, but not the old made one? 
sure, LJB, I'll do that for you, my friend. Give me one second. All right. So he wants the Pika. That goes to LJ to the B. Sure, brother. So next 10 claimer chooses any one of the remaining three slabs and they will go in the running for the duck race. So LJB, here are your 10. One. Incredible Hulk meets Disney 100. Many thanks to you, brother. Many thanks to you. Two. Incredible Hulk again. From July 1996. We've got one more 10 claimer spot available, guys. One more. Ghosts of the Future. Part 5. Next up, we've got The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. It's four, here comes number five. Oh, this one takes us back. Walt Disney. Giant Walt Disney. Next up, Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars. Have a look at that, guys. <laughs> number set. I think it's number seven. Walking Dead. We've got another beautiful, incredible Hulk. Ghosts of the Future, part four or five. Batman. Hey, you're doing well here, LJB, and you're in the running for a big prize, my friend. You're in the running for a big, big prize. Oh, seductive. All right. I think that's nine, I think. I'll just double check. All right, one more for LJ to the B, and he takes down. Pikachu shocks back number two. There we go. Very nice. And he takes down this one as well. LJ to the B. All right, KJ. Here you go, brother. All right. Who is going to be our final 10 claimer? Only one more. So or go, guys. I can do that, Kate. I can either do that. Nah, nah I'll just... Yeah, we're just doing that. Final 10 claimer. Rogan. Yo, what's cracking, brother? I think you read my comment wrong. What did you say, Rogan? What did you say, Rogues? I want the DC and Marvel comics, just Duck Race. What's left? Of oh, sorry. Sorry. So, KJ, I think it's the other way around. So, take these and give me... So, Rogan's claims he wants these, but the rest he doesn't want. Is that right, Rogan? Want the DC and Marvel? Just Duck Race, what's left over? Yes. No worries, brother. We'll, we'll fi fix that up for you. Duck race upcoming, guys. Next 10 claimer is our final participant in the two Wheel of Fortunes and the two graded comics. It will cost you $150. We just saw... We just saw Braden take down the ace, KJ. Was it the ace from space? Ace from space. The ace from space. Yeah, Braden did. Big, big hit on the wheel, guys. A couple of Wheel of Fortunes upcoming. Uh, still got one more 10 claim, Pokeron. One more 10 claim? Give him an extra spin on the wheel or something. Give him an extra spin on the wheel. Oh, you're going to... Oh, Oh, you, we're going to Olmer spin, aren't we, KJ? Yeah, every yep. one of them, yeah. Easy. Isaac Dingle, what's up, legend? What is happening, brother? We've got an opportunity for you if you want to get involved. We've got one more person uh, that we can Great have. Voting all day. Opportunity. Well, that's what it is, Pokeron. Of course it is. Because it's you limited. One left. It's limited to one person. So basically, Isaac, I'll start with what you'll get for free if you claim 10. So 10 spots in the Comic Tower. You can choose any one of these three slabs to go along with your 10 claim. All right? 
You'll also go in the running for two Wheel of Fortunes, right? And you'll go in the running for these two magnificent graded comics. The Three Jokers, Batman 9.8, and Batman and Robin 9.4. Dingle says, yeah, I'll claim the 10 and the Pikachu. Alrighty, KJ. So the Pikachu is going to go to my man, Isaac Dingle. And what do you reckon, Isaac? Pies tomorrow night. I'm, I haven't lost faith in him yet. I think he's going to get the job done over the Lions. I'm guess I'm going Collingwood by seven points. Seven. All right, here we go with Dingle's 10. All right. Spider-Man. Two. Ooh, we've got another Spider-Man with a rather saucy artwork. That's two. Brisbane by 15, you reckon, Paul? Okay. Oh, another Spider-Man. Look at this one. Very interesting. Love that. Is he getting two spins as well? Next up. Incredible Hulk. I don't think we will at the Gabba. But I just get the feeling the break isn't going to help Cal um, Carlton. Brisbane. And look, I don't think Collingwood's form's been that bad. I mean, you were pretty ordinary against Sydney. Oh, hello. Um, so I, th I think I think you are still a decent shot. I haven't lost faith in you yet. I'm sure you haven't lost faith because you're a diehard. You're a diehard. You're a diehard, brother. Tell the, tell the viewers how long we've been mates for. Twenty-five years. Bella. You don't get along for murder. <laughs> you don't, do you, Pokemon? You just don't. Well, I always had it worked out, didn't I, all day? What's that? Just everything. Oh, life. Yeah. You saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That ain't a Spider-Man. The it's sisters a... are doing it for themselves all day. They are. I wouldn't mind get I wouldn't mind getting tangled up in her web. Oh, yeah. KJ, don't be don't be a brute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. My bad. My bad. So that is for sorry, Mr. Dingle. My girls so I play volleyball with you. Sorry. Yeah. All right, that is for Dingle. Hey. That's for Dingle, KJ. Now let's get to the get, let's get to the pond. Let's get to the pond. Off the door, KJ. Sorry. Sorry. Let's get to the pond, KJ. Yeah, but... If anyone else is jealous of that, let's be ready to fight. I'm gonna get it to Oreo, Oreo, too. Actually, I'm not telling you to Here we go, all day. This is it. Alright, let's go, KJ. Phenomenal, bro. Let's go. It's now, did you get two for Rogan? Be no, Rogan had three. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it should be six ducks total. Yep. Yep, awesome. Yep, that's that's perfect. That is perfect. That is perfect, KJ. All right. Is it going to be Dingle, the last one in? Barber, Schmeiler, or McCarth? Or McCarth. Alrighty, KJ. Alrighty. McCarth. It's Schmeiler. Dingle. Who's it going to be? Brayden says, where is my name? Did Brayden claim this, KJ? I don't think Brayden claimed it. Brayden, you went in this, brother. Alright. It's Dingle. No. It's Rogan. It's Rogan. Was it? Rogan. Rogan does it. Rogan does it. Oh, I think, I think, no, nah, I think he winked. I think he's having a laugh. I think he's having a laugh. So Rogan takes it down. Can I give the Batman and the Robin to Adam McCarthy, please? Rogan, you're a star. Round of applause wow. for Rogan. Giving away prizes to fellow viewers and just spreading the love. Barber did hit the NOS there. A little bit late, though. All right, so KJ, give that to 
Mc Mr. McCarthy, mm -hmm. and give this one to Rogan. One second. Yes, please, bro. Rogan. Everyone say bye to Coro. Bye, Corey. Catch you later, Coro. Have a good one, brother. Have a good one. Yeah. And remember Coro. Remember Coro. At the roundabout turn straight. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, see you. Now, what I'm going to do, KJ, now because... Because Rogan was so kind and generous to give away some of the comics in the Raw Comic Tower. What I'm going to do is, KJ, I'm going to do for the first, I think it's eight. The first eight, five claimers, KJ, mm -hmm. in the um, Dragon Ball Tower, I am going to... KJ, first eight, I'm going to give a... Random comic too. So the first eight five claimers in Dragon Ball. the Dragon Ball Tower. Now, if that's not limited to one per person, claim as many as you like. Well, they just take a chill pill, mate. And what I'll do is, KJ, I will go. I'm going to go. No, no, stop it. I'm going to have more. Hey, what are you going? Alright. You haven't gone troppo, have you? No, not troppo. But I'm, I'm going to put 15 spins as the prize for the first eight five claimers in the Dragon Ball Tower. You're all going to receive a free random raw comic and you're going to go in the running for 15 spins simply by claiming five spots. Okay? Simply by claiming five spots. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll throw in that squirtle too. That squirtle for the winner. Jesus. All right? Pristine, yeah. old maid squirtle. All right? For the first eight five claimers in the Dragon Ball Tower. Now, before we get started, KJ, because we're doing a new tower, mm. I want more hits on the wheel. That's fair enough. I want more hits on the wheel, like booster boxes, etc., etc. Add these on the wheel, brother. Does the wheel get reloaded? A. Hey, Rogan. Oh, we, oh, we owe Rogan spins, don't we? We owe many of the spins. All right. Oh, boys. That's, what, are we, what have we been talking about? What are we training, training? Stay on top of the wheel spins, boys. All right, done. All right, KJ. So, who do we owe? We owe Rogan for... We owe Rogan and we also owe... Oh, well, we owe Rogan, Rogan for the... For the... And Dingle. All right, brother. Alright, we'll get back to the Dragon Ball after the spins, guys. There we go. Alright, McCarthy with how many spins? One. One, okay. The two ducks in your claimers race. Next up is Rogan with a spin on the Wheel of Fortune plus it, two. It was for the two, uh, Rogan. We didn't do a plus ten on that one. So this is for Rogan's two, is that? Yep, yeah, Rogan's two Wheel of Fortunes All right. plus two spins. Okay. Oh, good start. Good start from Rogues. 24. Plus. Plus. I'm, I'm going to say it's 24 again. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. No. Plus 29. No. That's pain. Maximum pain is what? 55 spins in total. Uh, 53. No, because plus the two spins on top. Which two spins? From his claim itself, the 20 claim. So 25 claim, okay. Yeah. I think it was three. I said we'll give him three spins for that. So it'll be 50... Six. Yep, 56. Yeah. Here we go. So it's 56 spins, wow. Okay, let's go, rogues. Let's go. Jackpot for the legend. I'm loving the uh, positivity, Paul Wright. I'm loving the love. For your fellow viewers. Love, love, hate, hate. That's how I say, isn't it? Yeah. We'll spin again. All right, let's go. Third spin. 
Wow, we're doing it again. Being a good guy pays off, says MK Kyber. Does. Maddie Sin with the jackpots. Thank you. Let's do it for Rogan. Let's do it. Mark Howden. Oh, what a legend. Free duck. Quackity quack quack. Come on, Rogan. All right. That's seven spins so far of 56. Here comes number eight. Nine. <gasps> oh, yes. no, KJ. No way. No way. Um, Rogan, since, since you, um, you, um, um, mm, you hit the shout-out from KJ all day, can you draw on my forehead? Me? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it, uh, we'll do it after the spins? Yeah. All right, done. Just remember to do it, please. Done, brother. Done. Oh, what? Paul say not a KJ? Oh, because he's, he's sick of the KJ shout-outs, Paul. you got to understand, Paul's a grown man, KJ. He's not, he's not down for your pubescent adolescent behaviour. He probably finds it a little bit juvenile. Do you get me? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Sorry, Paul. Mate, if you're really sorry, why don't you offer to mow his lawns? Say, so, mate, have a Sunday sleep in, mate. I'll come mow the, lo mow, mow the lawns for you. <laughs> totally pro KJ, just not shout out. <laughs> What do you reckon, Paul? What do you need done around the house, mate? KJ is the man. Hire a hubby. KJ. It's Uncle Paul to you, KJ. That's right, Matty Sin. Sorry, Uncle Paul. All right, that's 15 spins, KJ. Oh, 56. That is, we are at, this is the 20th spin coming up. If I ever get a shout out from KJ, I'd ask to swap it for a takeaway, says Mark Alvin. Hey, that's, that's not nice. Uh, I don't have any multis, uh, Nath Newson. I'll, I'll have a look uh, probably tomorrow morning or something. But I don't really put them on unless I actually see value that like jumps at me. I don't just put it on just because I feel the need to have something on. But if I... Um, if I see something, mate, that I, that sort of jumps at me, I'm more than happy to send it across to you. Uh, got any graded one-piece packs, Matty? Says Paul Wright. Yeah, I'll, I'll find something for you. Okay, you say, yeah, I'll find something for you, Uncle. I'll say, oh, I'll find something for you, Uncle. There you go. Treat him with respect, KJ. Yeah. I, I was saying earlier on the stream, Paul, that you've got the... I did say arguably, but I don't think there is any argument. But you've got the best Paul Kelly collection in the world. I've heard about that. Surely, like, you haven't met someone with a better Paul Kelly collection than you have, you Paul. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. What would Paul Kelly pay for your Paul Kelly collection? Would you do that Pokemon if someone had, like, the master set of just cards of you or your Bizzo cards or whatever, all graded as tens? Would you buy it off them? Yeah, Paul said, without doubt. All right, this is spin number 31, KJ. Oh, Nath Newsom wants a group with multi sharing and footy talk. Yeah, but the problem is, Nath, you won't, you won't, you won't have, you will not get a rest from me. I'll be chewing your ear off, mate. One of the cards is worth five thousand. It's one of fifty. I think you showed me that one, Paul. Oh, shout out from Roy. <laughs> All right, here we go, Rogan, flying first class with the Roy. Oh, sorry. I was just busy um, writing one of my scripts for my next upcoming movies. But um, congratulations on hitting the best spot probably on the wheel. Don't don't worry about that cage I shattered. It's absolutely terrible. You never want to hit that. 
Um, but uh, basically, I have multiple shows that are uh, currently uh, streaming uh, around the planet. I've probably got millions of views. I don't even really look at it because I don't really need to look at it. And uh, yeah, I don't even know whether or not Nowhere Boys is probably even on Netflix. It probably is, and probably High Country is probably too. So yeah, just enjoy those shows and just watch them. Nice. Pleasure having you pop in, Matty Tesfro. I'm glad you ditched the American accent. I didn't really get that. Oh, that's right. He spent so much time in LA. Yes. Spin again. All right, spin again, KJ. Oh, so he spins it again. All right, this is spin number 38, KJ. It was 56. I want some jackpot talk in the comment section, boys and girls. Spin it again, KJ. So, any one piece greater packs for a 50 claim of DBZ tail, says Paul Wright. I'll grab something for you um, after this, Paul. Yeah, mate, it was Uncle Paul Uncle three Paul. minutes ago. Now it's Paulie. Like, what happened? Did you like grow up or something? Yeah. How many right. spins left all day? 16. Oh. And it's Uncle all day to you. Sorry. No worries. I'm sorry, Paul, for his disrespect. All right, here we go. Free duck. Come on, man. Deliver, KJ. Deliver. All right, we've got 11 more spins or 10 more spins now, KJ. Get there. Thank you, Nath Newson. Thank you. Come on, Free. Rogan. Come on, Rogue. It's Uncle Rogue. Uncle Rogan. All right, five more, KJ. Five more. Come on, KJ. Late jackpot, brother. Late oh, jackpot. Come on. Two more. All right, this is it. It isn't it. It isn't it. It's KJ. It's KJ. All right, do we owe any more spins, KJ? Um, uh, let me quickly check. Yes, we do. Who for? One second. Okay, we owe one spin to Barber. One spin to LJB. Let's go. Let's give it to him again. LJ to the B. Dingle one. Mr. Dingle. And we're up to date. Mm -hmm. Any satellites to run? Uh, no. No satellites uh, to run? Sorry, sorry, we do have one. One? All right, no worries, KJ. No worries. So after this satellite, we're all up to date with satellites and spins? Yeah. Beautiful. And it's just the Rogan the says, KJ hates me. KJ. You've, no, got the Uncle you, Rogan. you've got the next 10 seconds to convince Rogan you don't hate him. Tommy Joe kicking away. Uh, Tom, oh, Buddha Hazy. Buddha, so Buddha Hazy has won himself a spin. Yeah. Oh, this would be painful for jackpot hits for Rogan. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? Two ducks. Two ducks. Rightio. Rightio. All right, guys. So the, the first uh, eight... For, oh, actually, first, we'll leave that for now. Uh, I know Paul Wright was keen on a 50 claim, KJ. Do you want to see if there's anything that might tickle his fancy mm -hmm. as far as one piece? Have a look. And I might. And obviously, that you'll have your Wheel of Fortune. P to the W. A.K.A. Uncle Paul Wright to KJ. KJ. <laughs> Where are you going? Alright. I can't get past. Alright, what's this? What's this, KJ? Talk to me. So... Well, talk to Uncle Paulie. Hi, Uncle Paulie. Um, this is going to be a 50 claim for both. Usually should probably be just for one, but my brother's not here. So otherwise, probably tomorrow he's going to be really mad at me and, and really hurt, or like, not like, be happy with me. So yeah, just 
Those two there for a 50 claim in the DBZ tower, all in a Wheel of Fortune. They're two different claim both said Paul, no worries. Alright, easy brother, no stress at all. Alright, let's do... Now, KJ, yeah, should we get... Why don't you cut to a quick break and add the hits to the wheel for the Dragon Ball Tower? No worries. And we'll be back in just a second, ladies and gents. A wish has been granted. Calling adventurers from across the globe. Saudi Arabia after the discovery of Dragon Balls with wish-granting powers. To experience an unprecedented, immersive entertainment destination. <laughs> Here, fantasy and thrills collide. Play a part in the epic sagas, coming to Saudi Arabia, in the first city built for play. Paul, so this is your uh, pre-claim prize. Now, if you're interested, mate, I can give you a little bit more if you want to go for a hundred claim. So what we have here is beautiful Nami piece, mint condition from the year 2000. So that would be in addition to what you've already grabbed, as well as Another one of the battle packs, which has been graded a 10. All right, so I'll add them. So that would be three of the packs, as you can see. And this. And instead of two Wheel of Fortunes, we will go three if you want to go 100, mate. So let me know if that works to your liking, mate. So, yeah, like I said, you'll basically be getting a additional Wheel of Fortune on top if you want to go for the 100. So let me know, mate, and we'll take it from there. So what would that be, KJ? So three, yeah, three Wheel of Fortunes. Yeah. Throw in another pack as well. Do you have anything on hand, KJ? Um. Have a squeeze. Tell me, tell me what your favourite artwork is out of the three, Paul. The Mihawk, the Frankie or the Nami, and I'll chuck in, I'll chuck in one more for you, brother. You're saying you're a double up? Yeah. Okay. We'll double whichever artwork is your favourite, brother. Let me know. Got that one, Frankie, or you can take the Nami. Any one of those three, brother? We do have another one of each. I uh, don't think we do, Paul, no. No Luffy? No. And with the towel, Paul, let me know if you want us to reveal the raw cards or not. Hey, stuff it. Tell you what, Paul. Hey, hey, hey. 
Hey, hey, hey. I got, a, I got a claim for you, bro. I don't have another Luffy pack. However, if you wanted to make this not a hundred claim, but a two hundred claim, this unless you just wanted another pack of a double off of artwork and take the hundred, you can take two hundred, have this Luffy artwork. Now this is One Piece number one, the first ever One Piece theme deck from OPO One. So obviously you can imagine that if Romance Storm Pre-Rider is very expensive for those boxes. This is even before that. This was released before that. Wow. And this is graded. So that's a Luffy artwork. You can take all three promo packs, the first ever theme deck, the first ever vintage Japanese Nami card, all for a 200 claim the DBZ tower, and... Go seven Wheel of Fortunes, KJ. No. We've seven got... Wheel of Fortunes. We'll go seven. Three promotional graded packs... The first ever Luffy theme deck. The first ever Nami. Vintage Japanese One Piece in mint condition. Paul, if you wanted to take that, that would be a 200 claim, of course. However, if you didn't want to do that, brother, you can just take all th th those three packs plus the Nami double up and that Nami mint condition if you'd like to do that, brother. That's so that's a, the options right there. That's a ripper deal. Depends what you want to do, Paul. That's a ripper. But he's obviously considering 100. Yeah. The 200 is... That's the big one. That's the big one. Yeah. Seven Wheel of Fortune. Wow. That's massive. But he's, he'd, be, he'd be claiming... You know, a couple, couple of Dragon Ball Towers. So, uh -huh. But we'll let, him, we'll let him sit on that. Um, let him think about it. If he wants to do it, he can do it. Or... Exactly. Now, that is very interesting, KJ, that you pull that out. We've done, a little, stunning, we done a little stock take. Well, I didn't say this one. This is obviously in the... Uh, this is in the uh, oh. secret section. Mm, yes, and look, it's stunning. It's like all the manga you, you see on the most expensive cards. We just sold a Zoro manga, yeah, two and a half thousand, and it has a very similar. I'll do the four packs. Yeah, and the cut. So it's the four packs. So yeah, what's so the you, four? So you need a fourth one. Yep. Yep. Four packs. And the card, and the card and OP card and OP card and. For 150, not 200. We definitely can't do seven Wheel of Fortunes for yeah. 150. Yeah. That was for 200. I'll bring that down to six. Uh, but what's he saying away the stock? Okay. Yeah, so, so not too sure what you're... So, you, Paul, you want... Six Wheel of Fortunes for a 150 claim. No, no, I said seven for 200. Yeah. Cause he, got, he was going to go 100 for three. Yeah. And then I was going to give him one more for the extra 100. But he's now saying he wants 150, so I'm saying we definitely can't do seven for. No, nah, we can't even do six for 150. Okay. Yeah. The best we could do for 150 would probably be four plus ten spins. Four plus. Okay. All right. All right. No worries. So if it's four plus ten spins. Yep. It's it's all this. Yeah. yeah. And what's he what's he saying in regards to the stock? He's saying the three mm -hmm. packs, mm -hmm. the card. Yep. And was he saying for one more pack? Yeah. If you if you wanted one more pack for then that then that's fine, brother. We can do that. Right. Okay. All right, no worries. All right, is that the one? Mm hmm So that's... So he said then... Uh, he wanted an army as well. Okay. All right, do you want to maybe put that back? Uh, I think I need to have a look at this deal, boys. So I don't know what All right. it is that you want to So one... So... Like gold rares. Paul... <laughs> sell a thousand bucks worth of DBC spots to Paul Wright. Watch out. Um, so Paul Wright is happy to claim 150. Yep. And this is what is on the table okay. so far. Wow. That is a lot for 150 already. Um, KJ? I'll, I'll leave it there. Yep, so that's the 150 claim. Yes. It, and has Paul agreed to that? Is, uh, this is what he wanted? This is what he asked for. He said, I'll do the four packs. Yep. The card, he goes, and the card. Yep. And one piece card. And the one piece. So. One piece what? Yeah. yeah that's, it's that's, all one piece. Yep, yeah, so. Maybe we'll just show them the four packs. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So you're getting four packs and the card. Is that what he's asking for? We'll just confirm. Sorry. We'll confirm to see what. Did he ask for anything else? No, yes. No. Okay, so these are what he asked. I didn't understand what he was okay, saying. Gotcha. Yes. Now he said he's, he's happy to claim 150 for these, but he obviously wants spins as well. He w Yes. So. Um, so he'd be getting. 
So he'd be entitled to three Wheel of Fortune yep. spins. And we've bumped that up to four plus ten. Which is crazy. Yes. Exactly. Four plus ten. Right. With, with what's on, and plus what's on the table. Wow. Okay. All right, let me get this. Right. A bit more central. Yeah, so it wasn't that? No. No. KJ put that in for a 200, but then he said he goes, I can only do one. One piece thing. booster as well. Which booster? I think it's that one. Uh, That's the bit. What, this one? I'm tipping that's what he was referring to. That's what we showed? Mm. Um, I'll let you have a thing on that so, one. Pleasure. So he's claiming 150. He's going to get four Wheel of Fortunes plus 10. Buddha Hazy said that's 200 on its own. Which, what's that, Buddha Hazy? The, this? No, we usually do these for. We usually do these for 100 claim, don't we? Or yeah. 50, yeah. Or, yeah. <coughs> um,. Buddha, if you want one of them, I can probably do it for you for a hundred as well, bro. But, um, wow. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Um. And b by the way, two Pokemon, we're about to add two towers worth of hits on the wheel. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. two. So that's oh, all. I keep see. keep yeah. that in keep Lord that in mind as well. You can, you can also say goodbye to that. I with um, Did I give you the first slot, KJ? Oh. It's poorly right. He is a legend, isn't he? He's is a bona fide legend, correct. Yeah, KJ went <laughs> Yeah, poorly. Only because it's your uncle poorly stuff it. Let's go. Yeah, done. Wow. All right. E to the W. That was a shitload of stuff, bro. Right? Like, e to the W. Yeah. Now, KJ, do you want to add these to the veal? You're lucky I wasn't in the room for that one, PW. Right, but so I love you, bro. I love you, bro, and I want your collection to grow too, cuz. And I hope you get some good shit on the wheel. Which one did you... You already done that one? Yeah. Not too yeah. good, but, you know. All right, easy, brother. All right, so I'll, I'll leave them yeah. there. They're hits. So, so that's 50? Yes. That's four rights? No. That's Paul, 150. Yep. And that's, that's what's left. Okay, gotcha. Okie dokie. We're going to have a quick look through Paul's cards. We won't go through one at a time, guys. It'll probably take a little bit too long. Oh, my God. But we will... Whoa. Fire as usual. As, as yeah, ex as expected. Four. Super Saiyan... Personality cards. Oh, look at that. Dude. Absolutely great. Yeah, roller. first dead as well. Super, heroes, art box, old school score. Adam McCarthy, how about my hit on the wheel last night, Pokemon? Oh no, what did McCarthy do? What did he do? What did he rob me of? The Kaboo Tops? Fourth print. Huh? Fourth oh, print. no, sorry. He hit a Watsy pack. Did he? Hit the fourth print pack, pulled yeah. a fourth print Mewtwo Hollow. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hey, don't forget, guys. Look at these personality cards, Paul Wright. If you are, if you want to fix us up. So I don't know if you know about scorecards, Paul Wright, but if you are going to hang on to any of these cards before you give them away like a crazy maniac, generous god that you are, keep the personality cards, man. They're good. The Hollow Chrome Art Box, they're good too. as well as sort of like your vintage prisms. Um, also, guys, if you want to um, fix up tonight's orders through the website, you will be uh, freed of any postage charges and your order will be sent out ASAP. So keep that in mind, guys. If you want to go through the website, that will be... Uh, an advantage to you considering the uh, Easter weekend's coming up. And also, I don't know if the if you viewers heard about the um, new group chat that's going on. 
Yes. The Walton tell, Stranger Group. Tell me about that, KJ. Well, that's um, basically there. I know that there's a couple of rules behind it, but basically it's just a group chat. We'll give you guys just exclusive updates and all that sort of stuff. So it's pretty awesome. Um, I think heaps of people are going to be able to get around it. Um, and what I'll do, guys, I'll drop the actual link to join the group chat if you haven't done that already. We yes, can post it on our socials today. What is it? A Facebook thing? Or Insta? Uh, Facebook. Yeah. Am I in it? Uh, uh, I'd better be in it. I'll get, I'll, I'll get, I'm, I'll get people going, man. Yeah. Claim a dozen spots in the DBZ tower, and I'll give you this holographic Usopp rookie oh. card. I'll just drop the link to the community group chat now. What's that? That was um. Left over. No, no. Rogan said we can give him away. Oh, nice. All right, so what I'll do is, ooh, claim a dozen spots in the Pokemon Tower. Uh, claim a dozen spots in the DBZ Tower, and I'll give you this Pokemon comic from Rogan, because he's a superstar, this Usopp rookie, and this Krusty the Clown for free. Aya. Claim 10 spots in the DBZ tower, you get these three items for free. One, two, three. There you go. And I'll give you two spins on the wheel instead of one. Okay. Very nice. Will there be an after dark though, said Matty Sin. Oh. Well, you were in charge of the uh, after darks of the BFF group all day. I don't well, know. I think that was some of the highlights of the BFF. Highlights, but what are you saying that it brought a, uh, a no, premature no, end? No, actually, I think you done pretty well, KJ. And we saw some good content. We did. My favourite was um, Harley Foster. Yeah, he was good. No, I like the one who always done that drew drank naked. Oh, that was uh, right. Cuff Daddy. Cuff, Cuff Daddy. Daddy. He was great. Cuff Daddy. All right, so we've got spins for Paul. Yep. What Next was time. it? What was it? Four plus ten. Half. Should we first? Uh, well, I've just made an offer. Yeah. Um, so, anyone keen on a ten DBZ tower claim? I'll give you all that. Oh yeah. Ten claim in the DBZ tower, and you get That's this. Yeah. And you get a spin on the wheel, obviously. You know what? I'll chuck in another Pokemon comic. Ten claimer. I'm paying you guys, man. And we've just added some fresh hits to the wheel for the DBZ tower. Don't forget, take advantage of that. I'll chuck in another comic, Krusty. Matt Sin's thinking, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm getting shivers. Does it hurt, Matty Sin? Let us know. Grandos will take it. Take me to the moon. Let me play. Well, the guys only got two spins. How can we quickly spin in before? Uh, uh, have we boosted up the wheel? Uh, KJ has or is about to. Have you done it? Uh, can you start with Three. Oh, look at these old school scorecards. Oh, this is a nice mix. This one, Pokemon. Four. Oh, oh, I love dude. that Goku. How five. good do Dragon Ball heroes look? Yeah. Remember my heels like that? Six. I do though. Pokemon is giving some great stuff yeah. today, says Mark Howden. I love you, Mark Howden. I just tuned in and I'm thinking. Are you thinking, Bishoy? Thinking about it now. Good for you, man. Mark Howden has the has the has the Lord of the Ring. I'm ne I'm never gonna let Mark Howden live it down that I gave him a graded Lord of the Rings VHS. I just, ga I just gave it in. I said, Mark, yeah. I like your style, brother. Thank you, brother. That uh, was for Grandles for a tank claim. What's that? That's just, I think that's just... Claim 15 spots in the DBZ tower. I'll give you this Gem Mint Zard. A number one comic. Oh, Electric man. Boogaloo. Fresh 15 claimer. Oh, man. And the number two. Oh, man. Oh, tell you what. Tell you what. Claim a 20 spot. Oh, this is absolutely absurd. Look at me go. Claim a 25 spot. You're going to get one, two, three, four, first four comics, 
And a gem mint Zard for a 30 claim. There you go, who's taking that? Actually, make it a 25. I'll go a 25. Thanks, Mark. The Lord of the Rings arrived today. How do you know, Matty Sim? Do you live with Mark Howden? I think they're from the same state. So they could be neighbours. How do you know that, you stalker? They're both from Queensland. <laughs> How does that make me a stalker? I know what. How do you know what state people live in? Well, because Matty Sin, I've known him for a while, and so I'll, and, I, and I'll I work that. I tell you where he lives. Well, I don't know where he lives. I know what state. So I've I've located what corner of the country he's in. I bet. Like, <laughs> you're making it sound like I know where he lives, like the exact suburb, street, and number house. I'm not. I don't know that much. Same state, me and Mark chat. There you go. Okay. And, uh, and Mark, does it display well? Are you, is, it, is it your precious? Let me know. Come on, 30 claimer. Gem Minzard Dude, and a pristine seriously, squirtle. Seriously. Gem Minzard and a pristine squirtle. 30 claimer. Wow, what's, got, what's happening today all yeah, day? They're cray cray. What is happening? You can tell I'm trying to get tomorrow off, aren't you? How do you get tomorrow off, though? I've got to, I've got to move this, just, just this, this last little bit of this DBZ tower. All right, guys. And I'm going to right, off. right in, the, in the comment section. Hashtag claim. I'll chuck in five. For I'll off. chuck in five spins in this deal as well. Comment section, right? Hashtag claim for on's day off. And will this be your first day off in how long? Seven years. Seven years. Hashtag claim. In caps, no, nah, in caps, it's got to be in caps, KJ. Pokey done said if I, if I, if I, if these segments all go nice tonight, I don't have to spend some more with the Royd. Oh, so the Royd will still be here? The Royd will still be here. Rightio. So the viewers will be flying first class with the Royd? Yes. And I will be well and truly on the ground. Yeah. Take me to the moon. Claim for Ron's day off. So what is it, 30 spots? 30 spots. For four comics. Four comics, one, two, three, four. A gem mint zard, a pristine squirtle, and five spins at the wheel. Oh, dude. Well, let's write the five spins. Take Ron to the moon. How'd you feel when um, Braden took down the Ace from Space? I felt mixed emotions, I won't lie. I was happy for the Brazilla. Yeah. But then you thought about yourself. Like, then you thought, how about my own personal situation? Right. And I'm less happy about that. And ultimately, you know, for the viewers to eat, we have to starve. Yeah, that's and, true. And for us to eat, the viewers have to starve. So, it's, it, it's, it's a... It's a back and forth. It's a back and forth. Yeah. No one's keen. Oh man, I'm, I'm in a dangerous mood. I cannot be bothered. <laughs> You're meant to think that, not say it. I can't be. Actually, nah. No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, but make it for the rest, bro. Isn't it like 40 spots left? What did I say for this? 30? Yeah, yeah, go 40. Yeah, Bump, up to 40. Bump it up to uh, 40. Bump it up to 40. Leave it at 30. Leave it at 30. Leave it at 30 for them. They're all swines. And there's fresh hits on the wheel, guys. Fresh hits on the wheel. Once this moves... All right, one minute timer or we're going to pull right spins. Yeah, that's right. Chuck it on, KJ. Hey, how much was that food? Unbelievable. Really? You enjoyed it? Mm. Well, you didn't say thanks. Sorry. Sorry for what? Sorry for not saying thank you. Thank you for saying sorry. Guys, the Rons chucked some serious vote. Four raw comics, a pristine 10 old maid squirtle, a gem mint V star Zard, and he's, all chuck and he's also chucked in Asanji. Alright, we are going to do poorly spins. Alright. No worries. P to the W. Why don't we just like... 
Why don't we just go my flavour? Rob, what's your flavour, mate? <laughs> um We'll duck race all the items. Mm. And we'll go the um no, no, first that. single three, five, ten and twenty climber. Get right. a certain we're amount we're of duck. We'll cut to a quick break, we right. come back and do poor rice. Alright, alright. Um, hey guys, uh, today we are currently um, uh, at the chicken coop. Uh, I know I know it's been a long awaited time um, until you guys have actually seen it, but um, I'm, I'm basically going to show you me feeding a couple of the chickens. Um, McGuig isn't here today, but I'll, um, I'll show you the couple of the others. So um, uh, that one that one right there uh, is, is Gary and, and that one over there is Harry. And, and there's another one that's run away and I don't know where he is. But I think I think that's Stephen. But we'll, we'll we'll feed a couple of them now. This is really good chicken food. All right, it's Paulie Wright's moment Let's of go. truth. Let's go. Let's go. Look here, on. Yeah. If I hit too much, that doesn't mean I'll have to go on the chicken coop anymore, does it? No, 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 no. I think we're gonna get rid of the chicken coop. Good idea, Poke your on. No, I mean, no, no, no. Don't get rid of the, don't get rid of the chicken coop. Don't get rid of the chicken coop. Don't you dare. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. It needs to stay there because it gives us eggs every morning and therefore I don't have to run down to the bloody coals and get eggs every morning. How long do you need, KJ? Alright. So how does the, how does the, how does McGuig produce a shell for an egg? How, how does McGuig's body produce an egg? Like the, the outer uh -huh. layer. It obviously is some sort of liquid that becomes, that hardens. Yeah. So it must start as a liquid. Yeah. Um, and then over time, something is formed within that liquid that becomes hard, and that's the egg. Now, I haven't given you the most scientific explanation, but oh, that's pretty scientific. It's all you're going to get, Pokey on. Was that two twenty ones? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Two twenty ones. All right. What's number? Th so we're doing four spins. Yeah. All right. Life really is a miracle, isn't it? All day. Yeah. Do you know what no. Testro told me yesterday? What? You know the dinosaurs? Yeah. No, you don't know the dinosaurs. You weren't alive when they were around. I know you're old, but you're not yeah. that old. Yeah. So you know of the dinosaurs. Yeah. Right? He said that, you know how we say, oh, oh my, my God. <laughs> yes. Um, what was I going to say? 71. Um, you know how um, they say that the dinosaurs died? Like, you know how the dinosaurs died? That's why yeah. I'm not here anymore. Yeah. Like, do you assume that they died like over a few thousand years? They just sort of died off slowly. Well, I One piece wasn't it a wasn't it a meteor or some shit? Yes. Yeah. So I, I I assumed that they died like in one foul swoop. Oh, did you really? Well, not not one foul swoop, but maybe over the course of a few months or a year or something like. Yeah. Okay. But what, what did Tesla say? Well, they say that every single living organism on the planet died within about an hour. Really? Yeah. That is scary. Cause that yeah. that what? Why the would only, we? Why would we be immune from that kind the, of? The only well, we certainly not immune because the temperature on Earth reached twelve hundred degrees for two weeks. 
Yeah, we ain't we ain't lasting too long there. Yeah, we're effectively. I'll be I'll be, I'll be sitting in the shower. Yeah. With the cold water running. Yeah. Uh, inside, in, inside, in out. What? I'm just waiting because Paul just won a one piece play. Oh, did you start spinning already? Yeah, I spun once. And what do you win? A one piece play. A one piece plate. Is that these? Oh, uh, is that one of them plates with one piece character on it? Yes. Yeah. Right here. Nice. There you go, Paul. It's for you, brother. Well done. First spin. Let's go, KJ. One out of one. He's got 71. So, ultimately, they died. Can I talk to all day? Can you count these on your own, KJ? 69. Because all, all day, I'm trying to talk to him about the dinosaurs. He's looking at the screen. He's trying to count. 68. Can you count? Yeah, I'll get, yeah do this. 67. Anyway. So, the dinosaurs, yeah? Yeah. So, basically, the only organisms that live when the, when, so the meteor hit yeah when the meteor hit the oh, earth yeah. all these like when it when it hit the earth the impact yeah caused, and, and it creates heat caused all of these rocks and debris to fly into our atmosphere atmosphere yeah and have you ever seen in a movie where they where the, where the astronauts are coming back through to our atmosphere it, and you can it, see it, them it bursts into flames yeah so all the rocks that went up into the stratosphere all burst into flames at the same time. Yeah. And it made the temperature on Earth, they reckon, about 1,200 degrees. Really? And everything on Earth died within... Wait, hold on. Celsius or Fahrenheit? Uh, I believe it was... Fahrenheit. Jackpot! Oh, Paul Wright! <laughs> Paul Wright with the jackpot now, guys. Let's go spin it. Get I want this spun right now. You don't want any go. luck. You don't want any I've luck. I've already lost an ace today. Spin it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Not in your pack. Not in your pack. Oh, God. I thought I said, what's your pack? Oh, oh thank God. We did load up the oh, wheel, Paul Wright. God. We did, brother. The, oh, God. Here, give him two. The DBZ stuff is here, on there. Give the man two. All right, here give we go. Give the man two on your pack. There you go. Two there we go. for the price of one. There we go. Paul Wright. Oh, man. Oh, God. Yeah, see, so you're saying, Pokemon, so the rocks going into the yep, atmosphere. They all uh, burst into flames at the same time. Yep. The Earth's temperature goes up to 1,200 degrees. Yep. Everything on Earth's surface is, on fire. is dead on yep. fire, literally. Yeah. And they can they can see underground Jesus that everywhere God. on Earth oh, has fantasy. scorched Earth at exactly the same point under the ground. Right. If you keep going down, 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 doesn't matter whether you're in China. Yeah. Whether you're in Australia. Yeah. The, there's scorched Earth. Yeah. Quick. What do you? What's owed, KJ? Final Fantasy pack. Final Fantasy pack. The only animals that survived yep. were the animals that were 50 meters underwater. Really? And that's why the crocodiles... Even, even lakes and shit boiled. Yeah. So you have to be a deep Boiled. ocean... De deep ocean, like turtles, sharks, crocodiles, Three. things some things like that survived. I didn't know crocodiles go that deep, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, maybe not. But the crocodiles certainly survived because they've been around for like 150 wow. million years. Yeah. So some of them survived. Yeah. Whales... That was it. It's really? Yeah. And that was because of a meteor? Yes. And at least you know if a meteor hits. Apparently the meteor was about a third the size of America. 40 days. It's not that big. Oh, yeah. big, yeah, it but it's not big. that big. Exactly. Like you're thinking if it hit it, was, it wasn't the meteor place. that did it. It yeah. was the debris. Yeah. That went up to the atmosphere that brought the temperature up. It was heat. Yeah. So what would 1200 like degrees Fahrenheit be? Doesn't really matter. I was, I was being... Um, I was being. I think you got a good point though, because I think it is like a third. It'd be like four hundred degrees yeah, instead of still, still ridiculous. Still, it's hot. uh, it's hot poke. You're on. You ain't wearing it. You ain't wearing a hoodie. <laughs> well, 
What KJ? One piece plate. Oh, he's having dinner for six. There you go. Just leave it on there, yeah. Seven. Yeah, that's eight. crazy. Yeah, that's what they reckon. That's what Testro told me. I don't know if I've got any... It's, no, it sounds... I've heard something similar to that. I, don't, I didn't know the specifics, but I knew that... Digger. The heat from the meteor hitting the Earth. Digger first, Ed. Say it again. Digger. Digger. Take me to what are we? Oh, sorry, we're talking pinky mans, aren't we? Pete to the W. First day trainer. All right, yes. Oh, is it? oh yes! <laughs> Maybe to sp maybe to spare him at KJ. He That's did he did say that this kills him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sorry, Paul. Come on. I'm sorry, Paul. Well done, Paul. I thought hit in the best spot on the wheel. I thought it was Uncle. He did. Sorry, Uncle Paul. Well done in hitting the best spot on the wheel. It's probably even better than the jackpot as you can imagine. Um, and all they didn't remember to do it last time to write Rogan's name on my head, but I'll also write your name on my face, and I'll try and do it myself. Are you ready? I'm going to try and write Paul Wright's name on my face by myself. Hold on, let me zoom in. Okay. Better, hey, oh, don't look at the screen, though. I guarantee one thing, Paul, they're better than a zero, brother. It looks like a backward nine. Not bad. Paul! I don't know how you did that. I like it, KJ. That, that's from the heart. Yeah, that was good. Thanks. That's, that's from the heart. I that made up for his menu packs. Yeah. 43. 42. 45. Oh, not far off. Pokey League pack. Pokey League pack. Oh, yeah. Pokey League pack. For Paul Wright. Except he missed the uncle part. I don't know how many times we're going to tell him, Matty. I don't know how many times we're going to tell KJ. 40. 39. 35 Booster box Yeah Paul Wright That's coming to you brother Rise of the Unison Warrior How many spins left KJ? 35 35 huh? 35 eh? 34 I just hit a new level of um, Complete dyslexia I was going to say... Still 34. Yeah, what? I meant to hit I, and I hit exclamation mark. The upside down 32. I. <laughs> What's the deal on the table there all day? 31. 40 spots, Rogan, and you can take down everything on the table. So yeah, you've got four raw comics. You've got yourself a Sanji. Is that a rookie? I know it's uh, 05. 25. And you've got yourself a pristine 10 Squirtle Old Maid and a Gem Mint V Star Zard. You can have Shout them. Shout out from Pokeron. Shout out from the Pokeron. Give him two more. Give two him. More. Give. Give him three more. Come what on, grade boy. is the Sanji? It is a. 26. It's an eight. Still 26. And because it's Rogan Pokemon for the last 45. 40 spots, can I give him like a... 
A Wheel of Fortune? You can have a Wheel of Fortune, Rogan, on the last 40 spots. Wow, okay. 23. 22. Come on, Paul. 21. Get him another jackpot, Cage. Get him another shot. 20. 19, 18, 17. Come on, KJ, deliver, man. 16. I'm, I'm, oh yeah, KJ, so one piece chain. One piece chain. Listen, that's these, KJ. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. There you go, Paulie. One piece coming to you, brother. Okay, Joe. Yeah. Ten. Deliver for Paul. Uncle Paul. Nine. Uncle Paul, that's right. <gasps> oh. oh. I'm very glad it Eight. wasn't KJ shout out. Yeah, that would get annoying. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Two, final spin. All right. Well, that was a rather um, anticlimactic end, KJ. So, but but we've but we've got a few booster boxes. We've got the one piece chain. We've got the league promos. It looks like there's about twenty raw cards in there for Paul. And I'm guessing they would be uh, great, very gradable. First Dead Digger. And I don't know what these are, KJ, but a little bit more One Piece Paraphernalia. All right. As well as the booster box. Rogan player. and the booster box too. Rogan, hmm, if it was a bit more, maybe. If it was a bit more, if maybe. If it was a bit more expensive, I'd charge you an extra 100 bucks. <laughs> don't forget, there's five spins, plus we're giving you a Wheel of Fortune, Rogan, um, for 40 which we're only doing that because it's the last 40. Now that offer is open to anyone, but you inquired, so obviously you can be the first one to take that. If someone else would like to, um, they can do so. Wheel seemed light on. Well, you were the first person on the DBZ tower, wasn't you? And with this, there are, yeah, there are still some. You DB were the first one to spin it, brother. So it just got updated before you. And there are. Before you made your claims. And there are leftovers from the uh, Pokemon Tower, as still well as yeah. as well as the Dragon Ball. I think so, you actually hit when I saw those Pokemon cards. Yeah. Sammy Sinclair says, "Nice." Take run to the moon. All right, last 40 spots in the Dragon Ball Tower. Five free spins. Actually, I'm taking that away. If there's a Wheel of Fortune, why would we give the five? That's cray-cray. Uh, can we um, go to a quick break? One pound fish? Mm -hmm. Come on, ladies, come on, ladies. One pound fish. Come on, ladies, come on.
dokie Grandles with one spin. Here we go, brother. All right, let's go. Couple Two of ducks. ducks in the next duck race. Take run to the moon. What's this? What's this? Anyone keen on a couple of gold rares? Holy. Brogzilla and the Dorzilla. Door Daddy and Brogzilla. Now Rogan's keen. Now Rogan's smiling. <laughs> Boodaisy. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Armon. Pay you off 300 a week. But boo daisy. What, till you're 106? Okay. Shit, someone make me an offer, man. Gold rare nines. I'm looking for around three grand each. Silver rare ten. I'm looking for... 1800. I've got the Armong and the Mong Krieg. Rogan, what's a go? Someone wants all of it. 5500. Oh, 5500 for those two. You'll give it him. And 3600 for these two. How much is that? 3,600 plus what? 5,500. 9,100. 9,100, but I'll tell you what, we'll call it 900, 9,090. Yeah. Done. Done. Who's thinking? Jeff Coons? No. <laughs> Emmanuel Aravanas. Thinking. Does it hurt? If you're gonna... Guys, if you're thinking about thinking, take a Panadol before you start thinking. Yeah. That way you'll get through a few thoughts before the pain kicks in. Mm, you know, um, every second, oh, you poor thing. Stop, EA. Either claim or just don't claim. Either claim or just don't claim, for God's sake. You can't live in this misery. Um, what was I going to say? I, th I believe it was Henry Ford who said... Thinking is the most difficult of tasks. That's why so few people participate in it. So he said. Yeah. <laughs> like that one all day. I do. Who said that? Henry Ford. Henry Ford. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's dangerous, Bishoy. Stephen, Stephen Hawking has a quote about um, thoughts. What is it? If you think nothing but thoughts, yeah. then your thoughts... Man, how do you think something other than a thought? Maybe check it. Maybe check it. Okay, dude. Double check it. Make sure you know. Yeah. Mong Krieg. Armong. Brogzilla and Do and Door Daddy. And Door Daddy, was that gold embossed? They're all got, they're gold rares. They're single? gold rares. Both of them are. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't see. And they're silver rares. Silver. I didn't see Brogy. Sure, he said have to stop thinking and cause the headache. Yeah, I know. 
Pull up off. They're not buying on Pokemon. They don't have the dash for it. They probably don't even have the cash for it. Well, I've probably sold... I've sold quite a few... Let's move these comics. No one wants this. Let's focus on the claims. Let's uh, move those. Just move it to the side for now. What about this? Yep, just move it all to the side. All that. All that. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to sound like a pig, but... Am I famous? That's the building. What? So I want to be one of those people that like, you know how those people that are really famous and they just totally like just say they hate it. Yeah. yeah that's what I want to be. Okay. I like I want to get really famous and then just say, God, this fame sucks, man. I wish I still had my anonymity. I don't want a widowity. Anonymity. I don't want a widowity. Don't worry, KJ. Fair enough. Matt Sin the most famous guy I know, and I've hung around with Skrillex. Hey, didn't really? He, didn't he do the music for um, Topic's favorite movie? Sure. Spring Breakers? Is the number for Lube Mobile? Tell me, I'll give you a free spot in the Dragon Ball Z Tower. Lube Mobile, the ad. <laughs> they fixed the car. Yeah, how many spots would be left in this DBZ tower? Yeah, I think Maddie Sin's right. No, I don't think that's right. No, I'm at thir 13, 13. Is Maddie Sin right? I've got a feeling it is because I remember the jingle. Why is it taking so long? I'm just I'm just checking. I'm gonna write down. Oh, now it's announced. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's different now. I reckon it's this. Just look up the old ad on YouTube. I'm talking about the old number. Oh, it's yeah. that. He's close, but he's one number off. I don't know, Maddie, Maddie Sin's answer resonates with me. No. Damn it, he's right. I thought it was 13, 13, 32. No. Not 13, see 30, what, 32. See what thinking can do, Pogger? Yeah, I know. Give him a free spot in the DBZ tower. Grab him one. Maddie Sin? Yeah. There we go for Sinzilla. Give him another one. Go on. For Sinzilla. He's a sinner, dude. We love him. We there do. If you don't know the number, you're not Spin Australian. Spin the wheel for Sinny. Come on. Spin the wheel for him. Let's see, if, let's see what he's made of. They fixed the car. No, oh, he's, no, he's, he's not made of nothing. All right. Um, who's keen on a Legends race? How many spots would be left in this tower, Pokemon? There's about... 39. Just, uh, yeah, just under 40. Would anyone be interested in a KJ deal where I go to, like, Pokemon's draw and just pull out what I want? Or just uh, just be quick. No, no, no one's... Nah, go on. Hey. Rogan says, me, I'm keen. Oh, I think he's keen for the Legends board. But uh, probably might uh, be keen for both. Who was... KJ, who was, who was in contention for the Legends board last night? 
Braden. Well, Jack David Buda came the closest. Jack David Buda came down to him and won nothing. And lost. And him lost. and won nothing. He went against yeah. 60 nothings and then came down to the final one. In the so game. he's done like 58 races. 58 yeah. races and he survived all of them. Came down to the final one, 50-50, lost it. What a choker. Yeah. Who was that? Jack David Buda. And Jack I called David him Buda. The start. Oh, he, he, we he, had this new bloke, Braden. Was he here before? He'll have a couple of weeks. Uh, Braden's Braden, been here. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I'm going to be a legend, I'm going to be a legend. Yeah. And then... Ultimately, he didn't last very long. Yeah. And I said from the start, I said, no, nah, Jack David Boot is all right. I thought you said it was a free gold rare. Oh, sorry, Matty, I've changed my mind. Um, so, that's getting really annoying, dude. I don't know, that is very unpleasant for the viewers. I mean... Wow. Does that have to be done right at this minute? Yeah, I reckon go grab a go grab a piece, KJ. Let's move this last forty spots in the Dragon Ball. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Maddie says fair call. And he wasn't talking about your call, KJ. That's 13, 13, 32. You blokes want something from a shop? <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit food. Again. Hey, KJ, I've got an idea for you. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, just quickly. Show them, KJ. Look, look at this here. Can I see him? KJ, where are you? KJ. KJ. Yeah. Poke your head through the hole. Like a mullet glory hole. Yeah. What are you doing back there? Just sorting people's postage. Don't stuff up any of those boxes. Mm. You haven't got my wig back there, have you? No. Promise. Promise. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want me to do? I want you to go through... Oh, God, are you going to stuff it up? No. I want you to go through my drawers. Uh-huh. And, oh, but you know, I've got to get your brother to do it. You're not really qualified. Yeah. I was going to say, go through my drawers and pull out every card that you think is worthy to be on the jackpot wheel. All your drawers? Yeah. Any card that's worthy? Just start at the top drawer. So most of the cards? Yeah. Every card? No, nah, not every card. Not every card. <laughs> Ouch, my face. <laughs> How long do you want this to take me, Pokemon? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I should get your brother to do it, mate. It's going to take me a long time yeah. now. Just grab something, KJ, for the for anyone who might want to claim the rest of the Dragon Ball. I'll tell you what, I'll give you this Metroid. For what? For the rest of the Dragon Ball. Yeah, it's got a little crack in it, but it's pretty cool. Let's go. All right. The Metroid guys, there's a small crack in the corner of the of the uh, thing, so it's a little bit worse for wear, but still good. Claim 40 in the DVZ tower, you can have it. This put back. Thanks, Russ. It is a. Yeah, from 1991. Oh my god, I'm going to match all more often. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> you're alright, KJ. I don't care what anyone says. Really? Yeah. yeah. You're alright too, Pokegirl. Thanks. That's alright. Who's keen on a few cheaper One Piece claims? Rookie Luffy, 250 bucks. Passage to the Grand Line, Gem Mint 10, 250. Zoro, 250. 
Assorted holographics. Three fifty a pop. Six hundred for both. Axe hand Morgan and Patty. Oh my god, look at this for a little set. Vintage Nami, Luffy, and Zoro. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm good. We might just pack it up. What do you reckon, Fizz Whizzle? I love the, this last bit of the Dragon Ball to move, though. Because I'm doing that, I'm just looking at it saying, we'll get it. You're Don't with worry. me. You're with me Don't when you should be with someone else. We're going to move that. Don't worry about that. So, so no one Any, a KJ special for it. Um, anyone keen on anything off the video easy wall? Yu-Gi-Oh! Street Fighter, The Dark Knight, Clockwork Orange, Sailor Moon, Mario Kart 8, Rushmore, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, The Mask, Lord of the Rings, Mark Howden. 007, The Avengers, Lego. Metal Gear Solid, Gun on GameCube, Captain Planet Episode 1, Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, the first legitimate Marvel film, Sims 2 9.8, Dragon Ball GT, Ikari Warriors, F1 Formula 1, Game of Thrones on the Xbox 360, Pulp Fiction, and Batman Arkham Asylum. It is the Fellowship of the Ring, brother. I'll claim 40 for the two hollow one piece. Is that... Uh, uh, something tells me... Probably can't do that because I was after... Um, I was after 350 each on them. Sailor Moon could get me some up late with the wife. What's the Atari game? The Atari game is Ikari Warriors... On the Atari 2600. Put that one in there too. Fair enough. Joshy Grandles. Or you could just get three fellowships. Shit, get five fellowships. All right, we're packing it up, guys. We're done. It's 9.30, man. Send you home all day. I like retro, house, and techno. Last 40 on the DBZ tower, I'll give you a Wheel of Fortune and a choice between the PSA 10 Dale or the PSA 10 X Factor versus Apocalypse. CGC 10 X-Men versus Apocalypse or the PSA 10 Dale. Turn okay. me to and a Wheel of Fortune. I think it's like 38 too, Pokemon. And you only got to claim 38, not 50. One of you sludge bucket McGwigs are going to claim it soon, I know it. Just give me the two hollows. Or just give me 700. Hey, all day, can I borrow 700? Yeah. Thanks. How much can I borrow off you, um, KJ? 20. 20 grand? Yeah. Nah, 20 bucks. You only got 20 bucks? 38 spots, buddy. What have you been doing with all the money I've been paying you? Um. When all the money you've been getting off the Pokedot? Food. How much you been eating? About four meals a day. What, all from Uber Eats? Yeah. Well, mate, that's probably going to cost you 200 bucks a day. It does. You're an idiot. Why don't you just eat McGuig and save 200? You might get two meals out of him. No. 
That's messed up, Pokemon. Alright. Put these away. See you guys. Um, just one thing, uh, a couple things before we go, guys. Um, of course, we have the All Claimers race, but not only that, uh, I'll drop the link for our new group chat that we just made today. Uh, once again, so if you haven't joined it already, um, join it now. Um, I'll copy it one more time, guys. This is our community group chat, so if you want any exclusive updates and that sort of stuff, um, this is it right here. So just click that link I've just sent through now. Um, and you'll join it up, and uh, yeah. Four Pokemon comics, two Gem Mint 10s. Who's King? And a Wheel of Fortune for a 38 DBZ claimer. Okay. Last chance at some would you say spins wise? Spins wise, I'm giving a wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. So last wheel of fortune. And I'll of give the you the night. Metroid. Oh wow. <laughs> Just you can slow down now. That's I'll that's... give you the Metroid, the two four? tens, the four comics, and a wheel of fortune. For what? For, for thirty-eight, 38 spots in the. Oh, that's stupid. Jeez. I thought you were saying like more like a hundred numbers. I was like, there's no way you got that. <gasps> <laughs> Is Rogan still going on about these hollows? Oh, can you shut him up? Rogan, you gotta bring the cash. Make for me an offer, Rogan. I'll look after you. Offer for the hollows. Everyone join the group chat. We're going to get hectic. Shit is going to be heckers, man. What's the rules, Pokemon? No shoes, no socks? Yeah. No, I'm going all day. I've got enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing. What are you laughing at? What, the fact that I said I'm going? Yeah. Is something yeah. funny about that? No. Oh, I'll just get the phone. You're gonna be you're gonna be talking on the stream in an hour's time still, or well, something something weird <laughs> something weird's gonna happen. You're gonna sell uh, like another ten thousand worth of one piece, or I don't know something odd is gonna happen. I don't believe that for a second. You don't That's, believe I'm going? No. Oh, right, I'll see you later. Dylan Boudet, just feet only. <laughs> Why would you do that? Something? Why would there be a stupid rule like that? Sarah J in the house? What's going on? Oh, Sarah J, it's about time. I've been stuck with these slime breath of repulsions. And, and I think, it, I will say tonight's stream has been very non-female dominated. I'm not going to say male, because some of these males might not identify as males. I guarantee some of them don't. Yeah. Um, but it's refreshing to, wanna, to have one of our favourite Nido Queens in Sarah J join us. Yeah. All day, Sarah J. Please don't go away. Yeah, tonight I've only seen Sarah J and Rebecca Catton, I think, from memory. The girls do b liven up the stream, I will say. Yeah. Where's the Rach Kellys? Um, oh, I told Rach Kelly to piss off. Did you? Yeah. Really? She got a bit me, me, me. Oh, but the, the Nano Queens are all about that, though. They're yeah. never about you, you, you. What, what do you mean? Nano Queens? Aren't they? Very rarely are they about you, you, you. Really? Yeah. That's why when you find a Nido Queen, it's about you, you, you. You gotta put a ring on it, don't you? Yeah. That's true. Um, What's the graded book, Bishoy? It is the prize you will get, my friend, if you claim 38 spots in the Dragon Ball Tower. Do you want to do this whole claim race now, Pokemon? Have you got any spins you need to do, KJ, or... or all claims race, that's it. Well, we should wait, because... What did Sarah J say? And when they are about you, 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 it's because we want something. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And it's not permanent. The, 
I'm about you, you, you. Ah, it's temporary. So once you've got them being you, 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 because they want something, just don't ever give them what they want. Just hang it over their head like a carrot. That's right. And it will always be you, you, you. Exactly right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finn the Warrior Wilson. G'day, boys. Finno! Finn! The Warrior. What's cracking, brother? Have you met Finn KJ? Uh, yeah, a couple times. He's yeah. a legend, man. Yeah. He is. He's been, uh, he's been, he's been, he's been I've got a TikTok starter poker and he's been helping me out with it. Really? Yeah. So he's quite intellectually sa- stable? Intellectually stable and intellectually advanced. Yeah. But if you want to give me a... Uh, you don't mind if I plug my uh, TikTok to your Pokemon? Oh, go on then. All right. I do have a grand total of 19 followers. I've uh, hey, been dropping a little bit of content lately, you, boys. Um, follow me on TikTok, all day Matty J. For AFL content. How? All day, every day. Good. Jump on board, guys. Yeah, good thing, Sarah. It's just all day, Matty J. Matty Sin, you're a legend, brother. You'll be my 20th follower. And I might do a big giveaway for like the 50 followers when we get there. I don't know. Tell them you'll do a big giveaway at 50,000 followers. Oh, yeah. And they'll tell all their friends. Yeah. Trust me. Matty Sin, just look at that. Look how quick he just started following me. Legend. Legend. We'll give him another spot in the DBZ tower. Go. Done. Done. Matty Sin, that's for you, brother. Thank you very much. How's the Chooks, KJ? Says, uh, all day Sarah J. Treat them mean, keep them keen. Yes. Treat them mean, keep them keen. So is that how uh, Walshy won you over, all day Sarah J? Whereas I picture Walshy as a bit of a sweetheart, personally. I can't I can't picture Walshy cracking the whip, just treating Sarah J mean in order to keep her keen. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I reckon... Well, she's a genuinely good bloke. Tell, uh, us, tell us about your first date with Walshy, Sarah J. She goes, yeah, he sucks. But nah. I think she, see, uh, see, the thing is with Sarah J, I, th- I think she makes out like her love for Walshy is kind of like not that strong, yeah. but it's really strong. She doesn't want to show so it. Because then... Because she's treating yes, him mean, keeping him keen. Correct. But she actually wow. adores... Wow. I believe she adores Walt. She like... Wow. I reckon all day Sarah J kisses the ground that he walks on. Wow. But... They're my favourite couple. But maybe like to us, she's a bit like, yeah, I treat Walt she mean so I can keep him keen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't so know all day. Behind the facade, you've got true Nito Queen. Well, I think behind the facade, I, I, I think, think, I think it's walkie. true love. Yeah. John King. Shit. What's going on here? Any relation to Joe? Did I miss it? <laughs> Any relation to Joe? Joe, Joe King. Adam McCarthy, I'll fix it. Oh, my bill now. KJ, can you send it? Joe King. Or Don? Yeah. Don King. Or Rodney? Rodney King. Ha ha ha. Gotta keep him around somehow. True love? Um. Ah, my shoulder. Ow. What happened? What happened? Oh, uh, my collarbone. Oh, no, Pokey. I went on a walk today. Now my collarbone. How do you hurts. hurt your collarbone on a walk? I don't know. I don't know. Did I tell you about the big brown snake I found? Did you see one? Yeah. Where? I've got a video of it. What, today? Nah. But on your walk? Yeah. I'm never, I'm never doing it again. And you thought I was crazy. I told you like three times I saw one. Yeah, look. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah right all day. How far from the path are you? Like, how far from the path? path. It was literally a half on the path, half not. Can you show me it again? You can't. I think it it was off the path by the time I started filming. But now that's heading towards the shrub, away from the... Like, that's heading... Yeah. Who were you with? You on your own? On my own. With headphones on. Oh, did you turn around straight away? Yes. Sarah J, what if I bite? What, what if I get bit by that? Yeah, what do you do? Well, 
True love starts in mysterious ways sometimes, Sarah J. You, you just never know what little surprise is going to lead to a great couple and a great situation with Pip and, uh, and Walshy. But um, you really are a power couple. And, um, and I think you should have your own TV show. I'd watch. Yeah. I'd watch. Keeping up with the Jays. Tie something really tight above the bite, yeah. And do you elevate the leg? No. It's hard to do that while walking, but I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> just picturing you, just picturing you like this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got a friend in Walshy, Sarah J. You got a friend in Walshy. Uh, is it true that you're still using the colour-coded sticker system to determine who owns what collectibles? So if you ever do decide to break up, it's a quick and easy separation. So if you get bitten by a snake all day, Sarah J, don't move. Okay. No, no, no. You have to move. If I'm in the sticks, what am I going to do? No, but she's saying, like, look at that. You'll circulate back to the heart. So you just I know, but what am I going to do? If I lay where I am, it's going to take so much longer to be found. Where, how am I going to do it? Hey, all day, I'm halfway between Spidey and... Um, and halfway the, between uh, Mildura and Exactly, Robinbar. I'm just going to lay here. Uh, if you're in a spot where you can't even get a car there, you have to walk slowly to the nearest road and then call everyone you know. She said, no, don't walk, it'll circulate back to the heart. Yeah, I know, but if you're in a spot, if you're right next to a road, yes, don't walk. That'd be a horrible way to go snake bite. Oh. Yeah. But if you're out on a walk somewhere, you need to get to a spot where people can... Get to you. So you have to walk. You have to walk to a spot where you can be picked up, surely. Yeah. I don't know. And when I seen it, headphones on, dude. Yeah. And it didn't give a shit about me. But you weren't close enough where... No, it knew I was there. Yeah, it knew you were there, but you weren't, you weren't getting in its personal space. I was pretty close to it. I know, but what I'm saying is, did it, for any moment, go towards you or feel threatened? No. Exactly. But that was what concerned me because I was pretty close to it. So I'm thinking, if I'm this close to you and you don't give a shit to the point where you're slithering, barely moving, yeah, but having to think, that not even really looking at me, but just like pissing but they're, off. But they're pretty, like, you see, like, what, watch a snake catch all. It's like we seen one a few weeks ago, me and KJ, and it was as far as the eye could see and it just slithered off the path 150 metres in front of us. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's cool. That doesn't scare me because I'm thinking... They've got super. Oh, so when you were, it was just on the path yes, as you got towards yes. it. Yes. And how close were Dude, you? Dude, I was moved away? five meters away, seven meters away. Really? Like it was, like I could have easily. So you just like were walking, and you just like. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Well, I was going for a run with Topic, and we were going <laughs> up the steps, and it was literally just sitting on there, and we both we basically both ran up, jumped over it. Like he didn't see it, but it was like curled up. Yeah. And I was like huffing and puffing. I was struggling my way up. So like I can see it, but it's too late to slow down. I'm just going to keep going. And I've just tried to veer to the right as far across. I've nearly went onto like the rocks. Yeah. And Toby's just still going. I'm just like, brother, you just nearly, we both nearly stepped on. I think it was a tiger snake. A little bit different to the brown. But the eastern browns, I think they're the worst Pokemon. You yeah. get bitten by them. You can nearly... Your you blood can... instantly starts thickening up. You're in, you're in all sorts. You're in all sorts. I believe you need to be seen to within... 30 How long minutes. would it... Yeah, 15 to 30 minutes, something like that. And if it's 30, you're, you're sort of... Catch and go. You're hopeful at best. Yeah. Be a horrible way to go. That's why I thought. No more spiders for yeah. me, mate. Actually... I, I said years ago. You yeah. all thought I was being a bit of a... Yeah. Bit of a... Bit of a softy. But... Like you said, what got me was the fact that you can just spring up on it, yeah. and and there, and that's a very like normal. A lot of kids would ride their bikes through there, like, and they're they're just everywhere. Yeah, and then I went up to some girl, and I said, and she had her dog just running around right near where I just seen it. Yeah, and I said like, hey, I just seen a big ass brown snake. Yeah, just chilling. It wasn't like it was high tailing it out of there. Yeah, getting away from the humans. Mm. It was in its living room, so mm. to speak. Yeah. I said, it was just around here. I said, be careful with the dog. And you be careful because... Yeah. They're deadly out. And she just, oh, yeah. I just like... 
Didn't give a shit. Couldn't wait for him to get rid of me. But I think the good thing about them is they don't truly want to be near you. So if you, they know you're there and they have an opportunity to move away, they'll take that. They're yeah. not going to try and get you to move away yeah. when they're aggressive if they're cornered or if you're obviously... Yeah, you've you, stepped on yeah. You've stepped on one. Yeah, yeah so. mate, that there. Mm. How much for you to pick one of them up? Oh, no, I don't think I'd struggle. So, oh, I'd love to have the audacity to just go up and just get one. Oh, look at this. Deadly, yeah. Yeah, that, the way they do it. But you look at them, and it's just all about being calm, I guess, isn't it? And, and grab them by the neck. No. That's the key. No. Well, they grow by the tail. Uh, they grow by, by the, the tail, and they have that thing, and they're, hot, and they're controlling the head. They've got that stick thing. Surely it's better by the neck. Oh, they use themselves. it. They grow it by the neck when they um when they milk it for the venom. Yeah. But that's obviously like when they've got them in. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally never going on that mm. walk again on my own. If I mean, Cora just did it now. If I have yeah. got someone with me and we're talking, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Because we're talking, we're making a lot of noise. If I if he gets bit, I can carry him. Yeah. If I get bit, he can carry me. <laughs> and and basically. We're going to be okay, unless we get ambushed by about 20 of these things. Yeah, but they don't, they don't hunt in packs. Yeah, they don't even right. hunt. Yeah, exactly. Well, like I said, their demeanor is not to hurt. Dude. Exactly. They don't even, they just, and they don't want no trouble. Yeah. So that's the good thing about them. They've got good demeanor in that sense. Yeah. Oh, but wow. scary. Horrifying. Anyway, why don't, we, um, why don't me and you piss off and we'll just let KJ do the rest of that. Let's go. Mm. KJ here, do, do your thing too. Do you want me to move this and then do the all claim address? Yeah, done. And then rock it all up? And then end the show by myself? Yeah, done. Really? Enjoy. Really? Have Just fun. me and the viewers? Yeah. Really? Yeah, mate. Okay. See you, Sarah J. See you, viewers. Love yous. How many spots are left? Be nice on? to KJ. About 38. Is that it? 38 spots. I'm not grabbing any vintage One Piece stock Pokeron. Buy Pokeron. Ah. Ah. Hi guys. It's just me and you guys. And Pokeron and all day are gone. So which means I can give away as much stock as I want. Which is pretty cool. Um, basically, um, anyways, hey Sarah J. Um, yeah, this on my forehead says Paul Wright. Hey Maddie Sin, who else is here, man? Let's all just chill and 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 chat. Matt Sin, me, Sarah J. Who else is here? Rogan. 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 Let's do some crazy giveaways. Hell yeah. Just me and the viewers. Nathan Newson. Hey, Newson. Um, yeah. You guys enjoying your um, Wednesday night? Enjoying the stream you've had so far with All Day? Being, um, you know, the Wednesday AFL Tower. And then obviously we had the Pokemon Tower. Uh, DBZ Tower and much, much more. Um... Hey, Kerpiel. Hey, um, anyways. Um, Poker on All Day, if you guys didn't know, had this Nintendo Power Metroid uh, magazine, which is, like, really rare. And, like, we haven't seen a single other one of these ever before. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then, like, a couple of other cards here, which I can show you now. So you had this... Gem Mint 10 Marvel card. This Gem Mint 10 Disney 100 card. Four Pokemon comics. Um, I don't think these are like in a set, but you got Electric uh, Boogaloo. You got another Electric Boogaloo part three. And then part two. So, okay, so you got part one, part two, part three. And then you also got a part four from Pikachu Shocks Back. So these are all comics. Uh, raw comics that are being given away for the next 38 claimer in the DBZ Tower. A Wheel of Fortune. So it's going to cost you $380. You're going to get four Pokemon comics. A Marvel Gem Mint 10 Marvel and Pal 
uh, Series 1, so it's a rookie with Silver Surfer featured on it. You've got uh, Cyclops and a couple of other characters. I think Elect Electro. So a couple of very popular Marvel characters. And then a Disney 100 Card Fun card, as well as a magazine. So this I'd probably usually see for more like... I mean, the Metroid thing alone would probably be, be like an 80 or 100 claimer. But I guess it's not right now <laughs> for some reason. It's only a 38 claim. Um... But I guess if you guys aren't interested in these, if you are, then let me know and maybe I can sort something out for one of you guys. Um, but if Sarah J, Newson or Curfew want to get involved, I, I don't know if you like DBZ or not, but I feel like definitely Sarah J loves her One Piece. Now, th this should definitely not be the case. This is completely undervalued just because it's, it's late night. Um, I just want to do something nice. Um, no worries, Rogan. I'll, um, I'll get into contact with you soon, brother. Um, I'll just get all these... I'll just get finish off these 38 claims. I need to finish this because um, Pokemon's not coming back. He said just make sure that this gets all claimed and then it's all it's all over for the night. So we got one piece, Matty Sin. So, guys, I've got a very good deal. You've got a Nami rookie from 2005, One Piece The Quest Begins. A 2006... One Piece card that features all of the Straw Hats on it. As you can see, you got Luffy, Zoro, Usopp, Sanji, Nami, and then I don't know if I can zoom in properly here, but then you also got uh, a thing that's Vivi. So you got all the Straw Hats in one shot. Jim Drugus. No worries, Kirby. You'll see you, brother. So, a Mint Condition 2006 card, a Mint Condition Nami card, as well as a Mint Condition Luffy Rookie. Now, you got this card right here, guys, in front of you. This has got Luffy and Sanji featured on the card. You've got Nami Rookie from 2005, The One Piece The Quest Begins, as well as the 2006 Mint card. You can take down as a ridiculous final night KJ special deal for a 38 claim, a wheel of fortune where you could hit something massive on the jackpot wheel. We already hit the silver rare PSA 10 silver lettering ace. So I'm sure possibly something else could go tonight. Um, but you'll take down all three cards, 38 cards in the DBZ tower and a spin on the wheel of fortune. Guys, some, I, f I feel like in whatever months to come, these cards that we're giving away right now, we're going to look back on and we're going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe we're giving away mint condition rookie cards of these characters for these types of claims. As in, these are just too hard to get at that point. Too rare, whatever it is. Um, I think that's a pretty good claim. Tell you what, guys, if, if no one's really interested... I'll do... Ooh. I'll do a... I'll chuck this in as well. It's a little bit off topic in a way, but still a nice card. Pokemon Pristine 10 Squirtle. I'll chuck that in there. And for the next four 10 claimers, next four 10 claimers, they'll go into a duck race. So if you claim 10... I've got a couple of, um, of things, uh, Newson, um, couple of Pokemon cards, I've got a Unlimited Gyarados, PSA 10, Alakazam, PSA 10, um, a, a, a little bit of this, uh, One Piece Quest Begins and Passion to the Grand Line, I just love One Piece, so I've got a little bit of that, um, a little bit of variation in it, couple of comics, games, VHS, etc, um, but yeah, that's a nice question, Yusin. Thank you very much. What do you want for the lot? Do you have any more One Piece of Chuck in for me? Um, we've heard about everything else, everyone else's collection. Never heard about yours. Fair enough, Yusin. Yeah, I've uh, yeah I've got a couple of things, brother. Um, one or two gold rares. So a couple of nice things, bro. Um, but yeah, yourself. What do you got, Yusin? Um, what do you want for the lot? Jim Drugus. Jim Drugus, it's... Bro, 
T to be honest, I don't know. I'm gonna actually get killed for this. Literally killed. But it's all right, because Pokeron's out of the room, bro. And uh, all day he's out of the room. So tell you what, bro, Jim Drugas, if you want to claim the lot, you'll take down a gem mint condition Disney 100 card, a gem mint condition Marvel card, Marvel Impel Series 1 Rookie, a mint condition Luffy with all the straw hats, another mint condition Luffy with Sanji, another mint condition Nami the Navigator 2005 One Piece The Quest Begins, and a pristine 10 Squirtle only for a 38 claim Jim Drugas, and just spin on the Wheel of Fortune, bro. That That's probably the best single offer I can, I can give you. I literally just try to move these last spots, and that's that. So it... That, that claim right there that I just showed you, any day of the week, during sort of like middle of the stream sort of time, probably way more likely to go for more of like an 80 claim. You know what I mean? Especially when you have three mint condition cards. I'm sure you can imagine that's pretty fair enough. But a 38 claim, bro. You're going to get a spin on the Wheel of Fortune, which is... Do you have any one piece that you can swap the, for those other cards? Oh. I don't know. Um... Cheapest Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's the cheapest Wheel of Fortune I've ever offered. Really, to be honest. Uh, for those other cards, so it's, it would be those three. If I chucked in one more Mint Condition card, Drugus, would you do it, brother? Um, yeah, I, I could probably only chuck in one more, bro, and then anything after that's too much, unfortunately. But one more Mint Condition, one piece card I might be able to do for you. If you are thinking about doing it, that would be the last deal. Plus a Wheel of Fortune, and that would be it, bro. And then um, we can do your Wheel of Fortune, your 38 cards, and that's that, brother. But if you want me to chuck in one more card, I'll do it for you. I'll grab a nice one. I'll grab a nice one. In fact, I'll, I'll grab one now. I'll show you. I'll show you, Drugus. I'll show you, Drugus, man. I'll see what I got back here in the Pokey Runs drawers. The Pokey Runs drawers, man. I got a nice one. I got a nice one for you, Drugus. You want to take it all, bro? This is the final card. Mint condition, Rookie Luffy and Crocodile. Patch it to the Grand Line. I'm telling you, if my brother watched back this, because he thinks I give away way too much with this stuff, because it's so scarce. So if, if I told him, oh, bro, last night I just um, sold four... Mint condition, one piece of quest begins and patch it to the grand line cards for only a 38 claim. And one of them being a Naomi the Navigator rookie card. Um, and I'd probably get a slap across the head. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but yeah, four mint condition rookie cards. And that's that, bro. Um, so if you want to do it, final deal, 38 claim, spin on the Wheel of Fortune. And um, then, we'll, then we'll move on, bro. And we'll... We'll move on to your spins. If anyone else wants to do it, Newson, bro, or Sino, Sino, if, if there's anything you can think of that you would like, you can have that squirrel as well, and I'll do it. Done, brother. Tell you what, Drugus, you're a legend, bro. It's the final claim, so I'll do it for you. There you go. All four mint... Guys, send through flames for that claim. That's a mad claim. That's an unbelievable claim. Send through flames for that, guys. Four mint condition one piece vintage cards and a pristine 10 squirtle, all for a 38 claim. I'm sure there's many viewers out there currently watching, like Sino and all that, that have seen deals like that. It's just ridiculous. Magic Boy. Um, how you going, brother? Welcome to the um, welcome stranger live stream, I guess. But here you go. I'll um, I'll do your spots for you now, Drugus. Here you go, bro. First up, we've got a scorecard. Namekin Foot Lunge. Next up, Red Jump. Another scorecard. Art Box. Tien. Another scorecard. Wow. Okay. Ooh. DBZ. That's a promo. Holo. Score. Again. Artbox Holochrome, Vegeta, 
Oh, another one. Yeah, we are, brother. This is um. So basically, if you want to know how to how the stream works, Magic Boy, it's um. Basically, people claim spots in towers. We have cards ranging from all different franchises, from Pokemon, DBZ, One Piece, all that sort of stuff in the collectibles realm. People claim tower spots, and we give away heaps of cool stuff, bro. It's 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 awesome. He's up to eight. I don't really need to count them because it's the final spots in the tower. Okie dokie. Um, another promo holo. Wow. Score again, Goku. Another scorecard. How is all the scorecards, man? What is going on? Holochrome Goku. Or oh, another Holochrome Goku. And, wow. Amazing. Heroes. Very nice. I'll try and center this a bit more. Sorry, guys. Um, Magic Boy, uh, if you would like a Pokemon card, brother, just all you need to do is, is go and if you have Facebook, go over to our Facebook page, go to Welcome Stranger Collectibles on our Facebook, um, and watch the live stream from there so that we can contact you and, uh, send off the card to your address and all that sort of stuff, bro. We just need those sort of details, otherwise we can't do it via YouTube, as there is no real messaging service. Uh, oh, Vegeta, another score, Heroes. Dude, art box, holochrome again. Oh, I, I tell you what I love about these scorecards, guys, which is underrated as hell, is like the, I'm trying to get it in focus, but the sort of like silver foiling, you see that down here? Just down here. Like that silver foiling, that's stunning. Scorecard again, anyways. Ooh, another promo. Score again. Ooh, Holochrome. Vegeta, Orange Energy Discharge. Score. Flashback. Nice. Art Box, Goku. Another scorecard, Cell. Heroes, Vegeta. Another holochrome, dude. How many? Yeah, I think I've got to... These towers are good, man. Uh, another Vegeta. Score again. Promo holo again. Oh, Rogan. Dude, you're not going to believe what I gave away. Just don't... No one tell poker on what I gave away. Orange energy discharge. Art box. Goku. Another art box. All of them are holochromes. It's bloody... <gasps> Whoa. Why does that look really good? That's just a beautiful card. I'm telling you, Drugus, bro, all, all the art box, even some of the promo holos, guys, these cards are all worse. Just sending off degrading like... There's great... Oh, the, the score cards are just fantastic. Blue pivot kick. Nice. Dope. Oh! <gasps> Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa. Is that a... A championship 2021... Bagamo Guidance of an Ace. Championship 2021 promo. Uh... Drugus, sorry. I don't know if I was meant to put that in there, brother. But, whatever. Uh, okay. That's all for Drugus. Um, Rogan, this is what I gave away, bro. This pristine 10 old mate Squirtle. Mint condition rookie Luffy and Crocodile. This is for a 38 claim, mind you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mint condition. Nami the Navigator. One Piece the Quest Begins. Mint condition. Rookie Luffy again. Mint condition. Luffy, Zoro, Usopp, Sanji and Nami and Vivi. Bro, all that just for a 38 claim. How many claims do you think that should usually be? Rogan, be honest. Be honest. Look at that, dude. Very nice, yeah? Very nice, man. But um, what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to move myself away from uh, the camera for a second. Um, I'm just going to pass over uh, the cards, the raw cards over there to, for Drugus and as well as the greater ones, and then I'm just going to spin this wheel of fortune 
probably do a 70 to 80 claim for that. Oh, God. That's not good. Um, yeah, so I'll pass over all this stuff for Drugus. I'll spin this Wheel of Fortune for you, Drugus, brother. Um, and as soon as we do that, guys, uh, we'll have your spins done. And then we're going to do the All Claimers race. Also, don't forget, guys, to check out our new community chat that we just got. I'll um, drop the link again uh, for this community chat. Uh, if you want to join, basically, it's all exclusive updates for you guys. Any content you guys want, um, it's going to be all there in the chat. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fantastic. Um, so it's really exciting new news for um, Welcome Stranger. I think things are going, going very, very well. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, make sure to uh, follow that community chat. If you want me to drop the link again, if you haven't joined it, then I'll do so. And, yeah, guys, um, we'll get on with these spins and I'll, um, yeah, I'll continue on, on with all this sort of stuff now. Well done, Drugus, once again, brother. <laughs> Rogan. Rogan. I don't know if I... Rogan, I love you. I love you, Rogan. But... See, something like that, I don't, I don't know if I have the authority to be able to give stuff away for free. If poker on sees me giving stuff away for free, he's going to bloody kill me. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, Jim Drugas, what a legend. Thank you very much, bro. Let's do these spins for you, brother. <laughs> Dude, you're getting fired. Exactly. Rogan. I can't get fired, man. I can't have this happen. Okie dokie. Spinning the Wheel of Fortune now for Jim Drugas. Here we go, brother. Let's go. Nine spins. Hey, Drugas, how would you like it if I went, stuff it, Pokemon's not in the room, all day's not in the room. I'm going to make it a 15 spins. Bugger it. 15 spins for you, Drugus, brother. That's what I'm going to do, because you're a legend. I hope... At the same time as I want you to hit the jackpot, if it hits the jackpot, it's... It might not be a good thing for me. At the, at the same time. One. Two. Three, four, still four. Yes, it is, Drugus. Still four. Wow. <gasps> Jackpot! Bloody nervous. All right, all right, all right. KJ all by himself. <laughs> okay. In three, two, one. None your pack. Nice. Drugus. Nice, dude. Um, Pokeron before said he he gave the other guy like two Nanya packs for one. So I may as well do the same for you, man. Two Nanya packs for Jim Drugas because he's a legend. Hey, and Rogan. 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 
Rogan. Rogan. I'm going to give you a Zard. I don't care. Well, Pokeron's not going to know, so like Rogan said, Pokeron's not going to know if I'm giving away free stuff, so I'll just give it to him. I'll just give it to him. I'll just give it to him. Rogan gets a Zard. Here we go. Rogan, man. All right. I think I was up to five spins. So, back to it. Six. Woo! Yes! Shout out! Yes! 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 Right, I'm coming around. I'm coming around. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here now. It's all good. Oh god. I'm not very good with the camera guys because I don't really use it often. It's alright. Get it eventually. There we go. Jim Druger, since you claim 30A, I'm gonna write your name on my face. Oh, I've gone the wrong way, I think. Oh no. Jim. I can't even see the camera anymore. Oh god. Did I do a good job? I can't even tell if I've done a good job or not because I can't turn my head that way to look to look at the screen. Is it good? Jim Drugus. Jim Drugus. Awesome. All right, back to the wheel. Uh. Seven. Oh, it's getting close to the jackpot again. Eight. Nine. Oh, one piece chain. Crap, crap. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. I'm grabbing it. Uh, uh, I'll send you a photo of a Drugus. One piece chain is coming off the wheel. Just one second, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Goku battle ready? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Mm. <gasps> 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 that is a trunk saga Goku in mint condition. It's a five star rarity. Super Saiyan Goku, Battle Ready from Trunk Saga Rare. It's a rare from 2001 Mint Condition. Oh, I'm gonna get killed. 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 <gasps> Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm just gonna take it off the wheel. Alright, so Drugus is up to number 12. Here we go. 12. 13, still 12. 13. 14. And 
Chat for poker on two more spins. Fifteen. And sixteen. Two more ducks. One on Drugas. Thought you did really well. Alright. What we're going to do now, guys, stick around for a little longer. We're going to run the All Claimers race for tonight's show. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is going to determine who gets 10 spins. We might hit another bloody jackpot for all we know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Who's here? I know Drugus and Matt Sinny here and Rogan, but I haven't seen anyone else comment. Send through flames if you're here. Well done, Drugus. Mark, Buddha. Jim, Sino. Is it just you four? And Rogan. MK Kyber is here. Are you guys all being entertained? I know it's just me in here, it's a little hard, but. Shieldsy! It's just me in the studio, it's just KJ! All day in Pokemon are gone. Barber! He's won it! Barber's got 10 more spins! Oh my god. Who wants some free giveaways? Poker on it all day on here, so I might do some. But I might get killed, so don't tell him. One for Barber. Bear with me. Bear with me. One for Barber. One duck. Two. Three. Hey, Shield, do you want to go on a free giveaway? Still three. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ooh. Nine. And ten. Not bad, Barber. I'm just going to put their ducks into tomorrow's All Claimers race, guys. Jim Drugas. And Barber. Then as soon as I'm done that, I'm going to do a little giveaway. Final giveaway for the night. Bear with me. Bear with me. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'm coming around. I'm coming around. Hey, hey, Lugia. Grandals. All right. Stuff it. I don't care. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. See that comic? That's the first ever Pikachu Shocks Back comic. That's part four. Number one, Pikachu Electric Boogaloo. Number three, Pikachu Electric Boogaloo. And number two, so you get three of a whole set of them. All raw, you can grade them. They'll be in nice condition as well. They're quite nice. They look absolutely fine. Um, I'll do a giveaway with these. Final night special with KJ, because I love you guys. And a Disney 100 card in Gem Mint 10. I'm going to give it away. I don't even care. I'm giving it away. And all you guys got to do is send through flames. Each one of you that sent through flames, go in that giveaway, all four comics, that Disney 100 Gem Mint 10 card. Enjoy, guys. Loved having you here tonight. Hope you love the show tonight. And, um, yeah, let's do it, guys. Here we go. Rogan's involved. NK Kybert's involved. Matt Sin. Dylan Budahazy. Josh Grandles. Jim Drugas, Mark Howden, Luca Shields, 
Lucas Shields, pop in. Michael Penny. So so far we've got Rogan Smiler, MK Kyber, Matt Sin, Dylan Budahazy, Joshua Grandles, Jim Drugas, Mark Howden, Lucas Shields, and Matt Michael Penny. Anyone else getting involved? Is anyone else here who isn't in this duck race? Anyone else? I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds and then we're running this free giveaway. And that is it. 30 seconds. Yeah, all right, Drugus. One spin at the wheel, that's it. All right, doesn't look like anyone else is here. Here we go. Free giveaway, guys. No, I can't, Rogan. I can't. Buddha. Buddha Hazy. Drugus. Mark Howden. Mark! Mark! Mark, surely it's going to be a 10 out of 10 for me now. Come on. One spin at the wheel for you, Mark. Ugh. Oh, one more, one more. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? There are three ducks in tomorrow's All Claimers race. All right. That's for you, Mark Howden. You're going to take down all that stuff I just displayed on screen. Just bear with me for one second, guys. Okay. Awesome. Beautiful. All right. What well up, Mark? Um, I think that is it for the show, guys. Um, might just have a couple more things to say, and that's that. Just give me one moment to write all this down. Okay. Who enjoyed the show tonight? You, you guys love it? You guys enjoying the Wednesday live streams? You guys enjoying the live streams in general? Uh, any advice for me? Anything like that? It's always um, a major help. But, um, yeah, guys. Once again, loved having you guys here. Hope you guys enjoyed my little, like, 20 minutes I had at the end there. Thank you, Jim Drugas. Good sesh, KJ, said MK Kyber. Thank you, brother. Matty Sin, you're always legend, bro. Love ya. Um, I will, Rogan. I'll check that in a moment's time, brother. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. Um, we've got another fantastic live stream ahead of us, guys. Um, of course, we're going to have the Pokemon Tower, DBZ, Comic Tower. Um, might have a couple of other interesting segments for you guys. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a couple surprises tomorrow. And uh, don't forget as well, guys, we're doing our postage uh, tomorrow. Um, so basically, all orders are being sent out tomorrow afternoon which means you guys who want all your orders sent out this week rather than being delayed by another week, which is going to be two weeks. Um, make sure that it's all paid up this week if you want it to be sent out. Um, and a special little surprise for the people who do uh, pay up this week. You guys are going to be getting a couple of little like Easter surprise and all that sort of stuff and some chocolates and all that, so it's pretty cool. Easter weekends, that's what we're celebrating. Um... And that's that, guys. So, yeah, make sure all orders are paid up. And then we've also, of course, got the new and exciting news about our community group chat that just got released today. Uh, so if you want to get involved in that, you've probably got another two minutes or so to sort of let me know that you want to get involved if you haven't already. Um, but, yeah, basically that group chat is just going to have exclusive updates and exclusive sort of things to you guys who want to get involved. sort of a bit more of a private group chat for our real special viewers uh, who love the stream. Um, Sino. Um, what do you like, Sino? Do you like Marvel? I can't remember if you like Marvel, Pokemon, or whatever it was. Oh, I'll give you some, Sino. You're a legend. Yes, let me join the chat. Um, okay, Drugus, I'll drop that link as soon as I go back over there. Just finish chatting to the viewers for a quick second.
Just let me know what you like, Sinner Brother. Um, selling anything else. Uh, I got some. Low OP or Pokemon, low grade OP. Oh. What about that? Do you like that, Sinner? I, I, well, there's nothing, there's no real, real other towers to do at the minute, uh, Shoy. Uh, so not really, but this is a nice piece, guys. If anyone wants a graded 9.4 PlayStation 2 NBA 09, the inside OG game, I think that um, only the more NBA games that are made, it's only going to mean these older games are obviously going to go up in value, as you can imagine. Um, and look how old school it is on the back as well, guys. So cool. Um, yeah, no worries, you know. Awesome, brother. I'll give that to you for sure. But if anyone likes that, PlayStation 2, NBA 09, the inside. Many famous players on it. LeBron, etc. Kobe. Um, so if anyone wants to take that down, you can. If anyone wants to offer me anything, I'll take offers. I'll take offers, if it's reasonable, of course. Um, Mark, Sino, Shoy, if any of you guys like that. Maybe I'll do something nice for you. Um, just send me through an offer and I'll do what I can do for it. Have that already, boss. No worries, Shoy. Mark or Sino, you like NBA or anyone else currently watching like NBA can take that down. I'm willing to take literally any offers. You can shoot through an offer. I'll think about it. Make up my mind. I'll integrated Game Boy or DS games. Game Boy or DS. Um, hmm. Well, most of the Game Boy and DS stuff is like... A lot of it's Pokerons. Um, so, I don't think Pokemon would be happy with me um, auctioning one off. Oh, sorry. I'm giving away so much. Um, Druga said 80. Okay. This game usually sits at about 250 to 300, sometimes more. For 250, seeing that game fly out the door for 250, many times. But today, because it's last minute, if anyone wants to take up the offer, I'm gonna offer you guys. I'm not minding. I'm not minding it. I, I like that you guys are shooting through the offers. But if any of you guys out there can do me. One fifty. One fifty on that game, mate. That's a. It should be selling for more like two fifty, and this is the Pokeron, so he's actually gonna murder me. Um, this is Pokeons, so if you want it, you can. It's a nine point four graded game. Um, it's pretty good. I feel like it should definitely be selling for two fifty and lowest. 200 but I'm offering 150 if anyone could offer me anywhere near close to that I might take it pretty good say Jim, Jim Drugas yeah I'm, I'm trying to sort of do my best on it Shoy um oh. <laughs> alright Shoy last person I'm not giving away any more things I'm actually gonna get killed man I'm gonna get killed, man. That's for you, Shoy. Eric is Oddish first edition. Stuff it, man. Bid 90, Sino. 
I don't know. I don't think I can do that, bro. I wish I, I wish I could do it for you, Sino, of course, or anyone. Um But it's the Pokerons. Um Love you, Shoy. Um Crap. Uh, one thirty. Final offer. <gasps> I'll do it for one thirty. 130, that's the best offer. I cannot go lower. No, Trugas, I can't. I said I promise I'm not giving away any more things. I can't, brother. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't, brother. I'm, I'm so sorry. I wish I could for you, Trugas, but I feel like I did the best I could. I can't, you know. I'm sorry, bro. Brayden! Hey, Brayden. Um, basically I've been giving away some crazy stuff and doing really good prices. This, I can promise you, I actually promise, has sold and flown out the door, I think in a 9.2 this sold from what I last remember for about 200. And I'm offering, because it's last minute deals, just stupid. I don't know why I'm doing it. $130. $130 and it's a high grade and a 9.4. So it should be more like 250, but I'm offering almost half price. So if you want it, Braden, you can take it, brother. Um, I actually sort of feel bad that it's going. Ah, uh, I can't. Sorry, Drewus. This is the best offer I can do, bro. I'm sorry. Close to 130. I can't, bro. This is like. Yeah, the rest of Pokemon stuff's really high end. Like, I'm not saying this is a bad thing that I brought out, but it's just like not as close to that sort of price as the other ones, you know what I mean? Uh, 110 Sino! Sino, meet me in the middle. 120 exclusive deal for you. Unless someone else snags it right now for 130, you can take it for 120. That's the final deal. Final deal, final offer. 130, you can take this. Or Sino gets it for 120 if he offers me 120. Last chance. You get to snag a game like this that cheap. It's crazy. Stupid. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's actually stupid. All good, Sino, brother. I, f I feel sick, Drugas, if I go below that. I already feel awful saying this for 130, man. I'm not going to lie to you. That's right, Sinner, brother. I'm sorry, bro. I just can't really do that. Um, 130, guys. Final offer. Take it or leave it. Grading games I think it's like I might be wrong but I know it's expensive it's a lot more than grading cards which is like 20 or whatever it is 20 or more um, games 60 or 70 about 70 bucks a pop maybe more I think more I think I'm underpricing it I think more um, Sino. Yes, Sino, you are. Thanks, Shoy. I'm sorry, Pokemon, I didn't mean to win it. I want it, but I also don't want to upset. Not too sure what you mean, Brayden. Um, this is 130. If you want to take it, Brayden, you can take it, brother. 130, that's extremely cheap. Search up this game. Dare any of you. Search it up on eBay. If it's 130, I'll be absolutely gobsmacked. It couldn't be 130, surely. 
Surely not. Oh, that's all right. Brian, you don't need to be sorry, brother. You, Hey, you won fair and square in the end, didn't you? You won fair and square. You went hard. You hit the jackpot wheel and you won it. You know, obviously losing a five grand card is not always the best feeling, but you don't need to apologize, brother. You won it fair and square. <clears throat> you did very well. You're a legend. You know what I mean? NBA 09, the inside... CGC. I'm not looking at sold listings, just like... Uh, auctions. That's like the first one of the 9.4. It's up for auction. It's just starting bit at 150. So... That's on the PSP. US 155 PSP and it's a 9.0 in a 9.6 buy it now for 239 and I'm offering you guys 130 on the 9.4 so from what I'm looking at I'm offering well below price I'm actually going stupid deals if you don't want to take it guys then it's all good I can put it away I'm happy to do that but this is the last time I'd ever auction, sort of offer it at this price you know what I'm saying There you go. Interesting. I think we've sold it for more than this in the past, I'm sure. But the 9.0, 120. 9.0 is at 120. So this is obviously not $10 more and two more grades. Thank you, Sam Sinclair. But I'll put that away, guys. Um... You know, you've got me. Just think. Stop it. Senior taking it. I don't care. No one else has offered me nothing. I don't care. I love Sino. If Pokeron says, KJ, I never want you doing the show again. KJ, I, you know, I don't want you doing these sort of things where you're just offering ridiculously low prices beyond low eBay prices um, or anything like that. Um, I'm, yeah, I just might not be coming back but that's all for me today guys NBA 09 the inside look Matt Sin won it for 110 9.4 and eBay it sells for way more so I just proved that sold listings everything um yeah that's that guys um thank you very much sure you're gonna get that Matt Sin free card NBA 09 the inside 110 <sighs> Love you guys. Hope you had a great night. I'll um, see you all tomorrow. And uh, hope you had a fantastic show. Um, and yeah. I'm just going to go to the computer and end the stream. But love you guys. Send through flames. Hope you enjoyed tomorrow's show. Uh, but i got to go, guys. Love you all. Have a good night. Um, No worries, Sam Sinclair, I won't. Thank you, Jim Drugas. Appreciate you, brother. Bishoy, Sino, Mark Howden, all legends. Sam Sinclair, Sean Malcolmson. All legends, guys. Love you all. Have a fantastic night. And, um, and yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon. Catch us. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. One pound fish. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. One pound fish. One pound fish. Have a have a look. One pound fish. Have a have a look. One pound fish. Very very good. One pound fish. Very very cheap. One pound fish. Six or five pound. One pound each. Six or five pound. One pound each. Fish to the one pound. Fish to the one pound. Fish to the one pound. Fish.